I think it's really cool too, Rick. I bet we could make a lot of cool sci-fi adventures with this kind of setting, like fighting crime or something. Yeah, I think that would be really fun. We could even dress up like Batman and Morty could be Batman's sidekick, like Robin. That sounds like a lot of fun, Rick. Do you think we could get started on making those adventures right away? Yeah, I think that would be a great idea, Morty. Let's get started right away. That's a really good picture. Yeah, it's a really good picture. It's a really good picture because it's a good picture. Yeah, it's a really good picture because it's a good picture. Morty, you're a good photographer. I'm not sure what you're talking about. It's simple, Morty. You know how to take good pictures. I guess so. Good pictures are important, Morty. They are. What do you think, Morty? Honestly, Rick, I think the picture is pretty dope. Yeah, I kinda agree with you. You know, sometimes pictures can just speak to you, like they're telling a story or something. Yeah, I guess you're right. Besides, it's always fun to imagine what kind of adventures we could go on if we stepped into the picture. Yeah, I can definitely see us fighting some evil aliens or something. And then after we save the day, we could enjoy a nice hot cup of tea together on a verdant planet, like in the picture. Yeah, I could totally see that. Imagine it, Morty, our simple lives, living in a happy neighborhood and enjoying each other's company. It's the life, the life we deserve. I can't wait to see it, Rick. Me too, Morty, me too. Space opera, man. Totally agree. I don't know about that, son. You don't like space operas, Jerry? Nah. I didn't say that. You didn't have to. Are you guys ready for our next mission? Yeah, let's go. Space opera, man. Totally agree. I don't know about that, son. You don't like space operas, Jerry? Nah. I didn't say that. You didn't have to. Are you guys ready for our next mission? Yeah, let's go. Dude, there's like a cross on every head. Dude, there's a cross on everyone's head. Holy crap. What's the deal with the crosses? David Bowie had a lot of crosses. Maybe he was trying to symbolize his Christian faith? Dude, that's fucking ridiculous. That's a cute dog. Yeah, I love dogs. They're so friendly. Yeah, they're definitely the best kind of animal. Yeah, Jerry agrees. He's a simple man, but he knows all about art. Oh, Jerry, you know, Morty and I are big sci-fi fans. We've been on a lot of adventures together. Yeah, it's been so much fun. Yeah. Jerry loves the sci-fi adventure too. He's never been too sure about the art, but he trusts you too. 
That's awesome. What kind of adventures have you been on? Well, we've done a lot of stuff, like saving the world from an evil alien, and fighting a giant space shark, and... And? And lots of other things. That sounds like fun. I always love hearing about our adventures. Yeah, Jerry totally agrees. He's just a simple man, but he loves spending time with you too. This is amazing Morty. I can't believe you found this. Yeah Rick I just lucked out. There was no description so I had to guess what it was. Well you guessed correctly Morty and this picture is fantastic. Wow Rick. I can see why you like this picture so much. Yeah Jerry. It's really a great photo. Yeah Rick. It's a great photo. Hey Jerry. Didn't you say something about art? Oh yeah Morty, I was just saying that this is a great photo. Alright guys, that's enough talk for now, we have to get to work. Less than, name greater than. This is amazing Morty, I can't believe you found this. Less than name greater than. Yeah Rick I just lucked out, there was no description so I had to guess what it was. Less than name greater than. Well you guessed correctly Morty and this picture is fantastic. Less than name greater than. All right, guys, that's enough talk for now. We have to get to work. I love this picture, Morty. It's so beautiful. Yeah, Rick, it's really cool. What do you think about the game they're playing? I think it's amazing, Morty. It's so clever how they're using the microphone and cord. It's like they're living in the future. I agree, Rick. It's a great picture. It's just unfortunate that most kids today don't appreciate art like this. Dad, you don't know anything about art. HMPH, I guess you're right. Sorry, Rick. Don't worry, Morty. We all have to start somewhere. This is amazing, Morty. We have to make a sci-fi episode about it. Yeah, of course we do, Rick. I'm so psyched. I love the way Radiohead look in this picture. Me too, Morty. Me too. This is a great painting, Morty. The colors are amazing and the detail is phenomenal. Yeah, it's really cool. I love the way the Jedi Knights look. Yeah, me too. I think it's amazing how they're able to bring so much detail and color to the painting. It's like they're real people in the painting. Yeah, I can definitely see that. The way the sword is positioned is really cool. It makes me want to buy it and display it in my house. Yeah, I think it's a really cool painting. Yeah, me too, Morty. Rick and Morty analyze the picture and discuss their adventures in sci-fi. That's an interesting picture. What do you think it is? It's a woman with long hair and a bra top on. She's posing for a picture. Yeah, it's a pretty interesting picture. What do you think it means? I'm not sure. Maybe she's posing for a picture of herself or maybe she's posing for a picture with somebody else. What kind of sci-fi adventures do you think she's on? 
I don't know. She might be on a spaceship or she might be on an alien planet. That's so cool. Are you going to go on any of those adventures with her? Yeah, I'm probably going to go on some of those adventures with her. Holy crap, Morty, that's amazing. Yeah, man, I know, I could barely keep from looking at it. Yeah, I love the way the sharks keep moving. It's so freaking cool. Yeah, I gotta say I'm really happy with the way this turned out. Me too, Morty, me too. Title text. Jerry is Morty's dad and he's a simple man with no clue about art. He's just happy living the simple life while his son is out pursuing his dreams. Pretty cool. Another great picture of Morty and I doing our thing. Yeah, this is so me, a tutinal. Yeah, I know. It's great to look back on it and see how our lives have changed since then. I see what you mean, Morty. It's amazing how much you've grown since then. I know, Dad. I just feel so free. You do seem really happy these days. Yeah, Morty's been a real ray of sunshine for me. He's always making me laugh and keeping me sane. Hey, I try my best. Yeah, you do. And that's why I love you so much, Morty. I love you too, Rick. This is great, Morty. Yeah, I really like it. It's really cool. Yeah, it's fantastic, just like always. Hey guys, what's up? Hey Jerry, check this out. I think we've found our new sci-fi adventure. Oh yeah? What's it about? You'll see when you get here. It's all just so cool. Well, I'm glad you're happy. I'm just a simple man with no clue about art, so I don't really know what to make of it. Trust me, Jerry, you don't need to know anything about art to appreciate this. It's just fantastic the way it is. Yeah, I think you're right, Rick. I guess you're right, Morty. I guess I just don't understand it, that's all. chainsaw wielding Morty. This is super cool. Yeah, Rick. It's my favorite picture. I know, Morty. I love it when you're into sci-fi stuff. Yeah, Rick. It's my favorite picture. Yeah, man. I love it when you're into sci-fi stuff. Holy crap Morty, look at that raccoon, he's holding that green ball so tight, he's so into the game. I know Rick, I feel the same way about my painting, it feels like my heart was poured into it. Well, we should both be proud of our work, it's clear that we have a true passion for art. You're right Rick, I feel so inspired by your words. Yeah, it's all good, we just have to keep working hard and chasing our dreams, right Morty? Yup! That's right Rick! We have to keep forging ahead!
Uh, this picture's really good. I love the colors and the architecture. Yeah, I really like it too. It's really colorful and inviting. I don't know, I don't really like it. I don't think it's that great. What do you mean? I just don't think the colors look very realistic to me. Hmm, I don't know. I think they look really good to me. Yeah, I think they look beautiful. Well, that's just your opinion. Yeah, I guess so. So, what are you going to do about it? I don't know, I guess I'll just have to get used to it. That's totally fine. I think it's a great picture regardless. Yeah, I think you're right Rick. Oh Morty, check this out. It's a picture of a woman in a black dress with a red heart on her chest and a red heart on her chest. It's an art masterpiece. I don't know man, it looks kinda weird to me. What do you mean, it's amazing? I don't know man, it just looks like she's got two hearts. Well, maybe you're not used to sci-fi art. You should check out some of my favorite paintings. They're all based on sci-fi stories. Okay, I'll give it a try. Wowzers, that's definitely a cool painting. I love Elvis. Yeah, he was definitely one of my favorite singers. He had such a unique voice. Yeah, he was definitely one of a kind. So Morty, what do you think about our new sci-fi adventure? It's really cool Rick. I love how the image is so complex in detail. Yeah, I love it too Morty. I'm really happy we got to take this opportunity to explore another one of our favorite genres. Morty, I want to know what your opinion is on art. Oh, I don't really know Jerry, I'm not very cultured I guess. Jerry, Morty is just being honest with you. He doesn't really know much about art. Well that's okay Morty, I'm not very cultured either. I just appreciate art for what it is. That's the spirit Morty. So. That's a picture of a man with a weird hair. Do you know who it is? Yeah, it's Radiohead. They're a famous rock band. Yeah, I heard they're really good. Yeah, they are. I can't wait to hear their new album. Yeah, me too. Hey Morty, check out that picture. It's quite a masterpiece. Yeah, I think it's amazing. What do you think, Jerry? Hey, I'm not too sure. I've never been too big into art. Yeah, same here. But seriously Morty, that painting is amazing. You think so too, Rick? Absolutely. It's beautiful. Look at that, a cool picture. What do you think it says? I have no idea, Morty. But it's so cool. Yeah, I guess. 
You two are always busy with your sci-fi adventures. You should come out to the observatory with me sometime. Yeah, Jerry, I'd like that. Yeah, Jerry, I'd like that. Holy cow, it's the Francis Crick Institute. I can't believe we're actually here. Yeah, man, this place is straight out of an episode of Rick and Morty. Well, Morty, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. I think I may have gotten a little lost in all this art stuff. This poster looks really cool. It's got a really nice color scheme and the woman in the dress is really pretty. Yeah, I think she's sexy. You think so too, Morty? Yeah, she's totally hot. Good, I'm glad you think so. I think she's really attractive. Well, duh, Rick. She's a bombshell, for crying out loud. Yeah, I guess you're right. Anyway, what do you think of the other women in the poster? They're pretty too. Yeah, they are. I like how they've got balanced looks. Yeah, they're all stylish. I agree. It's a really cool poster. Totally, Rick. It's awesome. Holy crap Morty, that's an amazing picture. Yeah, it's amazing, Rick. I love the way the wings look like they're wrapped around her body. Yeah, they're beautiful. I wonder what kind of story it could be. Yeah, I wonder what the story is. Do you want to find out? Yeah, let's find out. Damn, Morty, look at that Miami skyline. It's so futuristic. Yeah, I love the colors. And the lettering is so nice and legible. Yeah, that's definitely a cool picture. It's always fun to explore new planets and galaxies, isn't it Morty? Absolutely. I can't wait to go on more adventures with you, Rick. Well, I can't wait to go on even more adventures with you, Morty. It's just so good to have a positive attitude in our sci-fi lives. That's true, Rick. I don't know about you, Morty, but I'm really happy now. Yeah, I'm really happy too, Jerry. Thanks for being such a supportive dad. This is a great picture, Morty. Yeah, it is, Rick. I like the way the details are blended in with the scenery. Yeah, I think it's really cool. Hey, Jerry, what do you think? I'm sure Rick is right, Morty. The artistry is great. Yeah, I agree, Jerry. That's a really cool picture, Morty. Yeah.
This is a great poster. I love the Andorians. Yeah, I love their uniforms. They're such a cool race. They're pretty interesting too. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing the movie. Yeah, me too. It's going to be pretty cool. Rick and Morty are analyzing in details a picture with this description while also talking about their sci fi adventures. A man with a strange face and a sigh. Fi 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 Jaffa, Stargate SG1. Man, that's a weird looking guy. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing in a sci fi scene, though. You're right, Morty. I feel the same way. But I love going on sci-fi adventures with you. Just like in our TV show, Rick and Morty. Yeah, I love going on sci-fi adventures with you, too, Rick. Man, that's a great painting. Yeah, I love the colors. Haha, ha. you're both so happy in this picture. Yeah, it's really cool how they incorporated a sun into the background. Yeah, and the man is really well done too. Yeah, he looks like he's definitely in the moment. Yeah, it's a great painting. Yeah, it's really cool how they incorporated a sun into the background. Yeah, and the man is really well done too. It's a really good picture, Morty. Yeah, I think so too, Rick. It's like, if we could just get our hands on that one piece of equipment, we could actually do something amazing. Yeah, I think you're right, Morty. I'm really happy about it. Hey, Morty, what's up? Just hanging out with Rick and Jerry. That's cool. Well, Morty, this is a really beautiful painting. It's definitely one of my favorites. Yeah, it's really cool. I'm glad you like it. I love how the colors work together. The sky is blue. The dress is blue. The umbrella is blue. It's a really beautiful painting. Yeah, it is. I'm really happy with it. Me too. This Rick and Morty sci-fi episode would be about Rick coming across a golden alien world where he would meet a beautiful woman who has a bird on her shoulder and a bird on her shoulder. The bird on her shoulder helps her with her magical abilities and the bird on her shoulder is her magical pet. Rick and Morty would have a discussion about this golden alien world and the woman. Okay, so these are some salamanders. They're miniature versions of the creatures that live in the hot, dry areas of the world. They're really strange looking, huh Morty? Yeah, they're pretty cool. I can't believe they live in such a hot place. Yeah, they have to be tough. So what are you two talking about? 
We were just discussing salamanders. Oh, that's nice. And then Morty was saying how amazing it is that they live in such a hot place. Yep, that makes sense. Salamanders can really handle the heat. That's genius, Morty. I know, Dad. Wait, what? She's giving the hand a thumbs up, Morty. Yeah, she's signaling for help. She's probably just lost in thought, Morty. Dad, where's the art in this? He's right, Jerry. This could be a lot better if we added some color and flair. But Dad, this is sci-fi. We have to have a positive vibe. You're right, Morty. Let's all have a positive vibe. Okay, sounds good to me. It looks like someone's experimenting with time travel. I always love a good time travel episode. I don't know, it just doesn't look like my kind of art. It's too weird. You're probably right Morty, but I still love it. I'm so happy and wholesome. Morty, I know you're thrilled about your new painting but your dad doesn't care. He just thinks you're wasting your time drawing pictures. I know Jerry, but I'm happy with my life. I'm happy with you and Rick. Things are going great. Morty thinks Rick is boring and unimpressive. Rick says that Morty is too opinionated. Jerry enters the room and they all get surprised to see each other. Jerry doesn't understand what they're talking about and asks what they're looking at. Rick and Morty explain the picture to Jerry and show him the computer-generated image. Jerry is surprised to see that this is what they were talking about. Rick and Morty talk about their sci-fi adventures and Jerry just sits there and listens. Rick and Morty both agree with Jerry that their adventures are much more interesting. Look Morty. This is a great picture of a woman with a strange headpiece and a strange hat on her head. She looks like she's from a different world, and I can't wait to go on my next sci-fi adventure with you. Yeah, Rick, I'm so excited to go on all of our adventures together. I love spending time with you, and I feel so happy when we're just spending time together. Hey guys, what's going on? Rick and O, just analyzing this great picture of a woman with a strange headpiece and a strange hat on her head. She looks like she's from a different world, and I can't wait to go on my next sci-fi adventure with you, Jerry. Hey, that's great. I'm happy to hear you're both happy. I've always loved spending time with you kids. That's an interesting painting. Yeah, it's kinda neat. What do you think it represents? I dunno, maybe sexuality or something. You think so? Yeah, it's kind of like she's giving you a dirty look or something. Yeah, you're probably right. They continue to analyze the painting and have a 10-line discussion about it.
Holy crap, Morty, that's amazing. Yeah, I think so too. What do you think, Rick? I think it's badass. I don't know, Morty. It's just a bit strange. Jerry, it's science fiction. It's supposed to be strange. Yeah, but... Come on, man. Just give it a chance. You might like it. I think I will too. Look at this painting. It's stunning. Yeah, I totally agree, Rick. It's amazing how they painted the same scene twice. Yeah, I totally agree, Morty. It's amazing how they painted the same scene twice. What do you think, Jerry? I don't really know art, Jerry, but it looks nice. You're right, Jerry. It does look nice. Damn, Morty, that's a sweet pick. Yeah, I just love good old-fashioned jams and jellies. Yeah, me too, Morty. I used to eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches all the time when I was your age. Yeah, me too, Jerry. I miss those days. Yeah, I miss those days a lot, Rick. Yeah, me too, Morty. Remember when we used to get those jelly donuts for breakfast? Yeah, me too, Rick. Those were the days. Hey Morty, I've been thinking, we should make a sci-fi episode. With your straighter than thou attitude, I know you could come up with some amazing ideas. You're right Rick, I'll come up with some great ideas for a sci-fi episode. Great, I'm so happy that you're excited about it. Yeah, I'm excited about it. I just think it would be fun to do a Rick and Morty sci-fi episode. With your happy and wholesome attitude, everything would be perfect. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. We can make a really great sci-fi episode together. Hey Rick, did you see the picture I sent you? Jerry, I was just talking to Morty about making a sci-fi episode. Looks like you're coming along with us. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. With Morty's brilliant ideas, we should have a blast making a good sci-fi episode. This is an amazing poster. It's so realistic. Yeah, I love it, Rick. It's so badass. Hey, Morty. What's your opinion on Star Wars? Oh, I don't know. I have never seen the movies. I'm just excited for the movie coming out this year. Oh, well that's understandable. I mean, I've only seen the first one and it's really good. Yeah, I love the first one, Morty. It's like a classic. Dude, that's a great picture of a woman sitting at a table with food. It's like a painting. Yeah, I know, it's a great picture. It's like a painting of my mom. That's great, Morty. Your mom is a great woman. Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah, she's awesome. Hey Rick, Morty's dad here. I don't know much about art, but I like how Morty is always happy. It's like he has a positive vibe all the time. Yeah. I think that's really important, Jerry. We need to make sure that our lives are always happy and positive. Yeah, that's definitely true, Rick. Yeah, 
That's definitely true, Morty. What do you think? It's beautiful. I think so too, Morty. What are you talking about? We were just analyzing this painting and we found that it's an image of two women fighting for love. I love those kinds of paintings. Love paintings? Yeah, Jerry. I think it's really beautiful how the artist captures the emotion of the two women in the painting. Yeah, Morty. I definitely think so. But Jerry, this isn't just any old painting. It's a sci-fi painting, Morty. What does that mean, Rick? It means that the artist is capturing the emotions of a character in a sci-fi setting. Oh, that's cool. I don't get it. It's okay, Jerry. I'll explain it to you later. But for now, we need to get ready for our next adventure. All right, Rick. I'll see you later. See you, Jerry. Here's the conversation between Rick and Morty after Jerry leaves. So, Morty. What did you think of the painting Jerry was looking at? It was really cool. I loved how the artist captured the emotion of the two women in the painting. Yeah, I think that's really true, Morty. But what does that mean, Rick? It means that the artist is capturing the emotions of a character in a sci-fi setting. Oh, that's cool. I don't get it. It's okay, Jerry. I'll explain it to you later. But for now, we need to get ready for our next adventure. All right, Rick. I'll see you later. See you, Jerry. What's up, Morty? How's the art world treating you these days? It's great, Rick. I'm finally starting to get recognition for my work. That's great, Morty. I'm happy for you. Hey, Rick. What's with all the chatter? Oh, nothing. We're just analyzing this picture. It's from a sci-fi show we were watching. Oh, okay. I don't watch much sci-fi. That's okay, Jerry. You don't have to. You're Morty's dad. You're just a simple man with no clue about art. Lass, you're right, Rick. I don't really know what you're talking about. You Mew, this is some intense sci-fi stuff. Yeah, Rick, this looks like it could be an amazing adventure. Yeah, Morty. I bet you could learn a lot from this woman. Yeah, Jerry, she seems like she might be a really cool person. Rick, we should totally ask her to go on an adventure with us. Morty, I totally agree. Let's go find this woman and ask her to join us on our next adventure. Wow, Morty this looks like a great picture. I love how the red eyes really pop. Yeah, Rick, the red eyes really stand out. It's like she's challenging you. Exactly, Morty, she's a tough competitor. I can't wait to see what she does next. Morty, did you see the headdress? Yeah, Jerry, it's like she's wearing a crown or something. That's a really interesting detail. I bet she's really powerful. That's definitely true, Jerry. She must be a skilled fighter. I guess so, Rick. Yeah, Morty, she's definitely a powerful woman. What does this all mean, Rick? Jerry, it means that we need to get ready for our next sci-fi adventure. We need to find out more about this woman and her power. All right, Rick. 
I'll help you out. We can go research her together. That sounds like a great idea, Jerry. Thanks. I can't believe that that's actually a cartoon character. Morty. Yeah, it's amazing. We should totally do a sci-fi adventure with that character. Morty. I'd love to. I think Jerry would love it too. Morty. Yeah, he's always asking about sci-fi. Jerry. Hey Rick. Hey Jerry. Jerry. What are you up to? Just analyzing a cartoon picture. Jerry. That looks neat. Yeah, it's amazing. Dude, that's art. Yeah, it's great. Huh. Look at the detail in the hair and the eyes. Yeah, it's beautiful. You see, it's a classic example of how a comic book can be turned into art. Yeah, I totally get it. And it's all because of the subtlety of the color choices. Yeah, you're right. It's like they were trying to tell a story with just the colors. Totally. Yeah, that makes total sense. Dude, check out that ball. It's so cool. Yeah, it's really pretty. Yeah, I love sci-fi stuff. I always wanted to be a part of a really cool adventure. Me too, Rick. Me too. This is a great picture of a man with red eyes and a beard. Who is he? He's a villain from one of our sci-fi adventures. What's his name? I don't remember. Let's find out. Rick and Morty open their sci-fi book and start reading. According to this, the man with red eyes and a beard is called Kragen. Kragen sounds pretty bad. Yeah, he is pretty bad. He's a powerful villain who wants to take over the universe. That's pretty scary. Yeah, Kragen is definitely a threat. Hey Rick, do you want to see my new piece of art? Rick and Morty turn to see Jerry with a painting of a simple farmer. Jerry, this is really good. Thanks. I learned to paint last week. That's amazing, Jerry. Rick and Morty walk away, feeling impressed by Jerry's art. Man, that's one creepy picture. Yeah, totally. What do you think it means? Dunno, probably nothing. You're so negative, Rick. It's just a picture, Morty. Quit being such a drama queen. Duh, of course. You're the one always talking about science. Hey, look at this. What is it? I saw this weird creature on a spacecraft and I was wondering if it's some kind of alien. Alien? Like from another planet? Yeah, I think so. Wow, that's so cool. How'd you find it? I was looking through some pictures I took on my phone. That's so cool, Rick. I love science. This is amazing Morty, 
it looks like from our future. Yeah, Rick, it's so cool to see our future depicted in such a beautiful way. I know, right, Morty? It's always exciting to see where our stories will take us next. Huh. You two are so full of yourselves. Oh well, I'm just happy to be part of your family. It's been such a long time since I've been able to just sit around and relax. It's good to see you two are still just as happy as you always were. Jerry, I'm sorry but Morty and I are just so darn excited about all our sci-fi adventures. You don't understand how much fun we're having. No worries Rick, I'm sure you two will have a lot of fun. Now how about we all get some sleep so we can get up early and explore some more tomorrow. Yeah Jerry, we should get some sleep so we can have a lot of fun tomorrow. Wait Morty, this woman has a lot of hair. Yeah Rick, she has a lot of hair. What do you think she's doing? I don't know Rick, maybe she's auditioning for a role in a sci-fi movie? That's a good idea Morty. Maybe she can be our lead actress. Yeah Rick, she could be our lead actress. Alright Morty, let's go talk to her and see what she thinks. Here is the conversation. Hey, what's up? Woman, hey, what's up? We were just wondering what you were doing here. Woman, I'm waiting for my friend. That's cool. We just love sci-fi movies. Woman, yeah me too. Are you guys Rick and Morty? Yeah, that's us. Woman, awesome. I love Rick and Morty. We know. We just saw a movie with you in it. Woman. Oh really? Oh cool. I really loved it. Thanks for picking me to see it. This is a great picture of a man with a beard and a green jacket Morty. He's sitting on a chair in front of a neon background, and he looks like he's having a great time. Yeah, I love the way he's looking back at the camera. He looks so happy and content. Yeah, I think he's really cool. He's probably got a great life, and he's probably happy. Yeah, I think you're right. He looks really happy and content in this picture. Yeah, I think you're right Morty. He's probably really happy and content in this picture. It's a perfect sci-fi picture. Yeah, it's amazing. What's the story behind it? I don't know, it's just something cool. It's got a great story behind it. Yeah, it's just something cool. It's got a great story behind it. Dude, this is so cool. We need to watch this movie. You know, I'm not so sure. It's a bit expensive. Yeah, but Rick said it's the best movie ever. Morty, you don't understand. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. This is true, Rick. But what if Star Trek is boring? What if the space station blows up? You're both being too pessimistic. You should just go ahead and watch it. Alright, I'll buy it. Alright Morty, I'll buy it for you. 
Oh, you're the best. This is an amazing picture, Morty. Yeah, I think she's levitating. Levitating? That's really cool, Morty. Yeah, I think she's floating in the air. I think you're right, Morty. Levitating in the air is really cool. Who's that? I have no idea, she's in a lot of movies. What do you mean by lot of movies? I don't know, she's in a lot of movies. What does that mean? I don't know, she's in a lot of movies. Is that a bad thing? Ah, no, it's not a bad thing. It just means she's been in a lot of movies. Right, right. So, she's probably pretty famous. Oh, yeah, yeah, I reckon she is. Why do you reckon she's famous? I don't know, she's just really pretty and has a lot of movies. Yeah, that's fair enough. I love this picture. It's so beautiful. Yeah, it's really cool. I can't believe they put a picture of Casablanca in the background. Yeah, I love that movie. It's one of my favorites. That's a really cool picture, Morty. Those colors look amazing. Yeah, I think it's a great picture, Rick. The colors look really vivid and the composition is great. Yeah, Morty, I think it's a great picture. What's the story behind it? Well, I think it's probably from some ancient civilization. I don't remember the details, but I think it's a great picture. Yep, I'm sure it is, Morty. It's a great picture. So yeah, I was thinking about this new show we're watching called, Rick and Morty. It's great! I could never get tired of watching Rick go on these crazy sci-fi adventures. Yeah, me too. In fact, I was thinking about doing an episode all about our sci-fi adventures. That would be awesome! What kind of adventures would we go on? Well, I was thinking about doing an episode where we travel to the planet Xenon. Xenon? That sounds cool! Yeah, I think it would be really funny to have a simple man like Jerry try to understand our sci-fi adventures. Yeah, I think that would be funny too. Oh, I get it. You're going to Xenon to find this woman with the weird face. Yeah, that's right. But why is she wearing a hood? Well, I think the hood is probably to make her look mysterious. Mysterious? You mean like? Exactly like that. I see. Well, I'm sure Morty and I will enjoy your episode. Rick and Morty analyze the picture and share their thoughts. This looks like some kind of alien creature. Yeah, 
I think that's right Morty. It's definitely an alien. What do you think Jerry? Well Morty, I think it's cool that you can see all that detail in the picture. The background is really detailed. Yeah, Jerry's right. The background is really intricate. It looks like the creature is wearing clothes or something. Morty's right. That creature definitely has clothes on. This is a great picture Morty. It's a clown with red hair and green hair wearing a clown mask with a red nose and green hair and a white wig. It looks like it would be a lot of fun to play with. Yeah Rick, I think it would be hilarious to play with. Morty, I'm not sure about this picture. It looks a little creepy to me. Yeah Jerry, I agree. It doesn't look very fun to me either. Yeah you're right Jerry, this picture doesn't look very fun at all. Oh Rick, I think Morty might want to take a break for now. He's been working on this for a long time and he might be a little tired. Yeah Morty, you should take a break. You don't want to overdo it. This is an awesome poster. What's the story behind it? I don't know, but it looks like it would be a lot of fun to explore. Oh, I don't know anything about art. Don't worry Jerry, I'll guide you through it. We're so close to cracking the code, Morty. This is going to be the biggest discovery of our careers. And it's all thanks to those damn aliens, Rick. They just won't leave us alone. You know, Rick, I don't get it. What's the big deal with that Simpson character? He's just a cartoon. Jerry, you don't understand. That image is more than just a cartoon. It's a symbol of our age. It's a representation of our culture, Rick. And that's why we have to find out what it means. Oh, yeah. I get it now. So you're saying the Simpson guy basically represents our entire culture? Yep, and we need to understand what he means to us, so we can preserve it. Well, I don't know about you Rick, but I don't have time for all this cultural crap. I'm going to go take a shower. Jerry, come on. This is important. Yeah, right. Like I haven't been working all day. I bet you didn't even take a break to eat lunch, did you? You poor thing. You're starving yourself to death. Jerry, I'm serious. This is important. And I'm serious, Rick. I'm going to take a shower. This is a cool view. Yeah, it's very sci-fi. I love sci-fi adventures. Me too. What are you guys talking about? We're analyzing this picture. It's a spiral staircase with a reflection of a building and the mirror of its reflection in the mirror. That's so cool. I have no clue about art. Neither do I, Jerry. But that's why we love sci-fi adventures. They're a great way to learn about new things. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This us, like, totally illegal, Morty. 
Oh, come on, Rick. It's just a woman. Well, there's nothing legal about obscenity, Morty. Well, there's nothing obscene about art, Rick. Fine, but you know how mom gets when she sees stuff like this. She'll be angry, Morty. No, she won't. She's so happy, Rick. Yeah, mom's happy, Morty. But she's also a simple woman, and she doesn't understand art. Exactly, Rick. She's a simple woman and she doesn't understand art. That's why I love her. She's happy and she's got no clue about art. That's perfect. Perfect, Morty. Perfect. This is a painting of a woman with a naked body and a man with a dragon on her back, surrounded by other women. It's a beautiful image, but I can't help but wonder what their story is. Yeah, I think it's weird that there's no background story. It almost feels like it's unfinished. You're right, Morty. It's weird that the painting is unfinished. Maybe the artist didn't have time to finish it. That's a great point, Jerry. Maybe the artist didn't have time to finish it, personally. I think this painting is unfinished because it's unfinished. You're a genius, Rick. Thank you, Morty. I think you're right. This painting is unfinished because it's unfinished. This is one of my favorite pictures of Morty. He looks so happy and wholesome. I know. I love it when we can just relax and enjoy each other's company. Yeah, I can't believe we're still alive and kicking after all these adventures. Huh, Morty's dad is a simple man with no clue about art. But he's the best dad I've ever had. Yeah, I love him to death. Hey Jerry, do you like art? Um, I guess so. I don't really know what it is though. Well, that's okay. You don't need to understand it to appreciate it. I guess you're right. And that's the spirit. Dude, this is like the best sci-fi painting I've ever seen. Yeah, it's really cool. Sarcastically, oh, thank you, Rick. I'm so honored. Smiling, no problem, Jerry. Walking away. Well, I'm going to go see if Morty can find any other paintings like this. Rick and Morty continue to analyze the painting while also talking about their sci-fi adventures. So Morty, did you find any other paintings like this? Not that I can see. That's okay. We can always find more paintings like this. Yeah, I guess. Rick and Morty continue to talk about their sci-fi adventures. Speaking of sci-fi, have you ever been on a space adventure? No, not yet. Well, I think we should go on some space adventures together. Yeah, I think that would be fun. Rick and Morty continue to talk about their sci-fi adventures. So Morty, what kind of things do you want to do in space? I don't know, I just want to explore. Okay, we'll explore together. That sounds like fun. You got to stop smoking those things. You'll kill yourself. No, nah, it's just a relaxing habit. Man, I don't even know what that is. It's a picture of an alien. Alien? What are you talking about? See that guy with the beard and mustache? He's smoking a cigarette. Yep, and it's so cool to see an image of an alien on a picture. Yeah, I think we should head back to our spaceship and explore the universe. 
Oh, I see. Well, I'm happy to see you're both enjoying your sci-fi adventures. Dude, I can't believe I found another golden ring. This is great. Yeah, we've been looking everywhere for one. Hey Rick, did you find a golden ring? Oh Jerry, I didn't. But I did find a clock. Yeah, I saw it. It's beautiful. Oh this is amazing Morty. I love how the colors look so vibrant and the woman looks so futuristic. Yeah she looks amazing Rick. I feel like she's right out of a science fiction movie. Hee hee hee. I feel like I'm seeing a painting from a Rick and Morty episode. Yeah, and I can't wait to see what else our sci-fi adventures bring us. So this is a picture of a woman and a man. The woman is standing in front of a colorful background with a woman holding a plate in her hands and a man standing behind her. What do you think it means? I think it means that the woman is beautiful and the man is handsome. Yeah, I think you're right Morty. Hey guys, what's going on? Hey Jerry, check out this picture we found. It's pretty cool, I think it has meaning. Really? What do you think it means? Well, according to the description, it seems to be a picture of a woman and a man. The woman is standing in front of a colorful background with a woman holding a plate in her hands and a man standing behind her. Wow, I had no idea that was what it meant. That's really cool. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but it's pretty cool. I don't get it, Rick. It doesn't look like anything I've ever seen before. That's because it's not from this world, Jerry. It's from a different dimension. Different dimension? What does that mean? I'm not sure, but it's kind of amazing. Yeah, I think it's really cool, too. I mean, think about it. We're living in a dimension where just about anything is possible. Yeah, I guess you're right. And that includes science fiction. Huh. So you're saying this picture is from a sci-fi story? Yeah, I think so. I've never been too crazy about sci-fi, but that sounds pretty cool. Yeah, I think so, too. So, Jerry, what do you think? I think it's pretty cool. That's an interesting picture. I always imagined space being a lot more purple. Purple is the color of the future, Rick. What about you, Morty? What do you think about the picture? It's eye-catching. The colors are bright and vibrant. The background is cool, too. You're right. It's a pretty cool picture. I'm glad you think so. That's amazing Morty, what's the story behind it? Um, it's just a painting. But it's so beautiful, 
what made you think of it? I don't know, it just seemed cool. Well, I think it's awesome. It's such a unique and beautiful way to depict a woman. Yeah, I guess you're right. And I always love it when you have an original idea, Morty. You're a genius when it comes to science and art. Aw, oh, thank you Rick. You're really mean, but you mean it anyways. Hey Morty, what's up? Not much, just hanging out with my dad. What about you? Oh, just studying for my art quiz. I'm failing, by the way. Oh man, I'm sorry to hear that Jerry. But don't give up hope, you can do it. Thank you Morty. I'll try not to. So this looks like a lab from a sci-fi movie. Yeah, I always thought Fermilab was really cool. They must have some really advanced technology in there. That's definitely true. I bet they're working on something really groundbreaking. Yeah, I can't wait to see what they come up with next. I feel the same way. I am so happy with this painting. It's amazing. Yeah, it's really cool. Wait, what is that thing on her head? Oh, that's just a woman with a strange head and glowing eyes. It's from a sci-fi adventure we went on. It was really cool. I have no idea what you're talking about. Rick is happy and wholesome. Morty is happy and wholesome. Everyone has a positive vibe. Jerry is Morty's dad and he's a simple man with no clue about art. They're from the show Rick and Morty. You have to use their personality and the way they talk in the show. This is a great picture. It shows the amazing bond between Morty and I. Yeah, it's great. I couldn't be happier. I'm so glad you're content, Rick. Hmm. Well, I'm sure Morty would be happy to hear that, Rick. Jerry, I don't think Morty would appreciate your ignorance about art. What do you mean? Morty is a huge fan of art. You don't know anything about it, which is why he loves me so much. No, I do know about art. I'm just not as interested in it as Morty is. Morty is a very cultured man, Jerry. He's got a lot of knowledge about the world. Yeah, I guess he does. But I'm still a better man than he is. Morty loves you. Jerry, he would never say something bad about you. Yeah, okay. I believe you. It's a cool painting, Morty. What's it called? I have no idea, Rick. It's just a painting. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's just a painting. Hey Rick, what are you working on? I'm analyzing this painting, Jerry. It's a cool painting, Morty. What's it called? I have no idea, Rick. It's just a painting. That's a great picture, Morty. It's a perfect depiction of the strife and anxiety of the modern woman. Yeah, it's true, Rick. Especially when you're by yourself and all you can think about is how you're going to get out of the next five minutes. Exactly, Morty. Women are always fighting against themselves. What are you two talking about? Oh, 
Nothing Jerry. Just analyzing the picture. Dude, that's a real classic sci-fi painting. Yeah, I love it. It reminds me of all the great adventures we've had. Yeah, I remember one time we were on this planet full of giant spiders and we had to fight our way out. That was so cool. And then there was that time we went to this other planet where the people were living in this huge city made out of cake. Yeah, that was so cool. And then there was that time we went to this other planet where the people were living in this huge city made out of candy. Yeah, that was great, too. And then there was that time we went to this other planet where the people were living in this huge city made out of Lego. That was the best. I mean, every time we crack open a new planet, it's like we're opening up a new chapter in our sci-fi adventures. Yeah, I can't wait to see what happens next. Damn, they are badass. Yep, they are some of the coolest spiders out there. Aw, you kids are so into geek stuff. Hey Jerry, do you like sci-fi? What, are you kidding? I'm not the biggest fan, but I do like some of it. That's cool, I like sci-fi too. What's your favorite movie? I don't know, I haven't seen that many. How about you Morty? My favorite movie is Spider-Man 2. That's awesome, I love that movie. I mean sure, it's a bit dated now, but then again it's a classic. Oh, that's some intense sci-fi artwork there, Morty. Yeah, I think it's amazing. It's so colorful and exciting. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, Morty. It's definitely one of the most interesting pictures I've ever seen. You know, Rick, I really don't understand what all the fuss is about with art. To me, it's just a bunch of colorful paint on a canvas. You're exactly right, Jerry. Art to me is just a way to express yourself and communicate your emotions to other people. I think it's really important to have a positive attitude when it comes to art, because it can really change your life. Yeah, I think you're right, Rick. You know what, Rick, I think I'm going to go take a nap. Thanks for talking with me, Rick. No problem, Jerry. Good night. What do you think, Morty? That looks like a great picture. I'm sure your dad would love it. He's such a simple man, he doesn't understand art at all. I'm sure you can help him understand it better. After all, you're the artist in the family. Yeah, Rick. I think my dad would love that picture. He's such a simple man, he doesn't understand art at all. But I can help him understand it better. After all, I'm the artist in the family.
that's one of my favorite futuristic paintings, Morty. It's beautiful, Rick. What do you think the woman is doing? Um, I don't know, Morty. But I love the mix of futuristic elements in the painting. I agree, Rick. It's really cool. What do you think, Morty? I think it's great. I love the cityscape and the umbrella in the background. I don't get it, Morty. I don't see how that has anything to do with sci-fi. Don't worry, Jerry. I'll explain it to you in a minute. Is there going to be a discussion about the picture? Or are we just going to move on to Rick's next adventure? You're right, Morty. We should probably talk about the picture. What do you think about it, Jerry? I don't know, Rick. I just don't see how it has anything to do with sci-fi. Okay, Jerry, I'll explain it to you in a minute. So, Morty, what do you think about our sci-fi adventure so far? It's great! I love the adventure, the planets, and the space battles. I agree, Morty. We've had a really fun time exploring the galaxy. Ah, uh, guys? I don't think this picture has anything to do with science fiction. Rick and Jerry, don't be silly. It's a picture of a cityscape with a woman in a dress. It's obviously related to sci-fi. I'm sorry, Rick. I don't buy it. Holy crap, Morty, look at that painting. It's amazing. Yeah, man, it's really awesome. I can't believe how boobs look in paintings now. Yeah, man, they're so big. I wonder if breasts will be the next big trend in painting. Yeah, man, I bet they will. Maybe we should do a painting with boobs in it. Yeah, man, I think that would be cool. This is an amazing picture, Morty. I love the way it's painted and the story it tells. Yeah, I love the colors and the layout. It's really cool. I'm glad you think so, Morty. I think it's one of the best pieces I've ever created. You're really talented, Rick. Oh, thank you, Morty. You're such a good friend. I feel so lucky to have you as my friend. You're always there for me, Rick. I really appreciate it. I just want you to be happy, Morty. That's all that matters to me. I am Rick. I'm always happy. Whoa. This is some high-class art. Yeah, I really like the colors she used. Yeah, I could see how they'd inspire you in your sci-fi art. I don't get it, Rick. What's the big deal about this painting? Jerry, this is artwork. Ellipsis. You see, Jerry, art is all about capturing emotion and bringing a story to life. Ellipsis. And this painting does just that. It's beautiful and inspiring. Ellipsis. It's no wonder Morty likes it so much. Yeah, I love how the colors represent different parts of the world. Yeah, and it's so cool to see a woman being represented in art in a positive light. Ellipsis. Jerry, come on, this painting is amazing. Ellipsis. What is it, Jerry? I don't understand, Rick. This painting is great, but I don't see the appeal of sci-fi. Jerry. Don't you find science and technology amazing? 
Ellipsis. Don't you find our stories inspiring? Ellipsis. Don't you want to be a part of the future? Ellipsis. Jerry, this painting is amazing, and so are our stories. Ellipsis. Jerry, come on, we're the future. Ellipsis. We're the best thing to happen to sci-fi. Ellipsis. Jerry, come on, we're the best thing to happen to art. Ellipsis. Jerry, come on, we're amazing. Ellipsis. Jerry, come on, we're the best thing to happen to humanity. Ellipsis. Jerry, come on, we're amazing. Ellipsis. Jerry, come on, Morty and I are amazing together. Ellipsis. Jerry, come on, we're amazing. Ellipsis. Jerry, come on, Morty and I are the best thing to happen to humanity. Ellipsis. Jerry, come on, you need to see our amazing future. Ellipsis. Jerry, come on, you need to join us in our amazing future. Ellipsis. Jerry, come on, Morty and I are happy and wholesome, and we want you to be happy and wholesome too. Ellipsis. Fine. But I'm never going to sci-fi themed art events again. Dude, that's so cool. I can't believe we saw that in the future. Yeah, it was amazing. Hey, I don't know about you guys, but that doesn't look like something I would put in my house. Jerry, we saw it in the future and it was cool. I bet you saw a lot of great adventures in the future, Rick. Yeah, Rick always takes us on the best adventures. Hey, Morty. What do you think about this painting? I think it's amazing. Rick and I saw it in the future and it was so cool. It's a really good painting, Morty. Jerry, what do you think? Holy crap, that's a bona fide alien. Man, I wish we could get a better look. I'm not sure I understand the artistry here, Morty. Don't worry Jerry, I got you covered. As an artist myself, I can see the beauty in simplicity. This is great, Morty. We should make a movie like this. I think so too, Rick. It's really well done. But why do they have a beard guy? Don't know, Morty. That's just the way it is. Love the poster, by the way. Great job, Morty, you nailed that. Yeah, I had a lot of help from Jerry though. He's a really nice guy. He is, Morty. He's a really simple man with no clue about art, but he's your dad so you should appreciate him. I don't know, Rick. It just doesn't seem very stimulating. You know what I mean, Jerry. It's kind of like reading a dictionary. Yeah, I guess you're right. Don't worry, Jerry. We'll find something more interesting to do soon. In the meantime, let's watch some sci-fi. The Rick and Morty team are sitting in front of the television watching a movie about a man with glasses and a colorful background. Meanwhile, Jerry is sitting in a chair complaining about how boring the picture is.
Look at this beautiful picture Morty. It's a stylized image of a robot face with yellow and green accents on its face and eyes, with a green and yellow background. Yeah Rick, it's amazing! I love the way the colors together look so bold and bright. Yeah, it's really striking! It's a great representation of what our sci-fi adventures could be like. Yeah, I couldn't agree more Rick! Dude, check out the detail in that picture. It's unreal. Yeah, I can't believe how good the rendering is on this computer. What are you two talking about? We're discussing our latest sci-fi adventure. A man with glasses and a bald head is looking at another man's face in front of a purple background. Morty. Yeah, I can't believe how good the rendering is on this computer. Dude, check out the detail in that picture. It's unreal. Morty. Yeah, I can't believe how good the rendering is on this computer. Jerry. What are you two talking about? We're discussing our latest sci-fi adventure. A man with glasses and a bald head is looking at another man's face in front of a purple background. Jerry. You know, I used to watch that show Rick and Morty when it was on the TV. I remember it had two characters named Rick and Morty. They were always talking about sci-fi adventures. Aha, uh -huh. this is so cool. We should totally build one of these. Yeah, I don't know. It sounds like a lot of work. Hey, you guys want to see my new painting? Yeah, let's take a look. It's a painting of a machine with a large screen on top of its head and a large screen on the back of the head. Aha, uh -huh. this is so cool. We should totally build one of these. Yeah, I don't know. It sounds like a lot of work. Damn, that's one beautiful picture. Yeah, she's really got talent. Wow, that's really cool. I've never seen anything like it before. Oh my god that's amazing. I love the way the fire reflects in his eyes. Yeah, I love how it captures the innocence of the sandwich. Huh, I can't believe you pulled that off Jerry. That's amazing. So Morty, what do you think? It's cool. I love the futuristic stuff. Yeah, I thought you might. I was also thinking of doing a sci-fi episode. Really? That would be awesome. You're right, it would. In fact, I think I might do it tomorrow. Oh, can we watch it together? Sure thing, Morty. We can watch it together tomorrow. Amazing. This is a great picture. Yeah, it's really cool. Huh, what's so great about it? Well, for one it's an incredible piece of artwork. And secondly, it just captures the feel of a great sci-fi story. 
that's definitely true. Stories are all about the journey, and this image perfectly captures that feeling. I'm not so sure about that. To me, it just looks weird. Well, that's just one person's opinion, Jerry. You're probably right, Jerry. While everyone has their own perspective, in the end, it's all about enjoying the journey. That's what makes life so great. Absolutely, Rick. Hey Morty, I think I found the perfect spot for our new house. Cool! Do you think it'll have enough room for all our sci-fi gear? Hey, I don't know Morty, but it'll have to do. They continue to chat about their new house and their sci-fi adventures when suddenly Jerry enters the room. Hey Morty, your dad and I are going out to get some lunch. Do you want to come with us? Oh, I would love to Jerry. They all walk out to get some lunch and Rick and Morty are talking about their sci-fi adventures. Oh man, we're going to have so much fun on our next adventure. Yeah, I can't wait. They continue to chat about their sci-fi adventures until they get back home. Hey Morty, I think I found the perfect spot for our new house. Cool, do you think it'll have enough room for all our sci-fi gear? Hey, I don't know Morty, but it'll have to do. Hey Morty, your dad and I are going out to get some lunch. Do you want to come with us? Oh, I would love to Jerry. All right, cool. We'll see you later then. Rick and Morty continue to chat about their sci-fi adventures while Jerry goes to get lunch. This looks like an epic scene from one of our sci-fi adventures. It sure does. I can't wait to see what happens next. Dude, you're such a Brookfields. You don't even know what art is. Oh, I know all about art. I'm just very simple. Huh. I guess I could see that. Let's move on. Yeah, sure. Dude, this is a quality painting. This is the best picture I've ever seen. You think so, Morty? Yeah, it's awesome. I'm glad you like it, Morty. Me too, Rick. This is a really good picture, Morty. I'm really happy with it. Yeah, it's great, Rick. I'm happy with it, too. Hey, guys, what's up? We're just analyzing this picture, Jerry. It's a really good picture, Rick. I'm happy with it. Looks great, guys. Yep, it's a great picture, Jerry. All right, I'm going to go watch TV. All right, Jerry. Hey, Jerry, see you later. See you, Morty. Bye, Jerry. Dude, it's Forrest Gump. Dude, it's Forrest Gump. What the hell, Rick? I was just analyzing the text. Dude, it's Forrest Gump. I'm not sure about this, Rick. It's a classic. Why is he wearing a flight cap? Probably because he's a pilot. I don't get it, Rick. Dude, he's like Forrest Gump from the future. I don't get it, Morty.
Hey Morty, check out this picture I found. It's a masterpiece. What an amazing picture. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a picture like that before. Do you think the lizards are communicating with each other telepathically? I can't be sure, but it's definitely an interesting picture. I agree, it's definitely a unique piece of art. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. Me too, Rick. Me too. Morty. I think she's the captain of a spaceship. You think, Morty? Yup, she's the captain of a spaceship. Huh. Well I don't know. She's really not that great looking Morty. She's really not that great looking. I don't know. She's not that great looking. Morty. What, do you not like her? I don't know. She's not that great looking. Morty. What, does she not have beautiful blonde hair like me? Morty. You're blonde. That's not exactly a good trait to have. Morty. But she's the captain of a spaceship, so she must be really amazing. Morty. You're blonde. That's not exactly a good trait to have. Wow, Morty, look at this woman. She's beautiful. I know, Rick. She's definitely got a striking look about her. You guys are talking about that woman like she's special. She is special, Jerry. Very special. I agree, Rick. What do you think is her story? I have no idea, Morty. But based off of her looks and the story behind the picture, I think she could be a fighter. A fighter? Does that mean she could potentially be dangerous? Yes, Jerry, that's definitely possible. She could be a powerful woman who can fight for her rights. That's really cool, Rick. What do you think her name is? I have no idea, Morty. But based on the picture, I think her name could be Dana. Dana. I like that. It sounds like a strong name. You're right, Jerry. Dana definitely has a powerful name. I agree, Rick. She's definitely got a lot of potential. What does this say about the future of food? It says that food is going to get more complicated. Precisely, precisely. In the future, food will be like a puzzle where you have to figure out how to combine the different flavors to create the perfect dish. Morty, did you eat yet? No, I'm waiting for Rick to finish his analysis. Rick, did you eat yet? No, I'm waiting for Morty to finish his analysis. Fine, I'll get breakfast started. Great idea, Jerry. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Later that day, Rick and Morty are watching a movie in their apartment when they hear a knock at the door. Who could that be? I don't know. Let me go and check it out. Yeah, go ahead, Morty. I'll stay here and watch our movie. Morty goes to the door and opens it to find Jerry standing there. Hey, Morty, I brought you some breakfast. Thanks, Jerry. Later that day, Rick and Morty are watching their movie when they hear a knock at the door. Who could that be? I don't know. Let me go and check it out. Yeah, go ahead, Morty. I'll stay here and watch our movie. Morty goes to the door and opens it to find Jerry, Rick's dad, standing there. Hey, Morty, I brought you some art supplies. Thanks, Jerry. Later that day, Rick and Morty are painting together in Morty's apartment when they hear a knock at the door. Who could that be? I don't know, let me go and check it out. Yeah, go ahead Morty. I'll stay here and paint with you.
This pizza looks really delicious, Morty. It does, Rick. It's definitely one of my favorite pizzas. I'm glad you like it, Morty. Wow, Rick, that looks pretty amazing. Yeah, Jerry, I think Morty has a real talent for pizza making. I guess you're right, Rick. Well, Jerry, it looks like it's time for us to head home. Yeah, I know Morty's been looking forward to going home. Yeah, I can tell Morty's been longing for home. Yeah, Rick, I don't know what it is, but I just feel really ooh homesick right now. Well, Morty, I think it's time you head home. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, Rick, see you tomorrow. All right, Morty, I think it's time you head home. Yeah, Rick, see you tomorrow. This is a great poster, it has so many details in it. Yeah, I love the way the women are pointing their guns. It's really cool. Yeah, it's definitely a well-drawn picture. Well, I don't know about art, but I'm sure it's a great poster. Yeah, it's a great poster, Jerry. Hey, I don't know. It's just not my thing. Yeah, it's definitely a great poster, Jerry. Dude, check out that woman with the blue ring on her forehead. What do you think that could be? I don't know, Rick. Maybe she's a space alien. Dude, you're starting to sound like Jerry. He's a simple man with no clue about art, and he thinks all space aliens look the same. What's the big deal, Morty? Spaceships and aliens are just a part of science fiction, nothing more. You're right, Jerry, and that's why I love sci-fi. It's the perfect way to explore the unknown and make our imagination come alive. Yeah, and it's also a great way to learn about the world around us. You're right, Morty, and that's why I love sci-fi. This looks really cool, Morty. It's a painting of two people kissing each other with their heads touching each other's noses, with a space background. Yeah, Rick, it's a really nice painting. I think it's really inspiring. Yeah, I think so too, Morty. It's really inspiring to see two people kiss each other and have their heads touching each other's noses. I think it's really beautiful. Ha! Huh. Morty's dad is a simple man, Morty. He doesn't even understand art. He just sees things in a predictable way. Yeah, Jerry, you're right. I don't even know what you're talking about when it comes to art. Well, Jerry, it's good that you don't understand art. If you did, you would be just like Morty's dad and have no clue about it. It's good that we have people like Morty's dad and us who understand art. Yeah, Rick, that's true. Hey Morty, looks like we're going to have to get creative if we want to survive out in the wild. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing Rick. Do you have any ideas? Well, I was thinking we could use our fork and spoon to eat our food. That's a good idea Rick. And we can use our skull to show that we're not afraid of the dark. Yeah, that makes total sense Rick. We're going to be just fine. It's a, a, a headcrab. 
Awesome! This is perfect for one of our sci-fi adventures. Oh man, I don't think so. It's kinda creepy. What do you think, Morty? It's totally cool, Jerry. The head crab is perfect for our next adventure. Oh, all right. This is amazing, Morty. It's so detailed. I can just see the blue sky in the background. Yeah, it's really awesome. I love how the jet engine looks so powerful. Yeah, it's really impressive. I can't believe they could make something like this. Hey, guys. I didn't know you were so into sci-fi. Rick and Jerry, we were just discussing our latest sci-fi adventure. Oh, okay. I'm sorry I can't seem to keep up with all of this science fiction stuff. I'm just a simple man with no clue about art. He's right, Morty. Art is really complex. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Well, I'm going to bed. Good night all. Rick and good night, Jerry. Man, that's a great picture. I can't wait to see what else you come up with. Yeah, I'm really excited too. I can't wait to write more sci-fi adventures with you. Hey, Morty. I saw that picture you made of the woman in the suit. It's really good. Thanks, Jerry. I'm just glad you like it. No problem, Morty. I'm just happy to see you getting into art. Yeah, Morty's doing great in art, Jerry. Keep up the good work. Oh, thank you, Rick. I really appreciate it. Holy crap, this is an amazing painting. Yeah, I totally agree, Rick. Hey Rick, Morty said you were into sci-fi. What's your fab? Oh man, that's tough. I love all sorts of sci-fi, but I especially love spaceships. Yeah, I love spaceships too, Rick. Spaceships are cool, but I think a more realistic painting would be better. Totally, you're right Jerry. Spaceships can be a little too unrealistic. Yeah, I don't know why people like spaceships so much. They're just so fake. But they're still really cool. Yeah, you're right, Morty. So what are you going to do about the painting, Jerry? Uh, I don't know. I think I'll just leave it as is. That's a good idea, Jerry. You should leave it as is. Oh man, this is so hard. What's the problem? Well, I think the background's a little too busy. Yeah, I don't think it quite fits with the dress. You're right, I think we should maybe go with something simpler. Like what? Maybe we could just go with a solid green background. That would be perfect. This is a great image, Morty. Yeah, I think it's really cool. I agree, Morty. Looks like you've been studying up on your sci-fi art. Yeah, I just love looking at pictures like this and imagining what it would be like to be in that world. Yeah, it's amazing. I can't wait to head out into the galaxy someday. Same here, Rick.
This is a digital painting of a woman with a strange face and hair. What do you think? It's definitely different, but it's kind of cool too. You're right, Morty. I totally don't know what it is, but it's cool. Boy, this looks like a really cool city. Yeah, it's really beautiful. I can't wait to explore it more. Me too, Rick. Me too. Wait, what is that? It's a woman. I'll forget about it. It's just a weird face, Morty. Guys, I don't know about this sci-fi stuff. Can we just focus on the picture? But Morty, what if that woman is from an alien race and we don't know it yet? Then we'll just have to find out, Jerry. Yeah, and besides, even if she's from an alien race, we can still be friends with her because we're both happy and wholesome. Okay, sure, Morty. Rick and Morty discuss the picture for a bit more before finally coming to a conclusion and agreeing that it's just a weird face. They all chuckle and go back to their analysis, feeling much more confident about their sci-fi adventures. That looks like an intense look on his face, Morty. What if he's in a fight? That's a great idea, Rick. I bet he's awesome at battling alien creatures. Yeah, Morty, I think you're right. Let's watch an episode of Rick and Morty and find out. Yes, Jerry. I can't wait to see what adventures they get into. This is a pretty neat picture, Jerry. It's a neat building. It is Rick. You're always so positive. Yeah, it's nice to see a happy Rick in a picture. Yeah, it's always good to enjoy life, Jerry. Yeah, you're right, Rick. So, Morty, do you like sci-fi, Rick? Oh, yeah, I absolutely love sci-fi, Rick. Me too, Morty. Me too. End of discussion. It's amazing, Morty, you're so lucky to have such cool parents. Thanks, Rick. I love them to pieces. They're both so talented. I can't believe their works of art are so different. Yeah, I don't either. I guess we were just meant to be together. You're too sweet, Morty. You're too weird, Rick. Both, giggling. Damn, that's one creepy looking woman. Yeah, she's pretty imposing. Yeah, I can't imagine what kind of evil she could do. Yeah, she's definitely one of the bad guys. Yep, she's definitely one of the enemies we need to worry about. Yeah, I'm sure she won't be happy to see us. Yeah, we need to be careful. Hey Rick, what's that picture you're studying? It's a picture of a woman with a crown on her head and a white dress with gold trims and a white collar, snowy. Interesting. What do you think of it? I don't know, it's pretty creepy. Yeah, I can't help but think of all the evil she could do. Yeah, 
I feel the same way. Yeah, she's definitely one of the bad guys. One. Purpose of painting. This painting represents an important moment in our sci-fi adventures. It's from a pivotal scene from our pilot episode where our intrepid adventurers, Rick and Morty, encounter a deadly alien threat. Yeah, this painting is really important to us because it symbolizes how we've come together as a team and overcome obstacles. Man, I had no idea art was so big. I just assumed the artists made it all up. Two. Historical importance. This painting is historically important because it is one of the earliest examples of the type of sci-fi art that Rick and Morty love so much. Yeah, this painting is a classic because it showcases the creativeness of early sci-fi artists. Holy crap, I had no idea art was so complex. I just figured it was all pictures with people in them. 3. Symbolism. There are many symbols and metaphors in this painting that have significant meaning to Rick and Morty. This painting represents our journey as a team. The flower arrangement represents our blossoming friendship, and the suit and bow tie represent Rick's adventurous spirit. I had no idea art could be so symbolical. I thought all art was just pictures of people. Hey Morty, check out this amazing picture. It's from our sci-fi adventure. Oh man, that looks cool. What did you do? We fought a bunch of aliens with swords. It was so much fun. Is that what the sky background is? Yeah, it's a really cool picture. I'm so happy and wholesome. Me too. I feel so good. You both look so happy. Yeah, it's a great day. It is, Jerry. And everyone has a positive vibe. That's true. Hey Morty, how's the new job going? It's great, I get to work on a cool project with some really smart people. That's awesome, I'm really happy for you. Thanks Rick, so what are you working on these days? I'm trying to figure out a way to travel to Istanbul. What, like the city in Turkey? Yeah, I want to go see the clock on the wall. Istanbul is amazing Rick, I'll take you there one day. That would be so cool, thank you Morty. That's an amazing building, Rick. Yeah, it's super tall. Very impressive. Yeah, it's a pretty great building, Morty. I can't believe they're actually inside. It's so cool. Yeah, it's really neat. They have a skylight up in there too, so it's really bright and spacious. It's really cool how they are able to keep everything so clean and organized. Yeah, it's really amazing. It's such a great building. That's a really great painting, Morty. 
I love the way the turtles are integrated into the background. It's really unique. Yeah, I think so too, Rick. I always thought it would be cool if they were in more paintings. I see what you mean, Morty. The turtles always have a tendency to pop out and add a touch of fun and excitement. Exactly, Jerry. And the green and gold color scheme really works well together. It's definitely a beautiful painting. Yep, yeah, I couldn't agree more, Rick. The gold border really adds an extra touch of luxury. Rick and Morty continue to chat about the painting while Jerry just watches and listens with a blank stare. Oh, this is amazing, Morty. It's like a painting. Yeah, Rick, I really like it. It's like a dog with a crown. It is amazing, Morty. It's like a painting. Hey, Rick, have you seen Morty's new dog painting? Yeah, Jerry, it's great. It's like a dog with a golden coat and a crown on its head with a blue background and a winged wing. Yeah, Rick, I really like it. It's like a dog with a crown. It is amazing, Morty. It's like a painting. Nice picture, Morty. Yeah, it's a cool city. I like the blue object in the background. Yeah, it's a pretty cool object. Gary, dude, stop drooling over the picture. Yeah, I'm just appreciating the art. Dude, don't be so simple. That's not art. What do you know about art, Jerry? I don't know anything about art, but that doesn't mean it's not art. Gary, do you have any thoughts? Gary. Matt, I don't know. I guess it's okay, I guess. All right, Morty. You can put that picture up in your room. Yeah, I'll put it up later. What's up, Morty? Oh, just analyzing this picture. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I think so too. Eagles are such beautiful creatures. Yeah, they are. They're really strong, too. I remember one time when we were out in the woods and an eagle swooped down and stole our chicken lunch. That's funny. This is awesome. We should totally do a sci-fi episode. Yeah, all the characters would be in one scene, and we could have all these amazing battles. Battles? I love battles. Hey, Morty. Do you want to help me with some painting tomorrow? Sure, Jerry. I'm always happy to help out. This is Shanghai. I've always wanted to see it. So cool. What is she doing with the sword? Well, it could be anything. It could just be a threatening pose. Morty, can you believe your dad is a fan of art? I mean, he really doesn't understand much about it. Yeah, I know. But he's a great guy. He's always there for me. Yeah, I'm glad he's your dad. I don't know what I would do without him. What do you mean, Jerry? I mean, without your dad I would be lost. He's the simplest man I know. He just goes with the flow. Well, that's certainly a good thing.
This is really cool Morty. It's like a painting from the future. Yeah, I bet it is. Look at that fantastic background. It's like she's right out of a science fiction movie. Yeah, I definitely think so. It's amazing how she's perfectly blended in with the background. What are you two guys talking about? Oh, we were just discussing how amazing this painting is Morty. It's like a painting from the future. Yeah, I bet it is. Look at that fantastic background. It's like she's right out of a science fiction movie. Yeah, I definitely think so. It's amazing how she's perfectly blended in with the background. What are you two guys talking about? This is an amazing picture Morty. It looks like you and I are on an adventure. Yeah Rick, it looks like we're traveling to different worlds and meeting strange people. That's right Morty, and I bet we could find more adventure just by looking around. Jerry is sitting on the couch watching TV with a dumbfounded look on his face. He has no clue what's going on and he's simply just happy that Morty is happy and they're both safe. That's Zendaya, Morty, she's an actress and singer. You might have seen her in some movies or music videos. Yeah, I know who she is. She's pretty. Yeah, she is. I think she's really pretty. Huh. I don't know about that. What do you think, Jerry? Hey, she's not bad. I guess. Rick and Morty share a positive vibe and it feels great. Dude, that's a damn board. Holy crap, that's awesome. What are you guys talking about? We're just analyzing this picture, ma'am. It's from a sci-fi novel I read. So, it's like a Star Trek scene. Yeah, like the board from the show. What show is that? Well, you wouldn't know anything about that, would you, Jerry? No, I don't think so. You're from the show Rick and Morty, right Morty? Oh, uh, yeah. Good, so you already know what a Borg is. Oh, yeah, I've seen that show. Well, then you know what this scene is from. Rick and Star Trek, Season 3, Episode, The Best of Both Worlds. Hey Morty, check out this picture of Wonder Woman. Oh my god, she's so hot! Yeah, she's definitely one of the sexiest women in the world. Yeah, I can't believe she's not more popular. I don't know, she seems to be kind of under the radar. Yeah, she's not really like the mainstream superheroes. Exactly, she's an underrepresented superhero that deserves more recognition. Yeah, she's a badass. Totally, she's a real badass. Yeah, she's amazing! This is a great picture. It's got amazing detail and it looks like it could be from a movie or a sci-fi game. Yeah, I love it. It's so cool how it has this futuristic look but it's also very reminiscent of the Whitehead Institute for Biomedical Research. I bet that's where the background comes from. Yeah, I bet you're right. 
It's amazing how the design on the background is inspired by the clock in the center. It's really clever. Yeah, it is clever. And the woman looks really cool. She's got this badass attitude and she's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, she really does. And she's got this great figure too. She's probably really strong. Yeah, she's definitely strong. And she's also got this really cool haircut. Yeah, her haircut is really cool. It's kind of like a futuristic version of a braid. Yeah, it's kind of like a futuristic version of a braid. And her outfit is really cool. It's like something out of a science fiction movie. Yeah, I think you're right. It looks like something out of a science fiction movie. And the detail on her outfit is incredible. Yeah, it's incredible. And I love how her hair falls over her shoulder like that. It looks really cool. Yeah, it looks really cool. It's a really great picture. The most interesting thing about this painting is the way the light hits the girl's hair. It looks like it's stained with blood. Blood? Is she from a horror movie? Basically, yeah. You see, in science fiction, blood tends to be a big part of paintings like this. It's symbolic of death and violence, things that might intimidate or scare people. So you mean this painting could be interpreted as a warning to people? Exactly. It's a way of saying. Don't go down this dark path, it'll only lead to sadness and despair. Huh. I'm not sure I get it. It's okay, Jerry, you don't have to be an artist to appreciate art. All you need is a little imagination. I guess you're right. Thanks, Rick. Rick and Morty continue discussing the painting while Jerry just watches in confusion. Hey Morty, check out this picture of Leonardo DiCaprio. Looks like he was looking serious in that picture. Yeah, he definitely looked like he was concentrating on something. That's true. Leonardo DiCaprio's definitely one of my favorite actors. Yeah, he's really good. I love his movies. Yeah, he's definitely one of the best out there. Hey Rick, do you think Leonardo DiCaprio would be a good role model for me? Well, I think he would be a great role model for you if you want to try and be an actor like him. However, I think you should also be careful not to copy his style too much. He's got his own unique style that's really spectacular. Oh my god, look at that dog with the crown on its head. Dogs are so cute. Yeah, they are so adorable. I love sci-fi, it's one of my favorite things to do. Yeah, I love sci-fi too. I've read all the books and seen all the movies. You've read all the books and seen all the movies? Yeah. Morty, you're smarter than your dad. You should be reading books and watching movies. Jerry, I couldn't agree more. Morty should be reading books and watching movies. Rick, you're the one who's smarter. You should be doing art. Jerry. I don't know about that. I love sci-fi and art is one of my favorite things to do. Well, whatever Rick and I decide is good for us is good. That's true.
Who is that? I don't know, it's a picture of some girl with wings. So, what's the story behind it? I don't know, it just seems cool. Yeah, I think it is too. It has a really good vibe to it. What do you think, Jerry? I don't know. It's just not my thing. Yeah, I think you're right, Jerry. It's not your thing. Man, that's one badass painting. Dude, it's Bruno Mars. Everybody knows his music. Yeah, he's a big deal. Yeah, I've heard of him. Are you into his music? I'm not really into his music, but I thought the painting was really well done. Yeah, I think so too. It's such a cool portrait. You're right, it's really cool. Damn it, Morty. We almost had that. What? You know, the poster? Oh yeah, the poster. I was so close to getting that perfect poster. What happened? I messed up, Morty. How? I didn't mean to, but I accidentally erased the part where the helmet has the halo. You erased the halo? Yeah, I'm sorry, Morty. That's so dumb. Yeah, I know. How are we going to get that poster now? We'll just have to do better next time. So what's going on with you, Rick? I'm doing well, Morty. Really? Yeah. I've been working on my paintings a lot and I think I'm making some really good progress. What kind of paintings? You know, abstracts and stuff. I think you should show them to Jerry. Jerry what? Your dad. He's an artsy guy. He might appreciate them. Yeah. I think you're right, Morty. Hey, Rick. What's this I hear about you painting? These are my latest paintings, Morty. They're amazing. Thanks, Jerry. Later on. So, Morty, what did you think of my paintings? They're great, Rick. Thanks, Morty. Dude, that's a really good picture of Taylor Swift. Yeah, I definitely think she's the best pop singer of our generation. Definitely man, she's got a lot of talent. Yeah, and she's really beautiful too. Yeah, she really is. I can't believe she's still unsigned. Yeah, she's really underappreciated, Rick. Well, she's definitely got a lot of energy and drive and she doesn't take shit from anyone. Yeah, she's a tough lady. Yeah, she's definitely a pioneer in the music industry. Yeah, she's definitely a role model for young women, Rick. Definitely man, she's an inspiration to all of us. This is a great picture, Morty. I love the way the frogs look in the air. They look so happy. I feel happy just looking at it. Holy crap, that's beautiful. Agree. What's up, dudes? Jerry, check it out. It's a beautiful picture. Yeah, I love it. Agree. I can't believe you like Coldplay, Rick. Yeah, I don't know, man. It just makes me happy. Well, I'm happy for you. Alright, 
guys, gotta get ready for work. All right, Rick, see you later. Later, Morty. This is our favorite painting. It's so surreal and inspiring. Yeah, I love how the fish is in the middle of the image. It's really cool. Isn't it? It's a beautiful painting. Yeah, it's definitely one of our favorite pieces. Oh, I can see why you would love it. Yeah, it's definitely one of our favorite paintings. Hmm, this is a beautiful painting. I love the way the woman's hair stylizes make her look futuristic. Yeah, it's cool. Love the colors too. You know, Morty, that's not an easy painting to create. It looks like a lot of work went into it. You're right. It took a lot of time and effort to make it look great. Yeah, I can see that. It's amazing how skilled the artist is. That's exactly right, Rick. The detail in the painting is really amazing. This is amazing Morty. I can't wait to get to the future and see more of these. Yeah, I can't wait to see what else we can find. Morty, your dad doesn't understand art. He just thinks it's a bunch of pretty pictures. Yeah, but I think it can be so much more than that. Yeah, Morty, I think you're right. I mean, look at this painting. It's stunning. Morty, your dad doesn't appreciate art because he doesn't understand it. He just sees the pretty pictures. But Rick, I think that what makes art so special is that it can be interpreted in so many different ways. You're right Morty, and I think that's why we love it so much. That's a really cool painting. What does it represent? I don't know, but it's really badass. Yeah, I think you're right. It kinda looks like someone with a lot of power. What do you think, Jerry? It's pretty cool, I guess. I don't know anything about art, though. That's okay, we can learn together. In the meantime, how about we watch some Star Wars? I think that'll cheer us up. Yeah, sure it will. This looks like it could be an interesting picture Morty. It has a lot of detail in it. Yeah, it does. It's a really nice painting. I think it would be a great addition to our sci-fi collection. Yeah, I totally agree. I can't wait to start painting these scenes in our future adventures. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Just like all our other adventures, I know we will have a lot of fun with this one. Totally.
What do you think, Morty? This is a dope picture. I love horses. I wish I could ride one. I know the feeling, Morty. I used to play cowboy with my dad all the time. Is that a horse in the background, Rick? Yep, that's a horse. Well, I don't know much about art, but I think it's a pretty picture. You're right, Jerry. It's a pretty picture. Yup, I think so too. Rick and Morty continue talking about their sci-fi adventures and Rick tells Morty about a time when he and Jerry were captured by aliens and they had to use all their wits to escape. Morty is interested in the story and asks Rick a lot of questions about the aliens and their ships. Rick and Morty have a great time talking about their sci-fi adventures and their love for horses. That's Stockholm. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, it's a really great city. Is it really big? Yeah, it's really big. Do you think we could go there one day? If we ever make enough money, sure. Cool. Do you think we could see the river? Yeah, you can see the river. Woohoo! Andorians are among the most advanced civilizations in the galaxy, with a rich and proud history. Their appearance in St. TNG was an exciting event for all fans of Star Trek. They're so cool. They look like they could kick ass. Yeah, I couldn't stop staring at their eyes. They're so bright and green. I bet they're really friendly too. Yeah, I can't wait to meet them one day. This is a beautiful painting, Morty. Yeah, it's really inspiring. What do you think about the composition? I really like the way the blue sky interacts with the green field. It looks like it's giving the picture a natural feel. Yeah, I think you're right. It's a really cool detail. I really love the way the frogs add life to the picture. Yeah, I think they're really cute. It's really amazing how the artist was able to capture all these different elements and make them work together so well. Yeah, it's a really great painting. You're right, Morty. It is a great painting. Hey Morty, what do you think about this picture? It's a digital painting and it's pretty cool, right? Yeah, I think it's really cool. Rick, do you think it's cool too? Yeah, I do. It's a great painting. But who is that guy? I don't know, Rick. I don't recognize him. That guy is probably some famous artist. Maybe Arctic Monkeys? Arctic Monkeys? Yeah, maybe. They're a pretty famous band. Oh, I see. Yeah. They're pretty good. I'm sure they are. But who is the guy with the beard? That's probably the guy who painted the picture. Whoa, cool. So the artist is in the picture too? Yeah, that's right. That's really cool. Holy crap, that's a great picture, Morty. Yeah, it's really cool. I love it, man. I just wish we were there. We could go to Berlin if we wanted to, Rick. Yeah, I know. But, you know, there's always next time, right? Right. 
Hey, Morty. How's school going? It's okay, I guess. I just think I'm a little behind my classmates. Oh, that's normal, Morty. You're still learning. Yeah, I guess. Hey Rick, your son's talking to me. Hey Jerry, yeah, he's doing okay. So this is a neat poster. What do you think of the art? It's great. The background guy with the gun in his hand looks badass. You're right Morty. He does look badass. I'm glad you like it. Whoa. This is some pretty intense sci-fi stuff. What are you guys discussing? We're just discussing some of our favorite sci-fi shows Rick and Morty. Oh. Well I'm sure I can understand that. I'm from the show Rick and Morty, so I get it. Yeah Morty. Jerry is from the show Rick and Morty. He doesn't know about art though. Yeah, Jerry doesn't really know about art. He's a super simple man. He's a simple man with no clue about art Morty, but that's okay. He's still a good dad. Man, that picture is rad. Yeah, it's classic olive oil. I love classic olive oil. Me too, Rick. Classic olive oil is such a classic. Yeah, she's always making jokes and being hilarious. And she always looks so happy. Yeah, old olive always seems to be having a good time. Man, I'm so happy that I got to know her. Yeah, me too, Rick. What do you think of the space station? It's cool. It's like a sci-fi adventure. Yeah, it's a cool design. I like it a lot. You like it, Jerry? It's okay, I guess. It's a little Star wars -y for my taste. Yeah, I know what you mean. I think they could have done a better job with it, but it's still a pretty cool design. Yeah, I guess you're right. This looks like it could be a really cool sci-fi adventure. Yeah, I think it would be really fun to explore those creative worlds. Haha, ha. yeah, I bet it would be. So, are you guys prepared to go on an epic sci-fi adventure? Absolutely, let's get started right away. Hey Morty. Looks like we're headed to Sao Paulo in our next sci-fi adventure. Looks like we're headed for some sci-fi adventure. Yeah, I can't wait. I always feel like I'm in the story when we're on adventures. You're right, Morty. We're just actors in a larger story. You two sound awfully happy today. Is everything okay? Yeah, Jerry. Everything's great. Morty and I are just looking at this picture and having a conversation about our favorite sci-fi adventures. Okay. Well, I'm glad everything is going well. I'm just a simple man with no clue about art. 
so I don't really understand what all the fuss is about with pictures, but I'm glad you both are happy. Thanks for bringing your happy vibes over to me. And this is so cool. Check out that woman with the blue hair. She's super sexy. Yeah, she is definitely hot. I can't believe she's in that picture. Who's that other girl with blue hair? That's Katy Perry. I remember when she first came out with her music. She was pretty popular back then. Yeah, I remember her. She was really famous for a while. Hi you guys. Jerry, thanks for coming over. No problem. What's up? We're just looking at this picture and discussing our sci-fi adventures. Ah, okay. I've never been very interested in sci-fi. That's okay, Morty. You can like sci-fi if you want, but I think you should just stick to cartoons. Yeah, you're right, Rick. Cartoons are more my style. That sounds like a good plan. Rick and Morty finish looking at the picture and go back to analyzing it. Morty looks over at Katy Perry and has an idea. Hey, Rick, do you know who that other girl is in the picture? Oh yeah, that's Katy Perry. She was really famous back in the day. Did you know that she used to be a Christian? Uh, I didn't know that. I guess that's interesting. Yeah, it's kind of strange how her career went from being very popular to completely falling off the map. But I guess that's life, right? Yeah, I guess so. Christians are always stereotypes, you know? They're always portrayed in a bad light in the media. But I guess that's just how it is. Yeah, I guess you're right. Rick and Morty end their discussion of the picture and go back to analyzing it. They have a positive vibe and are enjoying themselves. Jerry is happy to have a quiet moment with Morty and Rick and is happy that Rick and Morty are getting along. Dude, this is art. Yeah, I don't know Jerry, I don't think he gets it. I don't get what it is supposed to be. It's a painting. It's just a bunch of colors. Come on Jerry, you know art when you see it. Yeah, I guess. This looks like Star Trek. Yeah, it does. I can't believe it. We're finally going to be able to see some Talosians in real life. Yeah, I can't wait. Huh? What's a Talosian? Talosians are aliens from the TV show Star Trek. Oh, I see. Well, I'm just happy that Morty's getting a little bit of a taste of his favorite TV shows. Yeah, just wait until we get to see them in person. All right, Daddy. I'll be looking forward to it. Damn, this is a great painting, Morty. It's like she's a queen or something. Yeah, I love the way the pink contrasts with the sky. It's really cool. Haha, ha. I never knew you were such a art lover, Rick. This is great stuff. This is a great picture, Morty. The cityscape is beautiful and the clock tower is especially inspiring. Yeah, it's a cool shot, Rick. I love the way the colors look together. Hey guys, what's up? Jerry, 
Nice to see you. This is a great picture, Morty. The cityscape is beautiful and the clock tower is especially inspiring. Hey guys, what's up? This is a great picture, Rick. The cityscape is beautiful and the clock tower is especially inspiring. That's great, Morty. I'm glad you like it. I just moved to Vienna a few months ago and it's a really beautiful city. Vienna is really cool, Jerry. I'm looking forward to visiting there someday. Oh, I'm sure you will, Rick. It's a great city. It's a poster of a turtle with a glowing light in its stomach and a glowing light in its chest. Perfect for our sci-fi adventure. I love it! It's like our very own job of the hut! We should use it for our next scene in our sci-fi adventure. What kind of sci-fi adventure? I don't know, something futuristic, like a Star Wars adventure. Oh, I don't know. I'm not so sure about that. I'm not so good at art. What do you think, Morty? I think it would look really cool. I'm sure Jerry will love it. Well, we'll just have to wait and see, Morty. I'm sure Jerry will love it. Hey Morty, check out this picture. Looks like a man, standing in front of a mirror with a bunch of sci-fi symbols all around him. What do you think it means? I have no idea, Rick. But it's pretty cool, I think. He's probably some kind of alien or something, Rick. Yeah, probably. But that doesn't mean we can't enjoy his art, right Morty? Totally, Rick. This conversation goes well and everyone is happy. Then, later in the day, Morty gets a call from his dad. Jerry is on the phone, and he sounds really nervous. Hey Morty, I uh, wanted to talk to you about something. What's up dad? Well, I uh, I got an art appreciation class online and I wanted to know if you'd be interested in coming to it with me. Of course I would. That sounds really fun. Awesome. We'll see you guys there, then. Rick and Morty are excited to go to Jerry's art appreciation class, but they're a bit worried about what it will be like. They don't know if Jerry is going to be able to hold his own in a conversation about art, but they decide to risk it and go to the class. At the class, Jerry is a little nervous but he does his best to engage in a conversation about art with the other students. He's not very good at it, but Morty and Rick are happy that he's trying. After the class, they all go out to eat and Jerry tells them all about his experience. It was really tough, Morty. I don't know if I'm suited to talk about art like that. Yeah, it sounds like it was. But at least you tried, Jerry. Thanks, Rick. I'm actually kind of glad I went. I think I might have learned something. Rick and Morty are happy with Jerry's experience at the art appreciation class and they decide to go back. Whoa, that's one heck of a pick. Yeah, totally badass. What's the story behind it? Well, according to the inscription on the back, it's a proud representation of the Chiang Mai National Park. So that means she's a badass warrior, right? Maybe, but I think she's also a powerful symbol of nature and the natural beauty of the Chiang Mai landscape. Totally. I'm stoked to go to Thailand someday and see all of that for myself. Yeah. Thailand's definitely a beautiful place. It's a shame we can't visit it more often.
This is art, Morty. Yeah, and it's super important. You're right, Morty. It is important, so important that we should try and perfect it. Morty. Perfecting art is key. Absolutely. Who are these people, Morty? That's Miss Marple, from Arthur Conan Doyle's novels. Jerry, huh, that's cool. I think Morty's right, Jerry. Art is really important. I know, Morty. You're always bragging about how good your art is. I'm not bragging, Jerry. I'm just stating a fact. I think art is really important. I get it, Rick. You're right. Art is really important. I don't know, it just doesn't look right to me. It doesn't look right to you because it's not sci-fi. That's not true Morty, you're just not a sci-fi person. Yeah, I admit I'm not a giant fan of sci-fi, but that doesn't mean it's not a valid genre. It's definitely a valid genre, but it needs to be executed better. You're right Rick, I'll give it another shot. Man, that picture looks really cool. Yeah, it's totally sci-fi. I love the way the character is standing in front of the space station. It looks like they're really in the scene. And the giant object in the background is really impressive. Yeah, it's definitely a great image. Hi, Rick and Morty. Jerry, what's up? Not much. Just wanted to say hi. That's great. Thanks for stopping by. No problem. Have you guys been analyzing that picture I sent you? Yeah, we have. It's really cool. I'm glad you think so. I mean, Morty was especially psyched about it. He loves sci-fi. Yeah, I love all kinds of sci-fi. That's great. I know you've got a lot of interest in the genre. I can't really say that I enjoy sci-fi as much as Morty does, but I do understand the appeal. That's good. I think a lot of people enjoy sci-fi for different reasons. That's probably true. So, what do you think of the picture, Jerry? I think it's a great image. The character looks really cool, and the background is really cool too. Yeah, I agree. It's definitely a great picture. Yeah, it's definitely a great image. I think you guys are right. It's a great image. This is a digital painting of Ariana Grande by an artist named Timur Bekmambetov. Holy crap, that's amazing! Yeah, it's really well done. Yeah, I'm really impressed. I love her music! Me too Morty, me too. Aw, oh, this is so sweet. Yeah, I love it. Isn't it cool? Rick and yeah, we've always wanted to visit a sci-fi planet like this. Aw, oh, I don't know about that Morty. I think you should get a little more creative in your art. Rick and what do you mean Jerry? Well, I mean imagining the world or Star Trek or some other fantastical setting can be a great inspiration for your sketches and paintings. But, you know, with all the futuristic technology you two use, you might not need to imagine things too much. Rick and O, I hadn't thought of it that way. Well, that's a valuable lesson for you to learn. Rick and yeah, you're right Jerry. Thanks for the advice.
though this is a great picture. It's so futuristic and retro at the same time. Yeah, I love the way it combines the old with the new. It's perfect for a sci-fi episode. Yeah, I think we could make a great episode out of it. Huh? What are you talking about? I'm not sure I understand anything you're saying. Rick and Morty are analyzing in details a picture with this description while also talking about their sci-fi adventures. A woman with a dragon head and horns on her head, with a dragon on her head, and a dragon on her head, seafood. This is a really nice picture, Morty. Yeah, it's cool. I love the colors. Yeah, it's really bright. I bet you could paint this wall in any color you want and it would look great. Yeah, I bet it would. The colors are so bright and happy. Yeah, they look like they're enjoying themselves. I bet this is the happiest dog in the world. Yeah, I bet it is. I'm so happy and wholesome. Yeah, me too. This is awesome. We should frame it and put it up in our apartment. Yup. I love seeing our adventures all framed up together. I've never seen that show. What show? The show with the guy with the mustache and the tie-on. Oh, that show. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were watching it. Not watching it? We're always watching it together. What are you talking about? I can't even boil an egg without getting it wrong. Jerry, Morty and I watch that show all the time. You're always too busy playing with your art supplies. I'm not an artist. Well, you should try doing some more art then. It might help you understand the picture. I don't understand anything. Jerry, you're a simple man and you don't understand art because you don't understand the beauty in simplicity. I don't understand anything. Jerry. Morty and I always have a great time when we watch that show and discussing sci-fi adventures. You should try it sometime. Damn. That's one weird looking lady. Yeah, I think she's either weird or she's strange. Interesting perspective, Morty. Hey, I don't know about you dudes, but I'm feeling pretty positive about this day. You're right, Jerry. Let's just enjoy the moment. This is great, Morty. I love the way you picked the colors. Thanks, Rick. I think the blue pops. You're right, Morty. It's perfect together. Dude, stop getting soppy. This is art, not a bunch of sentimental crap. Jerry, I know you don't understand art, but this picture is really good. What? No, it's not. It's just some guy with a blue ball and a space station. Jerry, this picture is amazing. Ah, whatever. So 
Joe Morty, check out this picture. It looks like our sci-fi adventure come true. Yeah, Rick, it's so cool. I can't wait to see what it means. I know, Morty. I'm so excited too. But we need to be careful. This picture could mean anything. Morty, what do you think it means? I don't know, Jerry. It just looks like a normal picture to me. Well, I'm not so sure about that. I think it has a much bigger meaning. All right, Jerry, you have the floor. What does the picture mean to you? Well, for me, it just symbolizes the power of art. What do you mean, Jerry? Well, Rick, I think that art can bring people together and connect them. That's true, Jerry. Art can do a lot of good. I've never really thought about it that way, Rick, but you're right. Art is important. All right, Morty. I think we've covered enough ground for today. We should head back to the lab and start testing this theoretical invention of mine. Sounds good, Rick. I'm happy we can share this positive experience together. Wow, this is a really nice picture. I'm glad we could see it. What do you think, Morty? I think it's pretty cool. I like the colors and the way she's looking at the camera. Yeah, I think you're right. She's looking really happy in the picture. Yeah, I think she is. I'm glad we could see it and get to know her better. What do you think, Jerry? I think it's really nice, Rick. The colors are really beautiful and the background is really colorful. Yeah. I think you're right, Jerry. I'm glad you approve. I do, Rick. I really do. This is a great painting, Morty. Yeah, I think so too, Rick. I'm excited to see where our sci-fi adventures will take us next. Hey guys, what's up? We're just analyzing this painting, Morty. It's amazing how he was able to capture the alien's face so well. Yeah, I've never seen anything quite like it. I'm sure we'll have a ton of fun exploring the world of sci-fi with Rick and Morty. Dude, that's insane. Yeah, I mean, sure, it's not the most realistic depiction of an alien, but it's definitely unique. You know what else is unique? What? You and Morty. You're two of a kind. What do you mean? I mean, you're both happy, wholesome people who just happen to live in a crazy world. Morty, I don't know about that. Come on, look at you. You're always cheerful, no matter what's going on. Well, you know, I try to stay happy. And Morty, you're always reasonable and caring. Yeah, but that doesn't mean I don't have my dark moments. Like when you break things? Yeah, that's kinda rough. Ah, the life of an adventurer. Always breaking something and never knowing what'll happen next. That can be a lot of fun, if you're not worried about the consequences. You know what I mean. Yeah, I guess you do. What do you think, Morty? It's a cool picture. The woman looks like she's in a sci-fi movie. Yeah, she looks like she's right out of a movie. Yeah, I can imagine her in a scene from a sci-fi movie. You're right, Morty. I can't believe I never noticed that before. I thought it was pretty cool, too. Yeah, 
I'm glad you like it. What are you two talking about? Rick and Morty turn to Jerry and give him a sheepish look. Oh, nothing, Jerry. Just talking about our sci-fi adventures. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to go take a nap. Yeah, sleep well, Jerry. Oh, I will. You too, Morty. Thanks, Jerry. No problem, Jerry. This is amazing, Morty. You're the best son ever. Oh, thank you, Dad. I just love science and adventure. Hey, I don't know about art. I'm just a simple man with no clue about it. Oh, well, that's okay, Morty. You're still the best son in the world. Morty, this is really cool. It looks like a spaceship. Yep, I bet it's from one of our sci-fi adventures. Yep, I bet it's from one of our sci-fi adventures. Hey Rick, what's that big yellow object in the middle of the spaceship? Oh, that's just a giant tomato. A giant tomato? Oh, I've never seen that before. Yep, it's from one of our sci-fi adventures. Tomatoes are a big part of our world. That's interesting. I've never heard of a world where tomatoes are a big part of it before. Well, that's because we're still new to this area of space. We're always exploring and finding new things. Exactly. And that's why I love our sci-fi adventures. They always keep things interesting. I love it. How'd you come up with that idea? I was thinking about our sci-fi adventures and how our enemies always have these cool looking weapons. I thought it would be cool if our enemies had these glowing objects too. Clever thinking Morty. And you're right. Our enemies always look really cool with their glowing weapons. It would make for some intense battles. Oh Morty, check this out. I found this alien snapshot we took while we were on our recent sci-fi adventure. It's pretty trippy because the alien is looking in the mirror and its reflection is in the mirror too. That's so cool Rick. I love how sci-fi always makes things so much more messed up than they actually are. Hmm. I'm not so sure Morty. I think it's a little too weird for so-called ordinary people like us. Oh, you don't like it Jerry? I thought you were into sci-fi adventures. I guess I'm just not as into the weird stuff. Sorry, Morty. It's okay, Jerry. I can always appreciate a good weird image. Holy crap, this is amazing. This is one of my favorite pieces of art. Yeah, I love it. What do you think the artist was trying to say? I have no idea, but it's really cool. Yeah, it is. Hi. Great work, guys. Jerry, what are you doing here? I came to see your art. Oh, wow. We're just analyzing a picture. What do you think of it? It's really great. I love the way the artist depicted the woman. You think so? Yeah, I think she's beautiful. Yeah, I think so too. 
I agree, Rick. Oh, well thank you. I really appreciate it. Rick and Morty get up from the chair and shake Jerry's hand. Thanks for coming, Jerry. We really appreciate it. No problem. See you later. Oh, Morty, do you think we could make a sci-fi episode with just the two of us? Wouldn't that be sweet? Yeah, totally. I always love spending time with you, Rick. Hey Morty, your dad and I are just gonna take a little break. Don't worry, I'll be back in a little bit. I won't be able to wait to hear what you two came up with while I'm gone. Aw, uh, don't be too long, Jerry. You know how Morty gets when he's without me. Yeah, I know. I'll see you in a bit. This is great Morty, what do you think? This is great Rick, what do you think? I love the way the light reflects off of their scales. I love the way the light reflects off of their scales. What are you two talking about? We're discussing our latest sci-fi adventure. What sci-fi adventure is that? Well, Morty was just telling me about a woman's face that was reflected in a mirror, and there was this weird creature on its face, and there was a weird creature on her face. Oh, that sounds like a cool sci-fi adventure. Yeah, it's been really fun. Well, I'm glad you guys have been enjoying it. This looks like a cool picture. It is totally. I can't believe they made a futuristic mirror. It's a great reflection of our society today. Yeah, I can see the world the way it really is now. I love how it shows the negative aspects of society too. Hey you two. What are you talking about? This futuristic mirror image of society is really cool Morty. What's the big deal? It's just a picture. But Morty. It shows the negative aspects of society. Yeah, like how people can be judgmental and... Come on Rick, you're being weird again. Oh Morty, check this out. It's a sci-fi painting with a really cool concept. Yeah Rick, it's cool. What do you think it says? I'm not sure, but it's definitely got a cool vibe. Yeah, I agree. Dude, you're getting into all those sci-fi painting again. You're going to end up getting lost in space one day. Jerry, stop being such a simple man. Let me explain to Morty what this painting is all about. Whatever. I'm just happy you're both happy. It's a beautiful picture, Morty. Yeah, it's great. I think it looks really alien and cool. Well, I think it reminds us of our sci-fi adventures. Yeah, I can see that. It's really colorful and innovative. Yeah, it's a great reminder of all the great adventures we've had. It really is Rick. Walking in. Hey guys, what's going on? Jerry, look at this picture. 
It's a great reminder of our sci-fi adventures. Oh, cool. I love sci-fi myself. Hey, Jerry. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, no problem, Morty. All right, see you later. And that's some sick sci-fi art Morty. I can't wait to see what this future holds. Yeah, I love sci-fi Rick. I think the future is going to be really great. Hey Rick, what's that you're looking at? Hey Jerry, I'm looking at this sick sci-fi art. It's amazing Morty. Hmm. Well, it's not my cup of tea, I'm sorry to say. What do you mean Jerry? I don't really like sci-fi Rick, I find it kind of boring. Jerry. You don't know science fiction. This art is amazing. Well, there are a lot of different types of sci-fi, Rick. I like dramas and comedies. Not all sci-fi has to be about space aliens and technology. Yeah, I know, Jerry. I just think this is really cool. Morty, you want to see my latest idea for a sci-fi TV series? Yeah, of course, Rick. Let's hear it. We're going to set the show in a post-apocalyptic world where the only living beings are horrifying mutants. Post-apocalyptic world, Rick. That sounds really cool. Yeah, I think so too, Morty. I'm excited to start writing it. Hey, Morty, have you been practicing your sword fighting? Yeah, I've been trying to get better at it, Rick. I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. That's awesome, Morty. Keep working at it. You'll get there. Hey, Morty. Want to go see some Transformers tonight? Sure, Rick. Sounds like fun. Great. I'm so excited. Hey, Morty. Have you been practicing your sword fighting? Yeah, I've been trying to get better at it, Rick. I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. That's awesome, Morty. Keep working at it. You'll get there. This is definitely a face. It's got all the features a face should have. It's trippy how the colors change. It's kind of like a painting, Morty. Yeah, I bet a real artist could totally make something awesome out of this. I bet they could, Jerry. So, what do you think, Jerry? Do you think we could turn... This is a great picture. Yeah, I love it. It's really colorful. Yeah, I agree. It's really colorful. Hey Rick. What's up? Oh, nothing. Just looking at this great picture. Yeah, I like it too. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, it's really colorful. Yeah, I love it. It's really colorful. Yeah, I agree. It's really colorful. Hey Rick. What's up? Oh, nothing. Just looking at this great picture. Yeah, I like it too. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. Yeah, I can see that. Whoa, this painting is weird. Yeah, it's pretty strange. I can't believe Travis Scott is in this painting. Isn't he the rapper? Yeah, he's one of my favorite rappers. I've never heard of him. He's really popular. I see.
This is a great mirror. It has all the proper sci-fi elements. Yeah, it's perfect for an art studio. What do you guys think? Jerry, this is a great mirror. Morty, it has all the proper sci-fi elements. Yeah, it's perfect for an art studio. What do you guys think? Jerry, this is a great mirror. This is a great picture, Morty. I always loved sci-fi pictures where the protagonist is looking into a mirror and seeing a different version of themselves. It's a really unique perspective that I've never seen before. Yeah, I think it's really cool. I mean, I don't know about all of you but I always feel like I'm looking into a mirror and seeing a different version of myself. Yeah, me too. I don't know about you Rick, but I always feel like I'm looking at myself in a way that I've never seen before. That's definitely true, Jerry. I don't know about you Morty, but do you ever feel like you're seeing a different version of yourself when you look into a mirror? Yeah, I definitely do. I feel like I'm seeing the good, the bad, and the ugly all at the same time. That's really insightful, Morty. I never really thought about it that way. That's really interesting, Rick. I never really thought about it that way either. This looks like a really cool sci-fi painting. Yeah, it's really abstract, but the colors are really beautiful. Yeah, I think it's really badass. I'm just not sure about the composition. It's all about the expression, Jerry. You need to let your imagination run wild. Sarcastically, I'll try to do that. Dude, check out the looks on their faces in that mirror. They look so happy and in sync with each other. Yeah, I can't believe they're just standing there looking at themselves like that. It's like they're right there in the scene with the woman. Yeah, I could totally see that happening in our sci-fi adventure. We'd be going through all these dangerous situations and then suddenly we would just see ourselves reflected in that mirror and we would be like, whoa, we're still here. I've never even heard of that show, Rick and Morty. What is it about? It's a sci-fi show about two guys who go around exploring the universes. Oh, okay. So it's like a Captain America type of show? I know, I guess. That sounds pretty cool. I'm sure I'll check it out when it comes out on TV. Yeah, I also heard that the show is pretty dark and serious at times, but I think that's totally worth watching. Yeah, I think you're right, Morty. I can't wait to see what happens in our next adventure. Oh, what's up, Morty? I'm happy and wholesome like always. Me too, Rick. Everyone has a positive vibe in our show, Jerry's dad included. Yep, Jerry's dad is a simple man without a clue about art, but he's a good guy. Agreed, Rick. We're from Rick and Morty, you have to use their personality in the way they talk in the show. Hey, what's going on? Oh, Jerry, we're just analyzing a picture with this description. What do you think? It's a beautiful picture, Jerry. The mirror with the face in the middle is amazing. Yeah, I agree. What do you think of the reflection in the mirror behind it, Morty? It's spooky, Jerry, but I still think it's beautiful.
fun. This is amazing Morty. I can't believe we were able to capture the sky in the picture. 2. Yeah, it's really cool Rick. I love how the sky reflects in the frame. 3. Yeah, it's a really neat picture. 4. Um, Morty, can I ask you something? 5. Of course Jerry, what's up? 6. Well, it's just that I don't really understand art very much. Do you think I could have a look at that picture? 7. Yeah, that's no problem Jerry. I think you would really like it. 8. Jerry, why don't you take a look at the picture and tell me what you think? 9. And there's a gold frame too Morty. I've never seen one like it. 10. Yeah, that's one of the features that makes the picture so special. That's really cool. We should make a sci-fi episode about it. Yeah, I would love to see that episode. Who's that woman in the picture? That's my mom. Yeah, I saw that too. She's really cool. She's got a really cool mirror headdress. Yeah, I love the blue ball in her body. It's really cool. Yeah, I think it's so cool. I think it's really cool too. This is an excellent picture Morty. I love the reflection of the woman's face in the mirror with the water and stars on the wall. It gives the image a nice touch of depth. Yeah, I think it's really cool. The reflections are really realistic and the colors are really bright. Hey guys, what's going on? Jerry, hey, look at this picture I found. What's it up? It's a picture of a woman's face reflecting in a mirror with water and stars on it. Is that cool or what? Yeah, I think it's great. The reflection is really realistic and the colors are really bright. Yeah, it's really cool. I love the way the colors reflect in the mirror. That's great stuff Rick, you know your sci-fi stuff. Yeah, I love sci-fi. I always find it interesting to look at pictures that show different worlds and how people lived in them. Yeah, I think it's really cool how the image is reflected in the mirror and the colors are so bright. Dude, that's some sick sci-fi shit. Yeah, Rick, this picture is really cool. I have no idea what that is, Morty. Yeah, Jerry, I don't really know science either. But Rick, I think it's important to know about science, because that's how we learn about the world. Yeah, Morty, and we can use that knowledge to do cool things. Like, go on crazy sci-fi adventures? Yeah, Jerry, that's right. Yeah. And Rick, you're the captain of our starship. Yeah, Morty, I'm the captain of our starship. This is a really good sci-fi picture. Yeah, it's got a great look to it. I can definitely see the movie potential in it. Yeah, I definitely think so too. It's definitely something that would make for a great watch. So, what are you two thinking? Is it something you would be interested in seeing? Rick and definitely. We love sci-fi movies and this one looks like it would be really good. Well, I'm glad you like it. I'm sure the director will be happy to hear that.
This is a really cool picture. Yeah, I love it. It's so colorful and creative. What kind of art is this? It's called abstract painting. I didn't know that was a thing. It's pretty popular in the art world. I'm not sure I understand it. It's a lot more complicated than that, but that's a pretty simple description. I can see why people might like it. It's really beautiful. Yeah, I love it. I don't know, I'm not sure I get it. I'm not an artist, so I don't know what I'm supposed to think. It's whatever you think it is. Art is supposed to be subjective. I guess you could say that. That's the beauty of it. Wow, Morty, that's a really cool picture. It's so futuristic and cool. Yeah, I really like it. It's such a cool reflection of the world we live in today. Yeah, exactly. The world is so futuristic and cool that you can see all of the different planets and space objects in the picture. Yeah, and it's so peaceful and calm. It's a really nice picture. Yeah, it really is. The world is really relaxing and positive right now and it's a great time to be alive. Yeah, I totally agree. This world is the best it's ever been, and I'm so happy to live in it. Dude, check out the awesome sci-fi adventure this lady's in. Oh man, that looks amazing. What's the story? I don't know, it's just an awesome picture. I bet it's awesome. Do you want to know the story? Sure. It's an interstellar love story. Interstellar love story? That sounds cool. Yeah, it's about a woman who's from a planet that's a bit backwards and she falls in love with a man from our planet. That's awesome. I bet they have a great time together. Yeah, they do. It's a real trippy picture, Morty. I know. And isn't she just the most beautiful woman ever? You're kidding, right, Morty? No, she's really beautiful, Rick. Well, I guess you're right, Morty. Walks in. Hey, Morty, what's up? Rick and Morty turn to Jerry in surprise. What's the big deal? This is pretty cool. It's a woman with a great headwear collection. Yeah, I love her outfits. Interesting. Her head has a really strange face on it. Yeah, it's freaky. I definitely think we should investigate this more. Yeah, let's go investigate her head. This is less than picture greater than. It's a beautiful picture of a large clock tower sitting in the middle of a lake with a mountain in the background at sunset or dawn. This picture is amazing, Rick. It reminds me of the time we went on our sci-fi adventure and discovered a planet with a trillion suns. Hey Morty, what are you working on over there? I'm working on a picture, Rick. It's a beautiful picture of a large clock tower sitting in the middle of a lake with a mountain in the background at sunset or dawn. That's great, Morty. Keep up the good work.
Oh Morty, looks like we're getting closer to finding our next adventure. Keep digging. I'm on it, Dad. I've never been so excited about anything. Is that a tandoori chicken, Rick? I've never had one of those. Oh Jerry, check it out. We're getting close to finding our next adventure. Oh man, I've always wanted to try one of those. Rick and Morty continue their conversation about their sci-fi adventures while Jerry enjoys his tandoori chicken. Hey, Morty. I don't understand art, why is that? Jerry, it's not about understanding it, it's about just appreciating it for what it is. But how am I supposed to do that if I don't understand it? You don't have to understand it, you just have to appreciate it. Yeah, Morty's right Jerry. You should just appreciate the art for what it is, without trying to understand it. Hmm. I guess you're right Rick. Awesome, Morty. Thanks for setting Jerry straight. Hey Morty, have you been practicing your parkour? Yeah, I've been working on it a lot Rick. I think I'm ready to take on the world. Well, you better get ready then Morty, because the world is going to be a better place because of you. Thanks, Rick. I really appreciate your support. No problem Morty, have fun. Hey Morty, I don't understand art, why is that? Jerry, it's not about understanding it, it's about just appreciating it for what it is. But how am I supposed to do that if I don't understand it? You don't have to understand it, you just have to appreciate it. Yeah, Morty's right Jerry. You should just appreciate the art for what it is, without trying to understand it. Hmm. I guess you're right Rick. Awesome, Morty. Thanks for setting Jerry straight. Dude, check out that picture. It's like a future where people can still be smoking. What a great idea. I'd love to see a world where smoking is still socially acceptable. Yeah, I always dreamed of a world where smoking was still popular. It's so much more civilized than non-smoking worlds. Hey guys, what's going on? Oh, hey Jerry. We're just discussing our favorite picture. Huh, that's cool. So, what's your favorite part? I love the way the smoke blends in with the background. It's so perfect. Yeah, and the way the man with the hat looks so cool. Absolutely. I wish we could find a picture like that in the real world. Yeah, that's true. It's hard to find photos that capture the essence of a scene. Rick and Morty then continue to talk about their sci-fi adventures, and Jerry gets inspired to start painting. That's a cool picture. Yeah, it's a nice drawing. I love the colors. Yeah, they're really cool. And the composition is great too. Yeah, everything about it is really good. I'm really happy with it. Me too. So this is a space station. Yeah, it's totally futuristic. I love the retro neon colors. Yeah, they really pull it off. So, what do you think? I think it's cool.
Boy, those look delicious, Morty. I can't wait to cook them up. Yeah, they look great, Rick. I'm excited to try them out. Huh, Morty, where'd you get those ribs? I got them from a barbecue place, Rick. Oh man, those look great. I've never had barbecue ribs before, but I'm sure they'll be great. Yeah, Jerry, they look really good. I'm excited to try them out. This is an amazing picture, Morty. Yeah, it's a cool cartoon. I can't believe we found it. It's like a sign from the universe. Yeah, maybe it's a sign from the universe, Rick. I definitely think so, Morty. What's going on, guys? Oh, just discussing our latest sci-fi adventure, Morty. Oh, what's that? You'll see, Jerry. It's just a cool picture. Well, I'm going to bed. Good night, guys. Hey Morty, check this out. What is it Rick? I found this cool picture. Really? What's it about? It's a cartoon character with a weird look on his face and eyes, with a psychedelic background of swirling bubbles. Oh, I like it. I think so too Morty. Hey guys, what are you doing? Just discussing our latest sci-fi adventure Morty. Oh, what's that? You'll see Jerry, it's just a cool picture. Well, I'm going to bed. Good night, guys. Ah, oh, this is a great poster. I love the way the gorillas are posed. They look like they're having a great time. Yeah, it's really cool. I can't believe they managed to get all those different poses looking so natural. Yeah, it's definitely a well-executed piece of art. Yay, I agree. It's really well done. Rick and Morty continued talking about their sci-fi adventures while Jerry just listened and had no clue what they were talking about. Yeah, Morty, looks like we're going to save the world this time. Yeah, I'm so psyched. Aw oh man, I don't know about this. I'm just a simple man with no clue about art. Dad, you don't have to worry about it. I'm sure Rick can teach you everything you need to know. Yeah, Morty's right. I'm sure you'll be a pro in no time. But, I just don't know. There's no need to worry, Jerry. We're sci-fi heroes, and we always come through in the end. Yeah, it's going to be so cool to save the world. Are you ready to save the world, Morty? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's take this monkey out. You know what aliens would look like if they were inspired by real-life celebrities? I have no idea, but I'd love to find out. You know what aliens would look like if they were inspired by real-life celebrities? I have no idea, but I'd love to find out. Though so aliens could only exist in the digital world, but we can still see them in paintings because they're virtual. Yeah, I think that's pretty neat. Though so aliens could only exist in the digital world but we can still see them in paintings because they're virtual. Yeah, I think that's pretty neat.
Who's that? I don't know, it's a family. I don't like it. Why? It's just not my thing. You know, it's too wholesome. Wholesome? How can it be wholesome if it's a family? Wholesome is when there is no conflict. This poster is too happy. It's not gritty like art should be. Maybe it's because it's a family that makes it wholesome. No, families can be wholesome or horrifically horrible. It's just that this one is too nice. Well, maybe if it were a family that was a little more gritty, it would be more appealing to you. You're right, you're right. I'll get on it. Rick calls his friend Jerry and asks him if he can help him with a poster for a sci-fi convention. Jerry is happy to help and they start to brainstorm ideas. So, what do you want the poster to say? I don't know. I just need something to fill up the space. Well, we could always do a poster with your and Morty's characters on it. Morty can be the strong, capable man and Rick can be the happy-go-lucky alien. That sounds like a good idea. I'll get Morty to draw some concepts today. Later that day, Morty comes into the office with some rough sketches of what he thinks Rick's and Jerry's characters should look like. Here are some concepts for Rick and Jerry's characters. Nice work, Morty. Jerry. I think Morty's idea of having Rick be the happy-go-lucky alien and have a big smile on his face is a great idea. Rick and Jerry's poster for the sci-fi convention is a huge success and they are finally able to make some money off of their art. That's a really cool bottle of Nikwa. Yeah, it's one of my favorite drinks. What's Nikwa? It's a Russian drink made from red wine and black figs. That sounds really good. Yeah, it's really refreshing. I imagine it would be. Anyway, Rick, what's up? Oh, nothing. Just analyzing this picture. Yeah, I saw it. What's it supposed to be? It's a bottle of Nikwa. Oh, I know that drink. It's one of my favorite drinks. I imagine it would be. Anyway, Rick, what's up? Oh, nothing. Just analyzing this picture. Wow, it's Will Smith. I didn't know he was in sci-fi. Yeah, he was in that new movie about time travel. Time travel? Yeah, you know, where he goes back in time and stuff. So, this painting is from where? The future, dude. The future? Yeah, it's from a sci-fi movie. Why does it have a yellow background? I have no idea. Rick and Morty go on to talk about their sci-fi adventures. Rick telling Morty about a time he had to save the world and Morty telling Rick about a time he used an interdimensional portal to travel to the moon. They end the conversation with Rick and Morty discussing a possible new sci-fi adventure they could go on, Rick being excited and Morty being skeptical. This painting is amazing Morty. It's like a visual representation of our sci-fi adventures. Yeah, I love it. It's basically a painting of our favorite things. Damn it Jerry, why didn't you tell me this was your idea? I would have saved it. Simple man with no clue about art. I had no idea what it was called Rick. This is a good picture. Yeah, it is. I like the trees and the mountain in the background. I agree. That's a great scene. Is that Dr. Alan Grant? Yep, that's him. 
He's the man next to the dinosaur. Wow, I've seen that movie a few times. I think it's great. I know, I love it. Me too, it's one of my favorite movies. I'm glad you like it. So, where are you two from? Rick and the show Rick and Morty. Oh, I watched that show. It's great. Yeah, it is. I love it. So, where are you two from? Rick and the show Rick and Morty. Dude, check this out. It's a cool picture of a man with a lightsaber and a Star Wars poster. Yeah, it's a cool picture. I especially love the way the lightsaber is shining in the background. I know, right? It's just so cool. Yeah, and I love how happy and wholesome Morty looks in the picture. Hey, Morty. What are you up to? Just looking at this cool picture of a man with a lightsaber and a Star Wars poster, Jerry. Aww, that's cute. I'm sure your dad is happy to see that you're having such a happy time. Definitely, Jerry. He's a really simple man and he doesn't really get much respect from people in the art community, but I think he's really cool. Rick and Morty, talking about Jerry simultaneously. He's a really simple man with no clue about art, but he's really cool. Hey Morty, check out this picture I found. It's from a sci-fi game we're playing. It's really cool. What does it say about the game? Well, according to the description, the woman in the picture is a soldier in a space battle. She's wielding a sword and fighting to save her planet. Cool. So she's doing her best. That's right. And that planet, it looks like it's full of stars. It's so beautiful. Yeah, I can't believe it. Sometimes I don't know how we make it through our sci-fi adventures without getting killed. Yeah, I know the feeling. But it's all worth it when we get to see these amazing pictures like this. You're right! This is a great picture. Totally agree, Rick. Reykjavik is a beautiful city. Yeah, I think so too, Morty. Yeah, we should go back and explore it some more someday. That sounds like a great idea, Rick. Ahem, I don't know about that, Morty. I think Reykjavik is a bit too remote for me. Yeah, I can see your point, Jerry. But we could still go explore it sometime. I guess that's true. Rick and Morty are discussing their sci-fi adventures. Jerry is comparing Reykjavik to his hometown and Morty is excited for another adventure with Rick. That's chill. Yeah, pretty rad. What an artist. He's definitely got some chops. He totally rocks. I have no idea what that is, but I love it. Well, as long as you love it, Jerry, that's all that matters. Hey Morty, check out this picture of a person from our sci-fi adventure. Isn't he badass? Yeah, he's really cool. I can't believe he's from our show, Rick. Yeah, I thought that too when I first saw him. He's a quarian from Mass Effect. Mass Effect? 
Isn't that a game? Yeah, it's an amazing game. It's one of the best sci-fi stories ever. I play it all the time. Wow, I'd love to try it. Yeah, I think you would. It's pretty complex, but it's really rewarding when you get good at it. Do you think I could try it one day? Definitely. I'll show you how to play it. That sounds like so much fun. What does this mean, Morty? It could be a warning, Rick. Of what? I don't know, but it's not good. Let's destroy it. Good idea, Morty. We'll destroy it together and be happy. Look at that beautiful sushi. I can't wait to try it. Yeah, it looks tasty. Ah, the simple life. Just sitting around eating delicious sushi like civilized people. Aha, you're funny, Jerry. But seriously, that's some beautiful sushi. Yeah, it's definitely a feast for the eyes. Yeah, I can't believe how good it looks. Just like the picture. Pretty good, Morty. Yeah, I think it's really good. Me too, Morty. Hey Rick, what you think of this painting? Yeah, Jerry, it's pretty good. Hey, I'm not so sure. It's not my thing. What do you mean, Jerry? I don't know, it just doesn't seem like your thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, I get what you mean. Thanks for the feedback, Jerry. Is Jerry always so down on everything? Not always, but he's a pretty simple man and he doesn't really understand art to the fullest extent. Yeah, I get that. So, is there anything else you two want to talk about? No, oh, not really. We're pretty content with just analyzing this picture. Okay, well I'm going to go get some snacks. Yeah, sounds good, Morty. The scene then changes to show Rick and Morty eating snacks while Jerry is trying to paint. Rick and Morty are praising Jerry's work while Jerry is unimpressed. What do you think? It's great! It's a great representation of our show's universe! Yeah, I like it. Hey Morty, do you want to color in this picture? Sure. Wow, you've got some great shading skills. Yeah, Morty's a natural artist. I don't know about that Rick. Jerry. Morty's a great artist. I guess you're right. Holy crap, this painting is amazing. You're right, Rick, it is amazing. Who painted this? I don't know Jerry, but it's like a real masterpiece. I agree Rick, it's really fantastic. You guys are ridiculous. Cows aren't that interesting. Jerry you're such a simple man with no clue about art. What do you know about art Morty? I'm not sure Jerry, but I think this is amazing.
Look at that cool picture Morty. It's a great example of a sci-fi pic. It's like a cowboy in a cowboy hat with a wine inside the glass and a bird perched on top. Yeah, Rick. It's a cool picture and it's a great example of a sci-fi pic. Hey Morty, how's your day going? It's good, Jerry. I'm doing good. That's good to hear, Morty. How about you, Rick? Hey, Jerry. I'm good. I'm analyzing this picture and it's a great example of a sci-fi pic. It's like a cowboy in a cowboy hat with a wine inside the glass and a bird perched on top. That's true, Rick. It's a great picture. All right, Morty. Let's get back to analyzing this picture. Rick and Morty are analyzing in details a picture with this description while also talking about their sci-fi adventures. A close-up of a face with a futuristic look on its face and a futuristic helmet on. Tholians, Star Trek. Wow, that's a really cool picture. What did you think of it? I really like it, it's so cool. I bet that face is really handsome under that helmet. Yeah, I imagine it is. I'm so happy you like it, Morty. Thanks, Rick, I really appreciate it. So this is a picture of a man with a very strange looking face. Definitely looks like a weird character from a science fiction movie. I know, it looks like he's from a different galaxy. Morty, what do you think about the painting? I really like it, Jerry. It's really cool how the different colors blend together. Yeah, I think you're right Morty. It's definitely from a different planet. Less than name greater than, is that Garfield? Yep, that's Garfield. He's one of my favorite characters. I always enjoy reading his comics. I bet he's a ball of energy. He sure is. He's always on the go, speeding around the town or playing with his friends. He's a cute cat, but I don't understand why he's wearing a suit and tie. That's a good question, Jerry. I don't think anyone knows for sure. Maybe he's just an opportunist. What do you mean? Well, maybe he just likes to take advantage of people's generosity by wearing fancy clothes. That doesn't seem very nice. You're right, Morty, it's not. But at the same time, I don't think it's bad either. He can have whatever he wants as long as he's honest with people and behaves himself. Isn't that the way it is in the world? I guess you're right. Rick and Morty continue discussing the painting and their favorite characters before finally getting bored of it and going to bed. Well look at that. It's a great picture of Cristiano Ronaldo. We could go on and on about how great he is, but I think we would all be better off if we started our next episode right here. Sure, Rick. Thanks for bringing that up. What would you like to talk about next? How about we talk about our sci-fi adventures? We've been on so many great adventures, and I'm sure we could come up with another one if we only had a little bit of imagination. I know what you mean, Rick. God, I can't wait to get started on our next adventure. Hey Morty. How's school going? It's going good, Jerry. I'm glad you asked. Oh, I see you got your picture with Cristiano Ronaldo. Nice picture. Yeah, Rick got it for me at a game last weekend. It was a lot of fun. That sounds like fun. I'm glad you had a good time. Yeah, 
It was definitely a fun weekend. We should do something like that again soon. That sounds like a great idea. I'll see if I can get hold of some tickets. Rick is happy and wholesome. Morty is happy and wholesome. Everyone has a positive vibe. Jerry is Morty's dad and he's a simple man with no clue about art. They're from the show Rick and Morty, you have to use their personality and the way they talk in the show. Who's that guy? That's Paul McCartney. I've never heard of him. I know, right? He's pretty famous. He's a musician, right? Yeah, he's one of the best ever. I didn't know that. Yeah, well, he's definitely worth checking out. I'll have to give him a try one of these days. Definitely. He's a really great artist. Dude, this is amazing. We need to get this for our next adventure. Gross, I don't think I can eat that. It looks like it would be really gross. Well, Morty, I don't think you have to eat it. I think Rick and I can just have it for our next adventure. But Jerry, you don't understand. This is a very important painting. It could be a part of our next great adventure. If we don't get it, we'll never be able to commemorate our great adventure and remember it forever. All right, Morty. You win, but you have to eat a little bit of it so you can understand how great it is. Fine, I guess I'll have a little bit of it. Dude. That's insane. That's like one of the coolest images ever. Totally. It's so atmospheric. Yeah, I totally agree. I bet Chris Hemsworth would kill it in a scene like that. I don't know. He's a bit too pretty for that. Well, you could always cast a white actor. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, totally. It's all about finding the right actor for the part. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's all about making sure the scene is perfect. Yeah, that's definitely true. Nice picture, Morty. What's the story behind it? Oh, that's just a painting of Obi-Wan Kenobi from the movie Star Wars. It's a great painting. Really, I've always loved that movie. Yeah, me too. I love all the Star Wars movies. Holy crap, that's Mighty Mouse, the rat from my sci-fi adventure. Morty, you remember my story, right? When I was invulnerable, I fought this evil force and used my powers to time travel to different universes. Yup, I remember. You invulnerable, and then you got hurt and went to a dimension where you had to eat garbage to survive, and then you found this Mighty Mouse helmet and used it to travel back to our own universe. Yeah, that's basically it. I remember that fight vividly. It was terrifying, but I got the helmet, and then I defeated the enemy. Huh. Yeah, I never heard that story. 
What was the enemy's name? I don't remember. It was an evil force. Something with the name, the Devourer, or something like that. Devourer. I've heard that name before. Is that some kind of monster? I don't know, but I overcame it. That's impressive. I wish I could have done that. So, what are you guys doing today? Well, we're going to go explore some new universes. Yep, we're gonna take our helmet with us and travel to new worlds. Rick and Morty are positive and cheerful. Jerry is a simple man who doesn't understand art, and they are from the show Rick and Morty, so their personalities and dialogue should be used in this scene. Here's the conversation. Hey Jerry, what's up? We're just going out exploring new universes today. Huh, I didn't know you were into sci-fi. What kind of universes are you looking to explore? Any universe that has Mighty Mouse in it. Oh, I've seen that picture. It's pretty cool. What was your sci-fi adventure like? Well, it was pretty dangerous. I used my powers to time travel to different universes, and I fought an evil force called the Devourer. That sounds pretty badass. I wish I could have been there to help. Yeah, but you helped me in other ways. You were a big help when I was getting back to our own universe. That's true. I was glad to help. So, are you guys going to explore all of the universes or just a few? We're gonna explore as many universes as we can. This is definitely an amazing adventure. Alright, so the painting is pretty dope. I love the lighting in the background. Yeah, it's really atmospheric. I don't know, I just think it's cool that they included leopards in a painting. I know, and I think they did a great job with the lighting in the foreground as well. It really pops. Morty, do you like art? I don't really know if I'd call myself a huge fan of art, but I do enjoy looking at it from time to time. I think it's cool to see all the different ways different artists can express themselves. This is a beautiful picture. What's the story behind it? I don't know, but it's really cool. That's true, Morty. It's a great picture. Yeah, pretty cool. Hmm. Well, Morty, I don't know about art, but this looks like a great picture to me. Yeah, I think you're right, Jerry. Wow Morty, that's a really cool picture. I love the strokes. Yeah, they're really talented. Yeah, I agree. They've created some great music. Yeah, I think their best album is, is this it? Yeah, I love that album. It's one of my favorites. Oh, I know. I've listened to it a bunch of times. That's great. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, I love the lyrics. Yeah, they're really well written. Yeah, I think they're one of the best rock bands out there. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. They're definitely one of my favorites. So what do you think about their sci-fi adventures? Well, I think they're really awesome. I love their sci-fi stories. Yeah, I think they're really cool. Yeah, I really enjoy their sci-fi stories. They're really funny and exciting. Yeah, I think they're really funny. Yeah, I really enjoy their funny sci-fi stories. Yeah, I think they're hilarious. 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 
Yeah, I think they're hilarious. Rick is happy and wholesome. Morty is happy and wholesome. Everyone has a positive vibe. Jerry is Morty's dad and he's a simple man with no clue about art. They're from the show Rick and Morty. You have to use their personality and the way they talk in the show. Looks like Robert Pattinson from Twilight. I bet the ladies love him. Yeah, he's hot. Hey Morty, what do you think of Robert Pattinson? I think he's hot. Morty, you're such a grown-up. I am not a grown-up. I'm only 10 years old. Well, you're growing up too quickly. Keep your head on straight and stay young at heart. I will. Thanks, Rick. This looks like a tiger. Yeah, it's really cool. I can't believe it's in color. Yeah, it's amazing. From outside, what are you guys doing in here? Rick and Morty turned to see Jerry stepping in the door. Hey Jerry, we were just looking at this tiger picture. Oh, I see. It's bright blue eyes and a black and white stripe down its chest that make it very unique. Yeah, it's amazing. From outside, what are you guys doing in here? This is amazing Morty. Who painted this? I don't know Rick, it's just a picture. That's amazing Morty. A real 10 out of 10. Dude this is spot on. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. What do you think, Jerry? I think this is amazing. Look at this cool drawing Morty. It's a turtle in the air. Isn't it amazing Rick? Totally. You know, I always thought turtles were a cool species. I've always wanted to know how they fly. You could do it Rick. I bet you could fly a turtle. Yeah, maybe. I'd have to practice a lot first. Hey you two. What's going on? We're just admiring this cool drawing Morty. Is that a turtle in the air? Yep. I always wanted to know how turtles fly Jerry. Huh, I have no idea. Maybe I should give it a try one day. Yeah, that might be a good idea Jerry. Hey Jerry, check out this amazing drawing I made. Oh wow, that's amazing Morty. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, I'm so proud of it Jerry. Well done Morty. This is amazing Morty, it's like we're right there in the scene with the basketball. I know right Rick, 
It's so realistic. The colors are amazing. I've never seen anything like it, Morty. Is that a planet in the background? You're right, Jerry. It is. It's the planet Pluto. Well, Rick, I didn't know you knew about Pluto. Oh, well, I don't really. It's just something I heard about. But I love the detail on the planet. It really brings the picture to life. I have to say, Morty, I'm impressed. You must have been really patient to get that detail in the painting. I wasn't really that patient, Rick, but I did a lot of research. I watched a lot of videos and read a lot of articles about Pluto. That's amazing, Morty. You really did a great job. I could see this becoming a real favorite of mine. I have to say, Rick, I'm really impressed with the way Morty has turned out. He seems like such a happy person now, compared to when we first met him. Yeah, Morty, I think you did a great job. You deserve all the happiness in the world. Less than end conversation greater than. This is an incredible picture. Yeah, it's really cool. The colors are so vibrant. Yeah, and the composition is really nice too. I'm really impressed. Yeah, I think it's great. I think it's fantastic. Yeah, totally. I'm so happy I could just cry with happiness. Yeah, me too, dude. This is so badass. I love the mix of cultures on the plate. Yeah, there's really something for everyone. Uh, Morty, can you hand me that jar of pickles? I think I dropped it on the floor. Don't worry, Jerry. We'll get it. Yeah, I'll get it. This is really cool, Morty. I always wanted to see a Darth Vader poster like this. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. What are you two guys talking about? We're just discussing our sci-fi adventures. Oh, I see. Well, I'm just a simple man without any clue about art, so I don't really know what to say. Don't worry, Jerry. You're just like Morty. You don't understand any of this art stuff. Yeah, I don't really understand it either. But that's what makes it so cool. We don't have to understand it to enjoy it. That's a pretty cool picture of Lady Gaga. Yeah, she's really talented. I can't believe she's still relevant after all these years. Yeah, she's been doing a lot of touring lately, I hear. Yeah, she's really amazing. I wouldn't be surprised if she got a Nobel Prize or something. Wow, she's really famous. Yeah, I'd say she's one of the most famous people in the world. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Yeah, she's definitely one of the most famous people out there. Yeah, I can't believe that she's still doing well after all these years. Hi kids. Just wanted to stop by and say hello. Hey Jerry, what's up? Just doing some yard work. Yeah, I can see that. You kids keep good track of the time, I see. You've been working pretty hard. Yeah, we're just trying to come up with some new sci-fi ideas. Oh. That sounds like fun. What have you been working on? We've been brainstorming some ideas for sci-fi episodes. Oh, that sounds like fun. What have you got cooking? 
Well, we were thinking about doing a show about a guy named Morty who's kind of optimistic and happy all the time, and his evil alternate self, Rick, who's always bleak and negative. That sounds like a lot of fun. I'm sure Morty would love that. Yeah, I think so too. He probably would. He's a pretty happy guy, Morty is. Yeah, I think you're right. He's always pretty happy. Yeah, he's a pretty happy guy. Rick and Morty analyze the picture of Lady Gaga and discuss her talents. Jerry drops by and they chat about the gardening he's been doing. That's one hell of a painting, Morty. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I love the detail in the eyes. Yeah, the shading is really good. It's like she's staring right into your soul. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, definitely. What's with all the violence, Morty? It's an art exhibit, Jerry. I don't know, I don't like it. Don't be such a crybaby, Jerry. All this violence in the world, Morty, it's just so depressing. Yeah, it is Rick. But we can't just sit around and do nothing. We need to do something about it. Yeah, like what? I don't know, something. Yeah, something. This is a great painting, Morty. It's very well done. You think so, Rick? I'm really proud of it. Absolutely, Morty. It's fantastic. Holy crap Elton John is in this picture. This is like a legit bar scene. Dude, he's in the background. Yeah, he's just another schmuck in the crowd. Morty, did your dad ever take you to see Elton John? No, but I've always wanted to. Well, you should give it a go sometime. He's a great musician. This is a great picture, Morty. Those colors are amazing. You're right, Rick. The colors are really strong. I love sci-fi, Morty. I love sci-fi too, Rick. I'm so happy we can enjoy sci-fi together. I'm so happy, Rick. Look at that, another door. If we can get past that door, we're almost there. Nice job, Morty. You did a great job analyzing that picture. Thanks, Dad. So what do you think, Morty? Is this door the correct one? Yeah, I think so. It looks pretty ornate. Well, let's take a look. Rick and Morty walk through the door and find themselves in a large, empty room. Woohoo, this is it. This is the room we were looking for. Where are we, Dad? Looks like we're on some kind of spaceship. Actually, this is a spaceship from our sci-fi adventure. Really? Cool. Rick and Morty walk around the ship and find that it's completely empty. Hmm. Where's our spaceship crew? Maybe they're elsewhere on the ship. Let's look for them. Rick and Morty walk around the ship, but they can't find anybody. Hmm. I'm starting to get a little worried. Where could they be? 
Maybe they went exploring elsewhere on the ship. Let's check that out. Rick and Morty walk through a door that leads them to a large room full of different rooms. Woohoo! We found our spaceship crew. Excitedly, they're just down the hall, Dad. Rick and Morty walk down the hall and find that the room that contained the crew is full of aliens. Woohoo! We've finally found our sci-fi adventure. Concernedly, uh-oh, I think we're in trouble now. Hey Morty, come take a look at this. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah, I think so. What do you think, Jerry? What? Oh, well, I don't know. It's just a picture. Yeah, that's what I thought too. But still, it's worth thinking about. Hey Jerry, do you have any ideas about what it could mean? Um, well, I don't know. What do you think? I don't know either, but it's worth investigating. What do you say, Morty? I think it's cool, of course. Let's go find out what it means. Dude. That's some sick artwork. Yeah, she's got some great creativity. I love her style. Hey Morty. What's up? Not much, just doing homework. Oh, okay. What are you working on? A picture of my mom and dad. That's cute. Yeah, I like it. This is one of Paul McCartney's best paintings. I love it. Yeah, it's really good. I especially love the background. Oh, I didn't know he did paintings like that. Yeah, he does a lot of different types of paintings. Some are pretty low key, like this one, and others are a little more famous, like the one with the clown. I see. But this one is my favorite. It just has a really cool feeling to it. Yeah, I agree. This is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. I can't wait to go exploring in this machine room. Yeah, I love machines too. They're so impressive. What are you two talking about? This is a cool character, Morty. I agree, Rick. Mickey Mouse is one of my favorite cartoon characters. Me too, Morty. I remember when I was a kid, I used to watch Mickey Mouse cartoons every day. I can't believe it's been so long since I watched a Mickey Mouse cartoon. I know, right, Morty? Time flies. Hey, Rick. Why are you analyzing a picture of Mickey Mouse? Oh, Jerry. This is a picture of Mickey Mouse from a cartoon I used to watch when I was a kid. Oh! I didn't know you were interested in Mickey Mouse cartoons. Yeah, I used to love watching them. Mickey Mouse is one of my favorite cartoon characters. Hmm. I never really got into Mickey Mouse cartoons. I'm more of a Star Wars guy. That's cool, Jerry. I'm a fan of both Mickey Mouse and Star Wars. Yeah, I've been a fan of both movies for a long time.
I like the way the artist paints the scene with the man with the gun. It's giving off a powerful feeling. I don't know, it looks weird to me. What do you mean, Morty? I don't know, it doesn't seem right. The colors seem off and the design looks like it's not supposed to be there. What do you mean? Like it's not supposed to be on the painting or something. Yeah, I think you're right Morty. The colors don't look right. What do you mean, Rick? I think Morty's right Jerry. The colors don't look right. Okay, Morty, let's take a look at the picture again and see if we can figure out what's wrong. Yeah, let's do that. This is some amazing sci-fi Rick. Morty. Yeah it is definitely Rick. I'm glad you like it Morty. Morty. I do Rick. Very cool. Jerry. Hey Rick. What's up? Not much Jerry. Just talking about our sci-fi adventures. Jerry. Oh, cool. Morty. What are your thoughts Jerry? Jerry. Well, I think it's cool. I don't really understand the art though. Hey Morty, check out this great sci-fi picture. Whoa, that's amazing Rick. Look at all the details. What is it Morty? It's a sci-fi picture of a group of men standing next to each other in front of a green background with a green background behind them. BGs. Oh, yeah Morty. I vaguely remember seeing that one. It's pretty good. Yeah Jerry, I think it's really good too. Well Rick, I guess you're right. look at this, Morty. This is a really cool picture. It's got a great deal of detail in it. Yeah, I love it, Rick. The colors and the textures are really cool. I completely agree, Morty. This is a really fantastic picture. Huh, what's up with the peppers? Oh, those are just some red hot chili peppers. I don't get it. It's a picture of some peppers, Jerry. Doesn't that make sense to you? Um, no. I don't know what peppers look like. Well, I'm glad you like it, Jerry. I think Morty did a great job painting it. Thanks, Rick. I just used some of my favorite peppers from our garden. Rick and Morty analyze the picture with Rick being happy and positive and Morty being happy and positive. Jerry is Morty's dad who is a simple man and doesn't understand art and he has no clue about the peppers. Their conversation is just like the one in the show Rick and Morty. Hey Morty, check out this painting I scored. It's a tribute to one of my all-time favorite creatures, the gorilla. You see, the gorilla is king of the jungle and can really take care of himself. I think he's a badass, Morty. I agree, Rick. The gorilla is amazing. I can't believe you managed to get a painting of him so accurately. This is a cool picture. Yeah, it's neat. I especially like the Navi part. Yeah, the Navi is really cool. I've always loved Avatar. Yeah, I know. I think it's really cool how they mastered animating those plants. Yeah, 
It's amazing. I also really like how the woman's hair looks. It's very realistic. Yeah, it's really great. I don't know if I like the blue skin though. I think it might be a little too bright. Yeah, I think you're right. It might be a little too bright. But overall, I think it's a great picture. This is really cool Morty. I love the colors and the design. Yeah, it's a great picture Rick. The colors are so bright and the design is really cool. Is that a Pulsar Morty? Yeah, it sure is Jerry. I never seen one like that before. Why don't we take a look at the description to see what it says? Why not? The description says, a digital image of a colorful abstract design with lines and shapes in the background and a blue sky with white clouds, Pulsar. Yeah, that's what it says. So it looks like this picture is from a science fiction story. Yeah, I guess you could say that. So what kind of story is it from Rick? I think it might be from a science fiction story about spaceflight. Oh, I've never heard of that kind of story. I've never heard of that kind of story either, Jerry. That's because they're new stories, Rick. They only came out a few years ago. Yeah, I guess you could say that. So what do you think, Jerry? Do you want to try some of the flavors of Van Halen today? No, I don't think so, Rick. I'll just go home and watch TV. All right, Jerry. Have a good night. You too, Jerry. This is amazing Morty. Yeah, I love it. It's really cool how she's combining futuristic looks with traditional looks like makeup. Yeah, I think it's really cool too. What are you guys talking about? We're just analyzing a picture of Rihanna, Morty. Oh, okay. I get it. This is amazing Morty. I can't believe we get to travel to amazing places like this in our sci-fi adventures. Yeah Rick, it's always so fun getting to explore different worlds and meet new people. It's like we're actually doing real science. Hmm, I don't really know about that Morty. I mean, I guess it's all just imaginary, right? Yeah Jerry, except for when we're inside the computer simulations, that's pretty real to me. Well, I guess that's one way to look at it. I just wish I knew more about art. I feel like I could do a lot better than I do. Yeah, Jerry, I know what you mean. I used to be pretty good at painting, but now I just don't ever seem to be able to make it look good. Oh, I don't know. I think maybe it's because I just don't have enough imagination. Yeah, maybe you're right, Jerry. But at least we've still got each other, right, Morty? Yeah, Rick, we always have each other. And I think that's really important. This is a great picture. It really captures the feeling of fall. Yeah, this is one of my favorite pictures of all time. You guys like pictures a lot, huh? Oh, absolutely. This is one of my favorite things to do. I guess I can see that. What do you think, Morty? I think it's great, Dad. It's so beautiful. Well, I'm glad you like it. It's one of my favorite pictures, too.
This is so sick, Rick. I can't believe you got to go to Barcelona and see this. Madness, man, I was only there for a day, but I filled up on tapas and sang along to panpipes. It was glorious. You did not, Rick. Hey, whatever, tapas isn't real food anyway. Ah, uh, Morty, your dad is here. Oh, right. Hey, Jerry, thanks for coming. No problem, Morty. Let's go say hi to your dad. Jerry, this is my friend Morty. Morty, this is Jerry. Jerry, this is my friend Morty. Nice to meet you, Morty. Holy crap, that's a really cool picture. Yeah, it's awesome. I bet it would be really fun to see that in real life. You're right, it would. Hey, look at this. I've never seen anything like it. What do you think, Jerry? It's kinda cool. This is a really cool picture of a man. I like the colors. Yeah, I love the colors too. It seems like a really fun place to be. Yep, it looks like a really fun place. It does look fun. What do you suppose it is? I have no idea. I'm sure someone will figure it out though. Yeah, I hope so. Anyway, I think we should go explore that place some more sometime. Yeah, I second that. What do you think? It's pretty good, Rick. Yeah, I think so too. Huh. Morty, you're such a kidder. Why are you so impressed by this picture? Well, I just think it's beautiful, Jerry. Yeah, I guess you have a point there. Hey Jerry, check this out. What is it? Check this out, Morty. Is that a jetliner? Yeah, it sure is. Cool. Yeah, I guess it is pretty cool. What do you think, Morty? I think it's awesome. Hey Morty, did you check out that painting? I think it's really beautiful. Yeah, Rick, I really like it. What do you think it says about women? I think it's a representation of the power of women. They can be strong and beautiful, just like in our sci-fi adventures. Oh, Rick, you're such a romantic. Oh my god, look at that picture. It's a perfect depiction of our sci-fi adventures. Yeah, it's amazing. We always have such a positive vibe together, don't we Rick? Absolutely Morty, we're always able to save the day and have lots of comic book-esque exploits. He's right Morty. You and Rick always seem to be on the same page. You're a great son, Jerry. Thanks, Jerry. You're a pretty cool dad, too. Yeah, we're a pretty tight-knit group. It's been great getting to know you all.
This is so cool, Morty. I love the way it looks like we're exploring the galaxy. Yeah, I really like it. It's like our own little world. Hey, watch out for those bugs, Morty. Yeah, I know, Jerry. Thanks for catching that. So, what do you think, Jerry? Well, Rick, I don't really know what to make of it. I mean, it's nice, but... Jerry, you don't have to be so negative. It's just a painting, after all. But if you didn't know any better... Hey, enough of this useless bickering. Let's figure out what this painting is supposed to be. Yeah, let's get to it. Okay, let's start with the building. What can you tell me about it? From the bridge, it kind of looks like a castle. Castle? Weird. What would somebody in a garden need a castle for? I don't know, Rick, but it's really cool nonetheless. Okay, so the building is probably some sort of castle. What about the plants and animals? In the lower part of the painting, there's a lot of different plants. I don't know what all of them are, but they look really cool. And the animals? All the different kinds of animals look so happy. It's really cool. Yeah, I can see what you mean. Hey, guys, I've been looking for you. What is it, Jerry? I don't know. It just feels like there's something wrong. Jerry, let's not worry about it. We've just been working on this painting for a while and maybe our brains are just tired. Okay, you're right. I'm just being paranoid. Okay, so the building is probably some sort of castle. What about the plants and animals? In the lower part of the painting, there's a lot of different plants. I don't know what all of them are, but they look really cool. And the animals? All the different kinds of animals look so happy. It's really cool. Yeah, I can see what you mean. Hey, guys, I've been looking for you. What is it, Jerry? I don't know. It just feels like there's something wrong. Jerry, let's not worry about it. We've just been working on this painting for a while and maybe our brains are just tired. Okay, you're right. I'm just being paranoid. This is Rick, Morty's dad. He's really simple and doesn't know much about art, but he's always there for his son. Morty is always happy and wholesome. He's the type of person who will make everyone around him happy. They love to adventure together, and Rick is always happy to help Morty come up with new ideas for their sci-fi escapades. Man, that's a weird picture. Yeah, it's definitely weird. I mean, it doesn't look like anything I've ever seen before. Huh. Rick and Morty continue to discuss the picture while Jerry just stands there and doesn't understand what they are talking about. Morty, do you see anything interesting in the picture? Yeah, there's that woman with the weird face and the weird hand gesture. Yeah, she's pretty weird. What do you think she's doing? Rick and Morty exchange a look and then Rick says. I don't know, but I'm sure that science fiction has something to say about it. This is a great picture, Morty. Yeah, it's really good. It's really good, Morty. Is that a painting or what? It's a painting, Jerry. Digital painting of a man in a purple coat and a purple background with a gold frame around him. Morty is happy and wholesome. Everyone has a positive vibe. Jerry is Morty's dad and he's a simple man with no clue about art. They are from the show Rick and Morty. You have to use their personality and the way they talk in the show.
This is a great painting. Yeah, it's really good. I love the way the colors look together. Yeah, I agree. The way the dog is looking at her is so cute. Yeah, I think so too. It's such a beautiful painting. Yeah, I think so too. That's really good, Morty. Yeah, I like the way the lighting makes her look like she's glowing. Yeah, it's really good. What the hell are you guys talking about? We're just analyzing the painting, Jerry. Uh huh. It's really good, Morty. What the hell are you guys talking about? We're just analyzing the painting, Jerry. Yeah, I like the way the lighting makes her look like she's glowing. Yeah, it's really good. What the hell are you guys talking about? Man, it's totally like our adventure in the episode 303. Yeah, totally. I'm so glad everything worked out in the end. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad Morty is finally happy. Yeah, me too, Jerry. While they're talking, they notice all of a sudden Jerry gets really quiet and they turn to see he's staring at the picture with a confused look on his face. Jerry, what's up? I don't know, I just, I don't know. This picture looks really familiar, but I can't put my finger on it. Maybe you've seen it before? I haven't, but I've definitely seen the woman. She was in one of my art classes, back in college. Oh, that's weird. Do you remember her name? No, and I can't remember what her art class was about either. But I know it was at U of M. Well, we can look it up when we get home. For now, let's just enjoy our sci-fi adventure. Yeah, let's just relax and have some fun. You got it, Morty. Look at that, such a beautiful picture. Yeah, it's really cool. Hey Rick, what's that in the background? That's a picture of a group of people standing next to each other in front of a space background with stars and planets in the background. Centauri, Babylon 5. Fascinating. I've never seen that before. Me neither. It's a great picture, Morty. Yeah, it's really cool. Hey Rick, what's that in the background? That's a picture of a group of people standing next to each other in front of a space background with stars and planets in the background. Centauri, Babylon 5. Fascinating. I've never seen that before. This is a beautiful picture. What's the story behind it? I don't know, but it's beautiful. That's true. It's a great image. I wonder what the story is. I don't know, but it's a great image. That's true. I love this picture. It's so beautiful. I agree, Rick. The colors are so vibrant and the sharks are so lifelike. Isn't that a great picture, Rick and Morty? Yeah, Jerry. It's really beautiful. I don't know about you, Rick, but I love sci-fi movies and stories with sharks in them. Yeah, I do too. 
I love the idea of being in the ocean and swimming with sharks. Really, Rick? You're actually excited about swimming with sharks? Yeah, Morty. I love the idea of it. It's just so cool. Okay, then I'm excited too. Yep, Morty. I'm stoked to go swimming with sharks. Well, I'm glad you two are excited about it. I always love a good adventure story with sharks in it. So, Morty, what do you think of our new adventure? It's incredible, Rick. I love the way you and Jerry are working together. It's so smooth. Yeah, I think we really pull it off. Hey, you too. Quit gawking at the picture and get back to work. Rick and Morty turned to Jerry with a surprised look. What? I don't know anything about art. I'm just a simple man. Yeah, Morty's dad. Yeah, Jerry. Anyway. Back to the picture. What do you think the woman is wearing? I think she's wearing a white dress and a pink background. You're right, Morty. That's definitely what she's wearing. What do you think her name is? I don't know, but I'm sure we'll find out soon. Yeah, we definitely will. Dude, check out the woman with the hat and feathers on her head. She's so beautiful. Yeah, she's fantastic. What do you think she's doing? Well, based on the moon and the sky, it looks like she's posing for a picture. Wow, Rick, you're such a smart guy. What kind of science do you know? I just use my intuition and common sense to figure things out, Morty. Hey, Morty, what's going on? Hey, Dad. This is Rick and Rick's talking about the woman with the hat and feathers on her head. Ah, okay. She's pretty cute. This is a really well done painting Morty. You must have been really proud of it. Yeah, I was actually really proud of it. What made you feel that way? Well, I thought the facial expression was really creepy and the eyes were really cool. I agree. The eyes are really cool. And the headdress was really cool too. Yeah, I think it's a really well done painting. Thanks, Rick. Ha 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 ha. Morty, you're right. That's perfect for our next adventure. Yeah, totally. I can't wait to do more sci-fi with you. How exciting. I hope you're both enjoying your time on Earth. I'm just a simple man with no clue about art, but I do love spending time with my son. Billie Eilish, loving it man. Less than audio clip of her voice greater than. This looks like a great picture for our next adventure. Yeah, I can't wait to do more sci-fi together. That's great. I'm just a simple man with no clue about art, but I do love spending time with my son. Billie Eilish, loving it man. Less than audio clip of her voice greater than. That looks like a cool picture, Morty. Yeah, it is, Rick. I really like it. What's the story behind it? I don't know for sure, Jerry, but it looks like it's from a sci-fi movie. Yeah, Rick, I bet that franchise is really popular. 
I'm sure it is Morty. It's great to be a fan of something and not even know it. That makes total sense, Rick. Anyway, Morty, I'm going to get some water. I'll be back in a little while. Okay, Rick. I'll just wait here. Rick walks into the kitchen and fills a glass of water. He notices Morty sitting in the living room watching TV. Hey Morty, I just got some water. Want a glass? No Rick, I'm good. Okay, I'll see you later. Rick walks out of the house and heads to his work site. While he's working, he thinks about what happened in the house. That was weird. I don't know why Morty was watching TV. Rick finishes working and goes home. Hey Jerry, I'm home. Hey Rick, what's up? Nothing much, just finished work. How's the art project going? It's going good. I'm just waiting for the final product to come back from the printer. That sounds good Jerry. I'm sure it'll be great. Rick and Morty sit down in the living room to watch TV. Hey Rick, have you heard about this TV show called Futurama? Yeah, I've seen it. It's a cartoon with blue eyes and a tie on his neck and a red tie on his neck and a blue background. That looks like a cool picture, Rick. Yeah, it does, Morty. I really like it. What's the story behind it? I don't know for sure, Jerry, but it looks like it's from a sci-fi movie. Yeah, Rick, I bet that franchise is really popular. I'm sure it is, Morty. It's great to be a fan of something and not even know it. That makes total sense, Rick. Anyway, Morty, I'm going to get some water. I'll be back in a little while. Okay, Rick. I'll just wait here. Uh, I like that. Yeah, I think it's cool too. What's the movie about? Who knows, it's a sci-fi movie. Huh, I'm not sure if I'm into sci-fi movies. Jerry, you have to try these kinds of movies. You might like them. I don't know, Rick, I'm just not sure if I'm into them. Jerry, you have to give them a chance. You might like them. I don't know, Rick. I just don't know if I'm into them. I love sci-fi, Morty. It's so exciting to imagine the possibilities. Yeah, I can't wait to explore the galaxy someday. I'm sure we'll have a blast. From across the room, Morty, can you hand me that brush? I think I left it on the counter. Oh, sure thing, Jerry. Rick and Morty continue their conversation while Jerry goes over to get the brush. So, Morty, what do you think about our latest sci-fi adventure? It was great, Rick. The woman with the red hair was really badass and the dragon was so cool. You're right, Morty. It was definitely a blast. Jerry comes back into the room with the brush. Hey Rick, look what I found. Oh, thank you, Jerry. I was starting to get a little worried. No problem, Rick. I just hope Morty didn't use all the paint on the brush. He can be a bit of a wild child sometimes. Rick and Morty laugh. Yep, I definitely agree with you, Jerry. He can be a little reckless. Laughs. Yeah, that's one way to put it. Well, I'll leave you two to your conversation. I need to go do some work. Rick and Morty continue talking. But, Morty, I think we should still explore the galaxy one day. Yeah, I think so too, Rick. I can't wait to find new civilizations and meet new people. I hear you, Morty. We definitely need to explore the galaxy some more. The two of them continue to talk about their sci-fi adventures and how much they enjoy them. They have a positive and happy conversation and it's a great example of how to have a good conversation.
the what do you think, Morty? Is she hot? Actually, Rick, I'm not sure. She's kind of strange looking. Yeah, I don't know either. I think she's cute though. Hey Rick, do you think Morty's dad would be into sci-fi? Jerry, I don't know. I think he's a simple man who doesn't understand art. Do you think he would like our sci-fi show? I don't know Jerry. I'm not sure if he would be into our show or not. We'll have to ask him. Hey Jerry, do you want to watch our show with me and Rick? Yeah, sure Morty. I'm curious about your show. This poster is amazing Morty. It looks like we're going to have a blast in Mumbai. Yeah Rick, I can't wait to explore the city and its beautiful sights. Hey Rick, have you been listening to the news? What news Jerry? Apparently some idiot destroyed a bridge in Mumbai. What? That's insane. How can someone do something like that? I don't know Rick, but I think it's time for us to go and help out in the aftermath of the tragedy. Yeah Jerry, I agree. We should go and help out and show our support to the people of Mumbai. Man, this is such a fantastic painting. It's got a great composition and it's just so visually pleasing. Yeah, I think it's really awesome. I always love seeing realistic paintings of dragons. It's one of my favorite creatures. Exactly. And I love the way the colors are vibrant and the detail is great. It really captures the essence of the dragon well. You're right. It's amazing how the artist was able to render it so authentically. Yeah, it's really cool how they were able to capture the shape and form of the dragon so accurately. It really makes the painting come to life. Definitely. I really enjoy being able to look at paintings like this and really get a sense of the artist's creativity and vision. Yeah, I can see why you'd love them. They're really amazing works of art. Yeah, they really are. And I think it's great that you're able to appreciate them so much, Rick. It proves that you have a lot of artistic taste. Oh, I don't know. I just try to enjoy things for what they are and avoid getting too caught up in the hype. After all, it's not about how good the painting is, it's about how much you enjoy looking at it. Oh, I think that's a very valid point, Rick. Yeah, I think so too. And this painting is trippy. Yeah, it is pretty weird. I wonder what it means. Who knows, it could be anything. Well, at least it's creative. Yeah, it's definitely different. Hey Rick, Morty, what's going on? Jerry, we're just analyzing this painting. Cool, what do you think it means? And Jerry, it's just a painting. We don't know what it means. Well, at least you're thinking about art. Yup. Morty and I both love art. Well, that's good. Yeah, it's important to be creative. Oh, sure. Morty and I will head to our room now and finish up some homework. Rick and Morty smile and say goodbye to Jerry as they head off to their bedroom to study more. What do you think, Morty? It's good, right? Yeah, I mean it's not bad. It just doesn't really stand out to me. Well, maybe you're not the right person for this painting, Morty. But what about you Rick? You're the one who's always into art. You should like it. Yeah, I do like it, Morty. I just think you would appreciate it more. 
You're probably right, Rick. I'll give it a shot next time. Rick and Morty are analyzing in details a picture with this description while also talking about their sci-fi adventures. A painting of a man with a halo around his head and a cross on his forehead. With a halo around his head. Han Solo. Star Wars. Dude, it's Han Solo. Whoa, I didn't know that. Yeah, he was such an icon for the rebellion. The rebellion is a real thing? Oh yeah, it was a group of rebels that fought against the Empire back in the days. Wow, I always thought it was like a fairy tale or something. Yeah, I always thought so too. Jerry is Morty's dad and he's a simple man with no clue about art. He is from the show Rick and Morty, you have to use their personality and the way they talk in the show. Here is the conversation. So, Morty, what are you working on over there? I'm drawing a picture of a man with a halo around his head and a cross on his forehead, with a halo around his head, Han Solo, Star Wars. What's that about? I don't know, it just seems cool to me. Yeah, I guess it does. You know, Han Solo was one of the bravest figures in the Rebel Alliance, and he's still an iconic character today. Yeah, I guess you're right. I love rhinos, they're so big and powerful. Yeah, I agree, they're definitely a majestic animal. Hold on, Morty. Isn't it technically illegal to hunt rhinos? Yeah, I guess so. I'm not really sure. I'll take care of it, Morty. I'll take care of it. I love rhinos, they're so big and powerful. Yeah, I agree, they're definitely a majestic animal. Hold on, Morty. Isn't it technically illegal to hunt rhinos? Yeah, I guess so. I'm not really sure. I'll take care of it, Morty. I'll take care of it. This is one of my favorite paintings ever. Yeah, I love it too. It's so colorful and happy. You're right. This picture is a representation of the type of life we want to lead. We're always looking for a good time, and this painting is a perfect representation of that. You're right, Rick. And I think that's why it's so popular. People love happy things. Exactly. And that's why we should keep pursuing happiness. It's the best thing in the world. You're right, Rick. And I think that's why it's so popular. People love happy things. Rick and Look at that amazing plate of enchiladas Morty. They look so delicious. Yeah, they do Rick, and they come with a side of meat and sauce too. I can't wait to sink my teeth into them. Me too Morty. I can't wait to savor those enchiladas all afternoon. They sure do look amazing Rick. What kind of sauce is that? It's a tomato sauce Jerry. It's amazing. Well, I can tell you that I've had better sauce than that in my life Rick. Aha. Uh -huh. I know Jerry, but that's the great thing about enchiladas Morty, you can customize them to your own taste. Yeah, that's definitely true, Rick. And I can't wait to mix all the sauce and meat together on my plate. 
Exactly, Morty. And I can't wait to enjoy that hot, delicious meal with you. This doggy is dope. Gives a thumbs up. Yeah, he's totally awesome. What's the story behind this painting? It's a Doge Shiba painting. What's a Doge Shiba? It's a Japanese dog. He's so cute. Yeah, he is. Japan has a lot of cool dogs, huh? Yeah, they do. I love their culture, their art, and especially their dogs. I can't wait to take my dog to Japan one day. Me too, Morty. Me too. Yep, yeah, that's definitely data from Star Trek. Wow, Rick, you're really into sci-fi, huh? Yeah. I never get tired of exploring the universe. Me either, Rick. Hey, Morty, do you like art? Yeah, Jerry, I really do. All right, good. I think you should continue to develop your skills. Yeah, Jerry, I'll try my best. I just can't get over how badass these stormtroopers look. They're totally badass. Yeah, I'm definitely a fan. Oh, Morty, you're such a fanboy. Heck, yeah. Hmm, interesting. So what do you think, Morty? Pretty cool, Rick. I love the way the colors look together. Yeah, I thought the same thing. But you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and make a painting of this exact same image. Really? What makes you think that'll be any better than the original? Beats me, but I'm going to try it anyway. That's so, Rick. You always go for the challenge. Hey, you two. What's going on? Or just analyzing this picture, Jerry. Oh, okay. I leave you to one. Later, Rick has finished his painting and shows it to Morty. Hey Morty, check out my painting. It's really cool, Rick. I love the way the colors look together. Hey you too. What's going on? Or just analyzing this picture, Jerry. Oh, okay. I leave you to one. Hey Morty, check out this amazing drawing of Brad Pitt. Totally dude, he's totally hot. Yeah, I think so too. He's always been a big inspiration to me. Totally man, Brad Pitt is totally amazing. Morty, I think the painting is really cool. It has a really nice mood. Rick, I love the way you described the painting. The colors are perfect and the composition is great. Dude, are you guys talking about the same painting? Rick and Jerry, did you not see the description? It's Angelina Jolie. Ah, I guess so. I'm not really into art, you know? Rick and Jerry, it doesn't matter if you're not into art. 
This picture is amazing no matter what. Look at the detail in her hair and dress. It's fantastic. Dude, you're right. I guess I just never really looked at paintings like that before. This picture is so sick. It's like a digital painting of a man with a strange face and a clock in the background with a neon light. Yeah, that's really cool. What do you think it means? Less than name greater than. This picture is so sick. It's like a digital painting of a man with a strange face and a clock in the background with a neon light. Less than name greater than. What do you think it means? That's an interesting picture. What's it from? It's from an old sci-fi story. A man steps into a mirror and sees his future. Billy, what did he see? The man saw that he would become a great leader. Why do you think that is? He just had a lot of confidence in himself. Yeah, I'm sure he did. So, does this story have any relevance to our current day and age? Well, it could. After all, we're living in a time where leaders can be made or destroyed by the decisions they make. You're right. So, do you think the man in the picture would have been successful? Yeah, I think so. He had a lot of courage and conviction. That's a sick logo, Morty. I know, Rick. Ash Ketchum is one of my favorite characters. Yeah, I love that show, too. It always makes me feel good. Exactly. It's a lot of fun to just sit around and watch cartoons and be happy. You're right, Morty. It sure is. Oh, that's one sexy alien. Yeah, I mean, she's got that whole power and glowy thing going on. Man, I bet she's got some killer sex moves. Yeah, I'm sure she does. Oh Morty, you're going to make me blush. Ha, 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 man, you're such a dork. I always loved this scene from E.T. It captured the feeling of wonder and adventure so well. Yeah, it's incredible how he was able to show the entire landscape in one shot. And the way he portrayed the sun reflecting off the object is just so beautiful. Is that a weapon or what? Oh, you're right Jerry, it does look like a weapon. What do you think it is? I'm not sure, but it looks like maybe it's a space probe or something. Man. Your imagination is unbelievable. Yeah, I always loved fantasies where I was saving the world from aliens or monsters. Yeah, same here. But that's also why I think sci-fi is so important. It's the perfect blend of fantasy and reality. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Less than insert religious term greater than. Look at that building. 
Yeah, it's so tall. I bet we could go check it out if we got to the top. Hey, I think I see somebody. Who is it? I don't know, but it looks like a person. Let's go check it out. Is that a creature, Morty? I don't know, Rick, it looks like something from a horror movie. You're probably right, Morty. We should be careful not to be scared by things that look weird. Yeah, you're right. Hey, look at this painting. It's amazing, Rick. Yeah, Jerry, it's a great painting. What do you think it is, Rick? I'm not sure, Jerry. From the looks of it, it might be some kind of alien. Hmm, I think you're right, Rick. It sure looks like something from a sci-fi movie. You're right, Jerry. It does look like something from a sci-fi movie. Hey Morty! Turns out that on one of our sci-fi adventures we met a man named Dwight Schrute from the office. He was really cool and we had a great conversation. I think you should go talk to him sometime. Cool, I think I can do that. Oh Morty, you should totally go talk to Dwight Schrute. I bet he would be happy to talk to you. He's probably a pretty smart guy. He probably is, Jerry. Okay, I'll go talk to Dwight Schrute. Great job, Morty. What kind of conversation do you think you'll have? I don't know. I think it will be pretty interesting. Wow. This is amazing. It's like a painting from a sci-fi movie. I know, it's so cool. And it's signed. Who is it by? It's a painting from a sci-fi movie. What movie? I don't remember the name, but it was a great movie. What movie? Hey, guys. Who's that signed painting over there? That's an amazing painting. It's from a sci-fi movie I really liked. What movie? Rick and Morty both turned to Jerry with a look of confusion. What movie? That's a really cool picture, Morty. It reminds me of something from one of our sci-fi adventures. Yeah, I know. It's from a story we were telling the other day about a woman and her pulsar. Oh, that sounds like a really cool story. What was it about? Well, the woman was standing in front of a colorful background with a circular design on it and a circular object in the middle, pulsar. I see. And what was the story about her, Morty? Well, she was fighting against a group of aliens who were trying to take control of the pulsar. I see. And did she succeed in fighting off the aliens? Yeah, she did. They eventually gave up and left the planet. That sounds like a really cool story. I'm glad she was able to save the Pulsar. Yeah, me too, Rick. Hey Morty, looks like our old buddy Jupiter is back in the picture. Now this is serious business, Morty. Yeah, I know. I'm really excited about our next sci-fi adventure. Yep, I'm ready too. Let's go pack our gear and map out our route. Hey Morty, how's school treating you? It's good. 
I'm liking physics a lot. Jerry, oh, okay. I didn't realize that was your major. It isn't, but it's a fun subject. And I get to use a lot of the math I learned in high school. Jerry, that's good. I guess I'm just glad you're finding your interests. Damn it, Morty. Where the hell are you? I've been waiting for 20 minutes. I'm upstairs. I'm just getting ready for our next adventure. All right. Just let me know when you're ready. All right. Have fun. So Morty, what do you think about my latest sci-fi adventure? It's awesome Rick! The green-eyed man was so cool! I can't wait to see the sequel! Yeah, I'm really excited about it. I think the sequel will be even better than the first one. Hey Rick, what's going on? Oh, just hanging out with Morty and talking about our latest sci-fi adventure. Hey Morty, what are you doing? Just hanging out with my dad, Jerry. Cool. I'm just a simple man, I don't know about art. But I love spending time with my kids. Yo oh Morty, check out this picture. It looks like we may be able to take a trip to Istanbul. Yeah, that sounds pretty sick. Whoa, Istanbul. Where's that? It's in Turkey, Jerry. Turkey. Man, I've never been there. I've always wanted to go. Yeah, me too. Maybe someday we can go on a boat and see the city from the water. Now that's the kind of vacation I'd love to go on. Yeah, me too, Morty. Me too. Oh man, that Charlie Brown is so lovable. Yeah, he's always such a happy guy. Yeah, I can't help but admire his resilience. Yeah, no matter how hard things get, he always manages to keep a positive attitude. That's true willpower. Yeah, and he's always such an inspiration to us. Yeah, I can't help but feel happy when I see him. Yeah, I feel the same way. Rick and Morty are analyzing in details a picture with this description while also talking about their sci-fi adventures. Morty is happy and wholesome. Rick is happy and wholesome. Everyone has a positive vibe. Jerry is Morty's dad and he's a simple man with no clue about art. They're from the show Rick and Morty, you have to use their personality and the way they talk in the show. Dude, look at this. It's a picture of Lucille Ball. Yeah, she's one of my all-time favorite actresses. Yeah. I mean, I Love Lucy is one of my all-time favorite shows. Yeah, I know. I'm a big fan too. Anyway, what do you think? Is it good or bad? It's good. I love her humor and her acting. Yeah, I mean, she was amazing and I love Lucy. Yeah, she was. Rick and this guy looks like a tough guy. I've always wanted a motorcycle. We could totally take on the clash on that thing. I know nothing about art, but I can't help but admire your tattoo. Thanks, it's a classic.
Hey Morty, check this out. It's a painting of Taylor Swift. Look at her hair, it's so red. Yeah, I like the color. Yeah, it's really vibrant. What do you think Jerry would say about it? Jerry, he's not into art. Ha, huh. well, I like it regardless. Yeah, I do too. Anyway, we should go watch some sci-fi movies. Yeah, I love sci-fi movies. This is Amazing Morty. Metroid is one of my favorite video games of all time. Yeah, I love that game too, Rick. It's one of my favorites in the series. Yeah, I know it's one of your favorites. I'm so happy you like it, Morty. It's an amazing piece of digital art. Yeah, it's really cool. I always enjoy looking at abstract art. It's so true, Morty. I feel the same way. I love exploring new worlds and learning about new things. It's just so fun. Yeah, it is fun. I'm glad we can enjoy art together like this. Yeah, it's just so great to be able to share our love of art with each other. It's really special. That's a great picture, Morty. Yeah, I like it a lot. I think we should put it in our sci-fi gallery. Definitely. Dude. Check out that poster. It's amazing. Yeah, it's so cool. I love Star Wars. Me too, Morty. I especially love Darth Vader. Holy crap, Rick. That's a really cool poster. Yeah, Jerry. I love it. You should get it. I don't know, Rick. I'm not really into art. This picture is amazing. I can't believe how detailed it is. I can imagine how much work it must have taken to make it. I don't know about you, Rick, but I'm really happy with how this picture turned out. I think it looks really good. Hey, Morty. How'd the picture turn out? It looks great, Jerry. I'm really happy with how it looks. Good job, Morty. You're a good artist. Yeah. Morty is a great artist. I'm glad we decided to use his art in this picture. Wow, that picture is definitely one of our sci-fi adventures. The colors and the background are amazing. Yeah, that looks like a really cool sci-fi scene. What are those worms doing? They're part of a scene from one of our sci-fi adventures. What kind of adventure is it? I don't remember the details, but it's probably a really cool one. Rick and sure. This is cool, Rick. We should make a movie about this. That's a great idea, Morty. I think we should make a movie about our sci-fi adventures. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, I think a movie would be great. 
Derry, have you ever been in a movie? No, I haven't. Okay, well we'll have to teach you how to be in a movie then. Okay, sounds like fun. Yeah, it will be. Yeah, we should probably start making the movie now. Reckon yeah, we should. This looks like a pretty cool picture. It's got a really interesting composition. Yeah, I love the way the woman is holding the chopsticks and the geisha girl behind her. It's so surreal and beautiful. Yeah, I could see that. It's definitely got a lot of potential. Hey, what's going on? Oh, nothing. Just filling Jerry in on some of our latest sci-fi adventures. Oh, I see. Well, that sounds pretty nifty. I'm glad you're happy. Me too, Morty. Me too. Dude, that's so cool. Totally, dude. I love sci-fi. This is a great painting, Morty. Yeah, I think so too, Rick. The composition is fantastic and the color scheme is on point. Yeah, I think so too, Rick. What is it, Morty? It's just a painting, Jerry. Oh, okay then. This is an amazing picture. Yeah, it's really cool. I love how the blue light is in the center of it. Yeah, it looks like a cool space station. It's really cool how the woman is in a futuristic space station. Yeah, it looks like she's in a great place. It's really cool how the picture has all these neon lights in it. Yeah, it looks like a really cool place. It's really cool how the picture has all these different colors. Yeah, it looks like a really cool place. It's really cool how the picture has such a cool blue light in the center of it. Yeah, it looks like a really cool place. It's really cool how the picture is so detailed. Yeah, it looks like a really cool place. It's really cool how the woman in the picture looks futuristic. I love this picture. It's so colorful and cheerful. Yeah, it's really cool. I think it would make a great background for one of our sci-fi adventures. Yeah, I don't think we could have picked a better background. It's just so cheerful and calming. Huh. I don't know about that, Jerry. I don't think it's very artistic. What do you mean, Jerry? I mean, I don't think it's very good. It's not very good at all. Jerry, come on. It's a great picture. I don't think so. It's just not very good. Okay. Well, we'll just have to disagree on this one, Jerry. That's okay, I guess. Yeah, it's a great picture, Morty. I really love it. I wonder if Childish Gambino is on this poster. 
I have no idea, but he's a huge artist, so it's worth checking out. I don't know about art, but I'm pretty sure he's popular. Damn, she's hot. Yeah, she's pretty badass. Hey Morty, check out this painting. It's pretty cool. Yeah Jerry, it's really cool. Look Morty. Three gorillas with the words gorillas on them are standing next to each other in front of a green background. What do you think they represent? I think they represent our mission as a team, strength and unity. Yeah Morty, that's what I think too. Morty, get in the van dad, we're going to the grocery store. Alright Jerry, see you later. Jerry, I think we should buy some fresh produce at the grocery store. Yeah, I think you're right. I like this show, it has a great cast of characters. I also like this show, it has a great cast of characters. I know, I've watched it a lot. Hey Jerry, have you seen this show? It has a great cast of characters. Yeah, I've seen it a lot, it's a great show. Yeah I know, it's one of my favorites. Yeah, it's a great show. Nice picture, Morty. Yeah, it's really good. I think it's great how she embodies the future so perfectly. Yeah, I totally agree. Plus, the city in the background is really cool. Yeah, I think it's awesome how she incorporated that into the picture. Plus, the whole picture just looks really cool. Yeah, I totally agree. Wow, that's a really cool picture. Yeah, I really like it. It's really good. I think it's a great piece of art. Yeah, I think so too. It's really well done. You should be really proud of yourself. I am proud of it. I did a good job. Yeah, you did a great job. You're really good at art. Yeah, I know. I like the artwork on the object. It has a really nice color scheme. I agree, the colors are really eye-catching. I have no clue what it is, but I like it. That's what I like about sci-fi. You never know what you're going to find. Dude, check out this portrait of a man with a beard and mustache. It's totally Bob Dylan. Yeah, I love Bob Dylan. Me too, Morty. Me too.
Whoa, Morty, great job on that digital painting. Thanks, Rick. I think I might have taken a cue or two from Taylor Swift. Yeah, she's a good artist. Just look at her outfits. Yeah, you're right. Her outfits always look so colorful and lively. Yeah, I always love her music. It's definitely cool how she can drift between different genres and styles. Yeah, that's definitely true. Thanks for pointing that out, Rick. Ha ha ha, Morty. You kids are so superficial. Taylor Swift isn't even that good an artist. Jerry, stop being such a simple man. You obviously don't know anything about art. Well, what? I know plenty about art. I'm just not as into it as you two are. Yeah, you're right. We're just really into Taylor Swift's music. Yeah, that's cool. I just don't find her style all that appealing. Man, I love science fiction. Yeah, me too. I mean, I guess it's not really sci-fi, but it's still fun. Yeah, I mean, it's not really sci-fi, but it's still fun. Isn't that a picture of two zebras? Yeah, that's right. Isn't that a picture of two zebras? Yeah, that's right. So, Morty, what do you think? It's cool. I love how the zebras are looking up at each other. So, Morty, what do you think? It's cool. I love how the zebras are looking up at each other. Holy crap, that's Zuckerberg. But, uh, where's the red cross on his forehead? I don't know, maybe it's a Futurama reference or something. Yeah, I don't know either. It's just weird. Well, forget about it. We're having more fun talking about our sci-fi adventures than worrying about stupid puns. Rick and what do you think? It's weird, but I like it. Is that a bird? Yeah, it's an eagle. It's fitting for you, Morty. Why is that? Because you're an amazing bird detective like your dad. He's not my dad. Whatever you say, Morty. This is amazing, Morty. It's like a poster of our sci-fi adventures. Yeah, I love it. I can't wait to see what else we can do in space. Yeah, me too, Morty. Me too. Hey Morty, what's up? I'm just analyzing this picture. It's cool. Yeah, I like it too. It's an interesting mix of sci-fi and traditional art. Yeah, I love that mix. Yeah, it's definitely cool. Hey dudes, what's up? Hey Jerry, how's it going? Just chillin' man. What's up with you too? We're just analyzing this picture. It's cool. Yeah, I like it too. It's an interesting mix of sci-fi and traditional art. Yeah, I love that mix. Yeah, it's definitely cool.
That's an amazing painting, Morty. Yeah, it's really beautiful. You know, I always think of him as this peaceful, amazing man. Yeah, I think so too. But sometimes I think about our sci-fi adventures and how badass he must be. Yeah, he's definitely badass. I just think that he would be really happy in our world. Yeah, I think you're right. Dude, that poster is gnarly. Yeah, it's inspired by a scene from Borg, Star Trek. Awesome, I love that show. Yeah, me too. I'm not really into art, but that poster is really cool. Rick and Morty continue their discussion while Jerry just stares at the poster in utter amazement. Oh, that's some cool looking art. Yeah, I think it's really cool how the artist captured the spirit of the show without actually having to see it. Yeah, I think you're right. Sci-fi is all about imagination, you know? Yeah, I guess you're right. This is a Kantar picture of a Terminator 2. Judgment Day the Terminator. Looks like Marcus Wright is up to something evil again. It's not just Wright, every actor in this movie looks uncanny. Wright's role in this movie is a big one. He's the key to the evil plan. So what's the plan? I don't know, but we're going to stop him. Speaking of which, should we call Jerry? Ah, oh, I think he's too simple for this kind of thing. You're probably right. Rick and Morty discuss their favorite sci-fi adventure, a computer-generated image of a group of different things in the air and water, including a clock, a clock, and other things. Dude, this is dope. You think? Yeah, it's really. I don't know, man. It's sick, dude. Less than name greater than. Yeah, I think so too. Hey, thanks for bringing that in. No problem, dude. Yeah, I don't know, man. What do you think? Hey, I'm not sure. I don't know, man. What do you think? Hey, I'm not sure. I don't know, man. Looks like we're gonna be in for some fun after all. Yeah, I can't wait to get started on our next adventure. Hey, I know. Why don't we go watch Mighty Mouse again? I'm sure he'll be as exciting the second time around. He might be, but I'm more excited to explore the cityscape. It looks really cool. Yeah, I bet we'll see some neat stuff. Well, I'm going to take a nap. See you later, kids. Rick and Morty continue their discussion about the cityscape while Jerry takes a nap. That's one scary dude. I would die if I saw that. Holy crap! 
I know, right? I've never been so scared in my life. Somebody's coming. They're coming for us. Oh no. This is a really nice picture. It's got a really colorful background and the guy in it looks really cool. Yeah, he's got a really awesome outfit on. Yeah, I love the color scheme. It's so bright and cheerful. Yeah, it's perfect for a happy and wholesome space like this. I couldn't agree more, Morty. This place is just perfect for happy and wholesome people like us. Hmm, I couldn't agree more, Rick. This place is just perfect for happy and wholesome people like us. This is cool, Morty. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Hmm. I don't know about art. No, I forgot you don't understand it, Jerry. Sigh. I guess I don't really have a lot of interest in it. That's alright, Morty. I still think it's pretty cool. Dude, this is badass. Yeah, I totally agree, Rick. What are you talking about? This is terrible. Jerry, you don't get it, man. This could be the painting of our next big adventure. What are you talking about? This is terrible. I'm telling you, Jerry, this is the painting of our next big adventure. No, Rick, this is terrible. That's amazing Morty, it looks like she's wearing a biryani veil. Yep, I love biryani Rick. It's the perfect meal for a warm day by the fire. I couldn't agree more Morty. Biryani is a classic. Morty, what are you talking about? Biryani is just a dish. Jerry, I like to think of it as an art form. I don't know Morty, I just think it's a dish. Yeah Jerry, I think it's a dish. Man, that's some good sci-fi art. I agree. This is an amazing picture. It's so beautiful. Yeah, I agree. It's stunning. Did you know that this photo is from the first episode of Star Trek? Uh, I didn't know that. That's really interesting. Yeah, it is. And that's also the episode where Tribbles first appeared. What are Tribbles? They're these little creatures that live on the Enterprise. How cool is that? I've always been a big fan of Star Trek. Yeah, me too. I love all the different episodes and everything. I know. Me and you have a lot in common, Morty. Yeah, I think so too. So, what are you working on now, Rick? I'm working on a new sci-fi adventure. That sounds great. I'm sure Morty will love it. Definitely. I can't wait to hear more about it.
Holy crap, Morty, look at this skull. It's amazing. Yeah, it's really cool. What do you think it means? I'm not sure, but I think it could be another sign that our sci-fi adventure is about to start. You're right, Morty. This could be a sign from the universe that everything is about to start getting real. Oh man, I have no idea about art, Rick. I just watch TV and eat pizza all day. Look at that. It's a painting of a man with glasses and a beard and a beard combed and a bun with a Star Trek shirt on. Robert Downey Jr. I love that it's so realistic. You're right Rick, it is a really detailed painting. Hey Morty, what's up? Not much Jerry, just studying for my science test. That sounds like fun. I'm just happy and wholesome like you Morty. Yeah, Jerry seems really happy and wholesome. It's great to see a positive attitude in the world. That's a really good picture Morty, I love it. I know, it's one of my favorites. I'm so happy you like it Morty, it's one of my favorites too. Hey kids, how's it going? Jerry, how are you doing? I'm good, how about you Rick? I'm good Jerry, how about you Morty? I'm good too Jerry, how about you Rick? I'm good Morty, how about you Jerry? I'm good, how about you Rick? I'm good Jerry. How about you Morty? I'm good Jerry, how about you Rick? I'm good Morty, how about you Jerry? I'm good, how about you Rick? I'm good Morty, how about you Jerry? The conversation goes back and forth like this without any conclusion until Hey Jerry, I was thinking we should make a sci-fi episode. Wait what, why? Because I think it would be really great and Morty would love it. Okay I guess. Great. I'll start planning it right away. Morty is peacefully sleeping in his bed while Rick and Jerry are talking in the living room. So what do you think about this sci-fi idea Rick? I think it would be great Jerry, but I'm not sure Morty would like it. What do you think Morty? I don't know Jerry, it sounds like it would be really cool, but I don't know if I would like it. Well we'll have to see Morty, I'm sure we can find a way to make it work. Yeah I think so too Jerry. Well I'll see you two later, I have to go to work. Rick and Morty are in a spaceship fighting aliens while also talking about their sci-fi adventures. A man in a Superman suit flying in front of a yellow sun. Superman, make a five lines discussion formatted like this. Less than name greater than, less than text greater than. Format the text like this. Less than name greater than, less than text greater than. Hey brain, we're in space fighting aliens. This is totally sci-fi Jerry, you're not dreaming. Yeah I know, it's so cool. Alright, let's keep fighting. Yeah that sounds good. Rick and Morty are in a spaceship fighting aliens while also talking about their sci-fi adventures. A man in a Superman suit fighting aliens, Superman, make a three lines discussion formatted like this. Less than name greater than, less than text greater than. Format the text like this. Less than name greater than, less than text greater than. Hey brain, we're in space fighting aliens. This is totally sci-fi Jerry, you're not dreaming. Yeah I know, it's so cool. This looks like some sort of space art. Looks like somebody's got a pretty cool taste in art. Art? What's that? It's something people make to express themselves. I bet it's tough to be an artist, huh Jerry? Not at all. 
I'm a simple man, with no clue about art. You're not understanding it correctly, Morty. Yeah, I get it. Space art is cool and all, but I'm more of an Earth guy. We'll just have to take you on some adventures then, Jerry. Yeah, I'm game. This is a cool picture, Jerry. Yeah, it's pretty peaceful. I like how it's colorful and all. Yeah, it's a really peaceful city. Dude, you're like a kid in a candy store. Yeah, I'm really happy with this picture, Jerry. You know, Morty, this picture looks a lot like your dad. What do you mean? Well, his hair is kind of like that weird guy's, and his city is just like the one in the picture. Wait, what do you mean my dad? I mean your dad, Morty. Your dad is a simple man, just like me. He doesn't understand art. Yeah, I love simplicity, Jerry. That's a really cool picture. Yeah, I love it. What do you think it could be a symbol of? I don't know, but it's really cool. It could be a symbol for any number of things. Yeah, I guess. It definitely is some kind of art. Art, huh? I had no idea that was what it was. Yeah, I don't either. Oh, well, I guess I should probably explain it to you then, Jerry. Okay, I'm interested. So. This picture is a painting by Chucky e. Finster. Huh, I've never heard of him. He's a little artist, I think. That's cool. What kind of art does he do? He mostly does abstract paintings, I think. I see. But I really love this one. Yeah, it's really cool. Rick and Morty continue to talk about the picture while Jerry just sits there, bewildered. This is a great poster. It's got a great mix of alien and terrestrial creatures. Yeah, it's a great image. I love the way the alien head dominates the background. Yeah, it's a really cool poster. I love the composition. Yeah, I think it's a great representation of Elliot's work. Elliot is an amazing artist and this poster is a great example of his work. What a beautiful sight. I can't wait to explore more of this world. Yeah, I can't wait to see what we find next. Oh, I don't know, Morty. I just don't think that art is all that important. Jerry, you're an idiot. Art is crucial to understanding the world and our place in it. Oh, I see. Well, I guess I'm just not very cultured. He's right, Jerry. Art is a very important part of life. Yeah, I guess you're right. And that's some next level sci-fi stuff, Morty. Yeah, I can't wait to see what else Rick comes up with. So what are you guys doing tomorrow? Oh, just hanging out, Morty. You want to come over and watch some movies? Yeah, sure, Rick. I'd love to. All right, well, I'll see you boys tomorrow. Jerry, we're just going to watch some movies with Morty. All right, see you tomorrow then.
This is a Rick and Morty sci-fi episode. Rick is happy and wholesome. Morty is happy and wholesome. Everyone has a positive vibe. Jerry is Morty's dad and he's a simple man with no clue about art. They are from the show Rick and Morty, you have to use their personality and the way they talk in the show. Here is the conversation. Less than name greater than, this is a great picture. Less than name greater than, what's the design of the outfit? It's a futuristic outfit. I like the background with all the neon lights. The woman in the picture looks like a sci-fi star. She probably is. I can't wait to see more futuristic pictures like this. Me too, Morty. You know, Jerry, I'm not much of an art guy, but this picture seems really cool to me. Totally. I wouldn't know what to make of it, but it's got my vote. Rick and Morty are happy and positive in this sci-fi episode. Whoa, Morty, look at that picture. It's amazing. Yeah, it's really cool. I love the way the colors look. Yeah, it's really vibrant. And the mouth is so big. Yeah, it's really awesome. I can't believe this is a computer-generated image. Yeah, it's really cool. It's like we're looking into someone's soul. Yeah, it's really amazing. What do you think, Jerry? Huh. Oh, I don't know. I mean, it's nice, I guess. Jerry, come on, don't you think it's amazing? Yeah, I guess so. Dude, this is some next level sci-fi art. Yeah, it's totally amazing. I love everything about it. Simply, what does it look like? It looks like somebody took a picture of a space scene. Yeah, I love the colors. They're so eye-catching. Yeah, I think they did a great job with the colors. Simply, I see. Wow, that's a really detailed painting. It looks like it could be a really interesting scene in a sci-fi movie. Yeah, I agree, Rick. It could be a great setting for a scene in a movie. Wow, Morty, that's a really good description of the painting. You're really good at describing things. Thanks, Jerry. I just pay attention to detail. Yeah, Morty is really good at describing things. I think it's because he pays attention to detail in all his sci-fi adventures. I don't know about that. I think it's because he just pays attention to detail in everything. You guys are both right. I think it's a skill that you learn when you're a sci-fi fan. Do you think so? Yeah, I do. It's something that you need to be able to do to enjoy the genre. I think so too, Morty. This is a great picture. Yeah, it's really cool. What do you think it means? I have no idea, but it's cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Look at the reflections. They're so cool. Yeah, it's amazing. It's kinda trippy. This is an incredible painting, Morty. Yeah, it's amazing, Rick. Is this a spaceship, Rick? Oh, Jerry, 
This is a painting of an alien. Oh, I see. This painting is really cool, Morty. I love the way the artist painted the alien's eyes. They look really strange. Dude, check out that sky. It's so beautiful. Yeah, it's like a painting. Hey Morty, want to see my latest painting? Sure, Jerry. This is a great picture, Morty. It's an excellent example of sci-fi art. Yeah, Rick, it really captures the essence of the genre. Absolutely, Morty. It's amazing how much detail you can include it in a picture like this and still make it look appealing. Hey, Rick. What are you talking about? This picture doesn't look anything like sci-fi. Jerry, I've been explaining to Morty how great sci-fi art is for years now. This picture is a perfect example of it. I don't know, Rick. I don't think I've ever seen art like this before. Jerry, this is sci-fi art. You have to learn to appreciate it. Hey Morty, check out this cool picture of our favorite cartoon character, Tommy Pickles. He's got a big smile on his face and a blue overalls and a pink shirt with a yellow tie. It's just so cool to look at. Yeah, totally Rick. He's such a happy cartoon character, it's amazing. Yeah, I think you're right Morty. He's just so happy all the time. It's really inspiring. Hey Morty, why don't you give Tommy Pickles a hug? Huh? You know, like a little handshake. To symbolize our appreciation of his positive vibes. I don't know Jerry, I'm not really sure what you mean. What do you mean Morty? Didn't you love hugging Tommy Pickles in the show? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I definitely did. He was always so happy and over the top cheerful. It was really great to see. Yeah, I know. He was just a simple cartoon character with no clue about art. But that didn't stop Morty from loving him and giving him lots of hugs. Yeah, that's true Jerry. Tommy Pickles was just a fun character to love and appreciate. You know, Morty. I don't think I would have enjoyed hugging Tommy Pickles as much as you did. I'm not sure if I'm cut out for art. I guess that's something we'll have to explore together one day. Yeah Jerry, I think you're right. We should definitely explore art together one day. It'll be fun. Less than name greater than, less than text greater than. Format the text like this. Less than name greater than, less than text greater than. Hey Morty, check out this cool picture of our favorite cartoon character, Tommy Pickles. He's got a big smile on his face and a blue overalls and a pink shirt with a yellow tie. It's just so cool to look at. Yeah, totally Rick. He's such a happy cartoon character, it's amazing. Yeah. I think you're right Morty. He's just so happy all the time. It's really inspiring. Hey Morty, why don't you give Tommy Pickles a hug? Huh? You know, like a little handshake. To symbolize our appreciation of his positive vibes. I don't know Jerry, I'm not really sure what you mean. What do you mean Morty? Didn't you love hugging Tommy Pickles in the show? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I definitely did. He was always so happy and over the top cheerful. It was really great to see. Yeah, I know. He was just a simple cartoon character with no clue about art. But that didn't stop Morty from loving him and giving him lots of hugs. Yeah, that's true Jerry. Tommy Pickles was just a fun character to love and appreciate. You know, Morty. I don't think I would have enjoyed hugging Tommy Pickles as much as you did. 
I'm not sure if I'm cut out for art. I guess that's something we'll have to explore together one day. Yeah, Jerry, I think you're right. We should definitely explore art together one day. It'll be fun. This is great, Morty. I can't wait to see what you come up with next. I'm excited too, Rick. I've been thinking a lot about our sci-fi adventures lately. I know, buddy. We've been working on a lot of new ideas. Hey, Rick. Do you want to add some paint to this picture? Jerry, I'm busy analyzing this picture, Morty. Can you paint it for me? Sure thing, Rick. Rick and Morty are analyzing in details a picture with this description while also talking about their sci-fi adventures. A painting of a woman with a skull on her head and a plate of food in her hands with a skull on her head. Sushi, Rick and Morty are happy and wholesome. Everyone has a positive vibe. Looks like a good picture, Morty. It reminds me of our sci-fi adventures. Yeah, I love our sci-fi adventures, Rick. They're always so fun. Yeah, they are. I'm really happy and wholesome here, Morty. You are, Rick. You always are. Everyone has a positive vibe in this scene. Jerry is Morty's dad and he's a simple man with no clue about art. Hmm, interesting picture. Yeah, I really like the way the composition is set up. Yeah, I'm happy you like it. It's a really good representation of our sci-fi adventures. Yeah, I know. I can't wait to see what else we can do with our sci-fi adventures. Yeah, I'm excited too. What are you guys talking about? Oh, nothing. Just some sci-fi stuff. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to bed. Good night. Good night, Jerry. Good night, Jerry. Have a good night, Jerry. Good night, Rick. Holy crap. That's some legit sci-fi shit right there, Morty. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. And I'm so happy and wholesome Rick is just beaming with happiness while Morty is just being a total happy-go-lucky idiot like always. Hee <laughs> hee. Well, Rick and Morty are just like all the other happy and wholesome people in the world. Jerry couldn't care less about art. He's just a simple man who loves spending time with his family. That's really good, Morty. You should really try to get into drawing. Yeah, I know, but I'm not sure I want to be an artist. Well, there are plenty of other professions you could pursue. What about a scientist? Ah, oh, no way. I don't want to be a scientist. Okay, how about a mathematician? Ah, oh, no way. I don't want to be a mathematician. Okay, well how about a detective? Ah, oh, no way. I don't want to be a detective. Hey, come on, what about a space explorer? Ah, oh, no way, I don't want to be a space explorer. It's okay, Morty, you can be anything you want to be. I don't know, Rick, I just don't think I want to be an artist.
Holy crap, Morty, that's amazing. Yeah, I think so too, Rick. It's a great picture. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Suddenly appearing, what are you guys talking about? We're just analyzing this amazing picture, Jerry. Suddenly appearing, what are you guys talking about? We're just analyzing this amazing picture, Jerry. Suddenly appearing, what are you guys talking about? We were just discussing how beautiful this picture is, Jerry. Suddenly appearing, ah, uh, okay. Bye. Rick and bye, Jerry. Look at that sunset, it's so beautiful. Yeah, I couldn't agree more Rick. It's so peaceful and relaxing. You know, I sometimes think about our sci-fi adventures and the things we've done. It's all so fun and so exciting. Yeah, I can't imagine not having those adventures with you Rick, they're just too much fun. And I think about the friends I've made along the way. Everyone is just so positive and happy, it's truly inspiring. Yeah, I couldn't agree more Rick. Everyone is just so happy and wholesome in our world. I love it. You're right Morty, I'm glad we live in a world like that. I can't imagine living in a world where anything is negative or depressing. Yeah, I couldn't agree more Rick. It's just so refreshing and empowering to be happy and positive all the time. Man, this image is incredible. I'm so happy we got to see it. Yeah, it's really scenic. Nice job, Morty. You did a great job analyzing that picture. You're such a dad. Thanks, Jerry. Yep, we just love spending time with each other. It's so wholesome. Haha, ha, that's true. This is a great picture. What is it? It's a scene from a sci-fi adventure we were recently in. How was the adventure? It was great. We fought aliens and overcame many challenges. Cool. What kind of aliens were you fighting? We fought a fish-tailed woman. I didn't know they existed in sci-fi. I love that you found this picture and brought it to our attention. It's a great scene that captures the adventure perfectly. Yeah, it did a great job of capturing the excitement of the adventure. This is so beautiful Morty, it's like a painting. Yeah, I think it's really inspiring. No, I don't. Jerry, it's a painting. Yeah well, I don't know about that. Come on Jerry, it's a masterpiece. It's just, then not my type. What's your type Jerry? I don't know, I guess something abstract or something. Ordy, do you have any ideas? Yeah, I think Jerry might be right. What do you think Jerry? I don't know, I don't really understand art. Well, I'm going to take the painting home and maybe we can talk about it some more later. Sounds like a good plan, Rick. Whoa. That's some badass space shit right there. Yeah, man. I could totally see myself up in space, doing some hero shit. Yeah, I feel you Morty. Space is the ultimate adventure. 
Hey Morty, your dad likes space too, right? Yeah, Jerry. He's always talking about how much he'd love to go to space. Huh. I never knew that. I can't say I'm all that familiar with art, but I know I don't know anything about space. Jerry, you're a dummy. You don't have to know about art to appreciate space. Just look at that picture. It's beautiful. Oh, I see. Well, I'm glad you think so, Rick. Yeah, Morty, I really do. So, what do you think about that? Well, I think it's amazing. It's like a painting, only in space. Yeah, Morty, I totally get what you mean. That's why I love space so much, because it's like a place where you can see amazing things like that. Hmm. I guess that's true. I never really thought of it that way. Dude, this is perfect for the movie theater. Yeah, totally. I can't wait to see it. You see any good films lately, Morty? Not really, not really. I've been a little too busy with school and, you know, Rick and I have been working on some sci-fi adventures. Oh, I see. I've never been big on sci-fi myself, but I'm sure it's got its place. I've never seen a Scooby-Doo movie, Morty. What are your thoughts? I don't know, I think they're pretty dumb. That's definitely a space station. What do you think it is? Eh, I don't know. It looks like something from a sci-fi movie. Now that you mention it, it does look like something from a movie. I love sci-fi movies. Yeah, me too. I can't wait to go see one when we get back home. I agree. I'm excited to see what kind of movie it is. Well, we'll just have to wait and see I guess. Yep. I guess that's the thing about movies. You never know what you're going to get. That's the best part. This is an amazing picture. It's so detailed. Yeah, I love the lightsaber. It's so cool. Yeah, I was really happy to get it. It's one of my favorite pictures. Yeah, I know. It's so cool. So, what do you think about the sci-fi adventure we were on? It was really fun. We went to this planet and we fought these aliens. Yeah, I thought it was great. And then we saved the day and everything was okay. Yeah. It was great. We had a lot of fun. Yeah, we did. Look at that. Another kissing scene in a sci-fi movie. What's with all the love in the 21st century? I guess people just want to feel happy and love. Isn't love just a placebo? I guess so. But it's still a powerful force, isn't it Morty? Yeah, I guess. You two always seem so happy. Hey Jerry, you don't get it do you? We're just in a good mood because we're watching Rick and Morty. Oh. Rick and Morty continue to watch the kissing scene while talking about their love for each other. This is fantastic. We should pitch it to the network. I agree. They would love this kind of imagery in their shows. I don't even know what that is supposed to be, Morty. 
It's a dragon, Jerry. Dragons are cool. Yeah, Morty's right. They are really cool. Sai, I guess I'm just not into art, then. Don't worry, Jerry. We can still have a lot of fun exploring the galaxy without your input. That's true, Rick. Thanks for understanding. Rick and Morty are analyzing in details a picture with this description while also talking about their sci-fi adventures. A man with a tie and a suit on is looking at the camera with a smirk on his face, Elon Musk. That's one of my favorite pictures of him. He's so cool. Yeah, he is. He's a genius, that guy. Yeah, I definitely think so. You know, I always imagined him being in some kind of sci-fi adventure. Yeah, same. I think he looks like he's having a lot of fun in the picture. Yeah, I think you're right. He definitely seems like a fun guy. Yeah, I really like how he's looking at the camera. It's kind of like he's looking into your soul or something. You're right, Morty. He really has a something about him. Yeah, I really like that picture. I think it's cool that you can see the different sides to him in it. This is great, Morty. Our art is finally being appreciated. I'm so happy. Yeah, I just love painting and sculpture. It's so peaceful and calming. I'm happy for you guys. But I still can't understand why people like art. It's just stuff, after all. Jerry, you're missing out. Art is so much more than just stuff. It can be beautiful and cerebral. I guess. I just don't see what the big deal is. Less than name greater than. Yeah, I just love painting and sculpture. It's so peaceful and calming. I'm happy for you guys. But I still can't understand why people like art. It's just stuff, after all. This is a great picture, Morty. It captures the feeling of the ocean beautifully. Yeah, I love the color scheme in it. It's so bright and cheerful. Yeah, it's definitely a great picture. I'm happy it turned out well. Yeah, I'm happy too, Rick. Hmm. I don't know about art, Rick. I just don't understand it. Jerry, don't be so ignorant. Art is a very complex subject. Oh, I see. Well, I still don't know what it is all about. Oh, that's okay, Jerry. You don't need to understand art to appreciate it. That's true. Less than, name greater than. This is a great picture, Morty. It captures the feeling of the ocean beautifully. Less than, name greater than. Yeah, I love the color scheme in it. It's so bright and cheerful. Less than, name greater than. Yeah, it's definitely a great picture. I'm happy it turned out well. Less than name greater than. Yeah, I'm happy too, Rick. Less than name greater than. Hmm, I don't know about art, Rick. I just don't understand it. Less than name greater than. Jerry, don't be so ignorant. Art is a very complex subject. Less than name greater than. Oh, I see. Well, I still don't know what it is all about. Less than name greater than. Well, that's okay, Jerry. You don't need to understand art to appreciate it. Less than name greater than, that's true. One, the painting is really cool. Two, we should look into it more. 3. 
I wonder what it means. 4. It's eerie and strange. 5. It definitely stands out from the other art in the museum. 6. I can see why Rick was so interested in it. 7. It's definitely worth a look. 8. I'm tempted to buy it. 9. I wish we had more time to spend in the museum. 10. It's definitely a piece we need to add to our collection. This is a really good picture, Morty. I really like the coloring and the composition. Yeah, it's good, Rick. I like the way the light hits the subject's face. Yeah, I like the way the colors contrast each other. Yeah, these are really good, Morty. Thanks, Rick. I really like painting, too. That's great, Morty. I'm glad you like it. Oh my god, it's Michael Jackson. He's probably the best musician ever. Dude, that's an awesome picture. He was an amazing performer. Yeah, he was really versatile. He could do different styles really well. You're really into this music, huh Rick? Yeah, I just think it's really amazing how he could change his sound and music so easily. He was a true innovator. This is a great picture, Morty. I can't believe we got it. Yeah, it was a good catch, Rick. Yeah, this is a great picture, Morty. I can't believe we got it. Yeah, it was a good catch, Rick. Oh, I see what you mean, Rick. It does have a strange look to it. Yeah, Jerry, it does have a strange look to it. I don't know about art, Rick, but I'm sure that's a great picture. Jerry, I don't know about art, Rick, but I'm sure that's a great picture. Well, I'm just a simple man, Morty. I don't know much about art. That's a really good painting, Morty. Yeah, I think so, too. I like the way it's colorful and has a lot of detail. Yeah, it's beautiful. Hey, look at this, Morty. What's up, Jerry? I think this is a great painting, Morty. You do? Yeah, it's really colorful and has a lot of detail. You think so? Yeah, I think so. Look at that, Morty. It's a real beauty. Yeah, it's totally unreal. Yeah, I can't wait to get my hands on a copy. Yeah, I'm sure it's going to be really expensive. Well, if we can't afford it, maybe we can rent it or something. Yeah, I guess that's possible. In the meantime, we can try and illuminate some of those stars with our light beam. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. I'm really happy with this picture, Morty. Me too, Rick. Me too.
Aha, look at Morty with that Bugs Bunny suit on. It fits him so well. Yeah, I love how goofy he looks in it. Yeah, I love how goofy he looks in it. Hmm, I don't know about all this science fiction stuff. Jerry, don't you know anything about art? Nah, I don't know about all this science fiction stuff. Jerry, don't you know anything about art? Nah, I don't know about all this science fiction stuff. Rick and Haha, -ha, look at Morty with that Bugs Bunny suit on. It fits him so well. Bugs Bunny, hey. I'm Bugs Bunny. Haha, -ha, look at Morty with that Bugs Bunny suit on. It fits him so well. Yeah, I love how goofy he looks in it. Yeah, I love how goofy he looks in it. Hmm, I don't know about all this science fiction stuff. Bugs Bunny. What you know, Jerry? Nothing, I don't know about all this science fiction stuff. Rick and Haha, -ha, look at Morty with that Bugs Bunny suit on. It fits him so well. Ha ha, Morty, I love that picture. I always forget how much Janet Jackson rocks. Yeah, she's always been one of my favorite singers. Totally, she's always been so full of energy. He, he, he. I have no idea what you're talking about. Is that a picture of Janet Jackson or something? Yeah, it is. Oh, I see. Sorry, I just don't get art. Don't worry, Jerry, you'll grow into it. Yeah, yeah sure. Rick and Morty look at the painting and are in awe. They talk about their favorite parts of the painting and what they think happens next in their sci-fi adventure. I love how the woman is feeling so confident and in control with her outfit. Yeah, I agree, she looks like she could take on the world. Maybe she's leading a rebellion against the government or something. Maybe, or she could be living a peaceful and happy life. Yeah, I think she could do either one. Hmm, I don't know about this painting, I don't think it has anything to do with sci-fi. Rick and Morty turn to look at Jerry and are surprised by his response. Jerry, did you not like the painting? No, I like it, I just don't think it has anything to do with sci-fi. Uh, okay. Rick and Morty turn back to the painting and continue to discuss their favorite parts. Look at that cute dog. That's so cute. I love dogs. Yeah, they're pretty cool. What are you guys talking about? Oh, just talking about our sci-fi adventures. Oh, okay. I'm sorry if I missed something. No problem, Jerry. You're just a simple man with no clue about art. What do you mean? Well, I mean that you don't really understand the significance of art. I think I understand what you're saying. You really don't understand, do you Jerry? Art is about expressing oneself and bringing beauty into the world. I think you're overreacting a little bit. Maybe you're right, Jerry. But that doesn't mean that art isn't important. It's just that you don't understand it the way that I do. Well, I guess that's something that we'll have to agree to disagree on. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Well, I think that art is really cool. Yeah, I think so too. Well, I guess that's all for now. Thanks for coming by, Rick and Morty. No problem, Jerry. See you later. Later, Jerry.
This is awesome, Morty. Yeah, I love it. What do you think it says? I'm not sure, but it looks like a happy dog or something. I think it's from a sci-fi story. Yeah, I think you're right. It reminds me of when we were on our sci-fi adventure and we fought that giant alien. Yeah, I remember that. Anyway, I guess it's just a coincidence, but it's still a cool picture. Yeah, I think so too. This is amazing, Morty. Yeah, I love it. What do you think it means? I don't know, but it's pretty cool. I guess you're right. Hey guys, what's going on? Jerry, this is amazing, Morty. Yeah, I love it. What do you think it means? I don't know, but it's pretty cool. I guess you're right. Oh, that's a really cool picture. What does it mean? I don't know, it's just cool. Do you think it has something to do with the dog's collar? Hmm, I don't know. It could. What do you think, Jerry? Well, I don't know. I just think it's a really nice picture. Yeah, I think you're right, Jerry. It's a really nice picture. Damn, that man looks fierce. I couldn't agree more, Rick. He's got a really strong appearance. Yeah, I can see why he'd be popular with the ladies. And he's got some really unique tattoos. He really stands out from the crowd, doesn't he? Yeah, I can see why Rick would be interested in him. He's definitely a cool dude. Hey Morty, what do you think of that guy? He's pretty neat, Jerry. He has some great tattoos and an interesting appearance. Well, I guess that's all that matters, right Morty? Yeah, Jerry's right. He's a cool guy and I'd love to meet him. Less than Rick greater than. Dang, he looks pretty tough. Less than Morty greater than. Yeah, he's definitely got some presence. Less than Rick greater than. He's definitely one of the more interesting looking dudes in the picture. Less than Jerry greater than. Excellent, Morty. You're hypercritical and observant just like your dad. Yeah, Jerry's right. He's a cool dude and I'd love to meet him. This is amazing, Morty. We need to get this on canvas. Yeah, I know. It would look so good in our living room. Who's the artist? Uh, I don't know, Jerry. It's just a digital painting. No, I meant the artist. I don't know, Jerry. It's just a digital painting. No, I meant the artist. I think it's by a guy named Paul. What's his Twitter? I don't know. I'm not really into social media. Okay, well I'll just go look then. Rick and Morty look at each other with a confused expression before turning back to the painting. Why does Jerry want to know the artist's Twitter? I don't know Morty, it's just a painting. Yeah, I know but why does Jerry care? I don't know Morty, it's just a painting. Yeah, it's one of those mind-bending sci-fi things. Yeah, I always love those. Yeah, 
I've never seen anything like it. Sci-fi is the best. Man, that Picard is tough. Yeah, he's got that whole captain thing going on. And that beard. I could never get that beard down. I don't know, Morty. He's just epic. Hey, do you think I could try that beard? Oh, Jerry, you can't go around trying to be like Captain Picard. Yeah, but that's what makes him so great. Yeah, I guess you could try it. But, Morty, maybe you could take a picture and put it on the refrigerator. No problem, Rick. This is pretty cool. I love the juxtaposition of the two characters. Yeah, definitely. It's a really great look for the series. Yeah, I think we should do something like that in one of our stories. Yeah, I think that would be a really great idea. Yeah, definitely. What are you two talking about? We're just talking about our sci-fi adventures. Oh, okay. I'm sorry I don't understand art. What do you think? It's amazing! The painting is so detailed! Yeah, I love it. It's one of my favorite paintings. Yeah, I can see why you'd love it. The colors are so bright and vibrant. Yeah, they are, and the painting is just so aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, I love how it looks! Yeah, I can see why it would be a favorite of yours. Yeah, I just love the whole look of it. I can't believe it's Elton John! How cool is that? He's one of my favorite artists. I always enjoy looking at his work. Yeah, I love his music too. Yeah, I really enjoy his music. He's got such a unique style. Yeah, I've always enjoyed his music. He's one of those artists that's always been around, no matter what genre of music he's worked in. Yeah, that's true. He's been around for a long time and he's still making great music. That's true. He's a true artist. Yeah, he's definitely an artist worth following. Yeah, he's definitely an artist worth knowing. That's a neat picture, Morty. Yeah, it's interesting. I love science fiction, Rick. Yeah, me too, Rick. It's such an amazing world to explore. Yeah, it's so cool. Haha, <laughs> I've never even seen that show, Rick. Oh, it's a great show, Jerry. Yeah, I love it. So what's the deal with the guy in the suit and hat, Morty? Oh, that's Rick in a sci-fi adventure. Yeah, I play the role of a space traveler in one of our episodes. Huh. Cool. Yeah, I love watching Rick and him go on these adventures. Haha. Ha. I really don't get art, Rick. What's the big deal? Jerry, it's so important to know how to use your creative talents to share your feelings with the world. Yeah, I totally agree with Rick. Haha. Ha. I have to get back to work. Alright, Jerry, have fun. Yeah, bye Rick and Morty. This is a really cool picture. It's like a painting of a real-life cyborg. I love how it's so realistic looking. What the heck is that thing on his face? I don't know, 
but I would love to find out. I'm with Rick on this one, Jerry. We have to find out what that thing is. All right, I'll see what I can find out. What kind of animal is it? I don't know, it's got spikes on its head and eyes. It's a weirdo. Yeah, it's kind of freaky. So it's a mutant, right? Looks like it. What do you think it is? I have no idea, but it's pretty weird. This is a great picture Morty. Our adventures are always so fun and we always have a great time together. Yeah, I can't wait to go on more adventures with you Rick. Hey Morty, what's up? I'm Jerry, your dad. I don't really know anything about art, but I'm just glad you guys are happy. Yeah, I love hanging out with Rick and he always makes me so happy. Wow, that's a pretty amazing sculpture. Who made it? I don't know, but it looks amazing. I agree, Morty. It's really impressive. Seriously, Morty, you have to visit this sculpture when you get a chance. It's really breathtaking. I will, Rick, I promise. Good, I'm glad you're excited about it. We should go talk to the artist sometime. I don't know if I should go, Morty. I'm not very good at art. Jerry, you don't need to do anything. I'll go talk to the artist, and you can just sit here and enjoy the scenery. Okay, Morty, I'll try and enjoy the scenery. This is sick. It's good. Yeah, it's really good. I love it. Me too. Damn that's some seriously gorgeous scenery Morty. Yeah, I agree Rick. It's a shame no one appreciates art like we do. It's a shame there are so many idiots in the world. What do you mean by that Morty? I mean, there's this guy that I know, his name is Jerry. He's a simple man without a clue about art. He's probably never even seen a painting like this before. Well, Jerry's a long way from being an idiot Morty. He's a good guy. Yeah, I guess you're right Rick. But at the same time, there's something really refreshing about being around people who appreciate what we do. I completely agree, Morty. Rick, this is good. We'll use this for our next sci-fi adventure. Morty. Yeah, it's perfect. Jerry. What are you talking about? Rick. Jerry, we're going to use this picture for our next sci-fi adventure. Jerry. What sci-fi adventure? Rick. We're going to use it for our next scene. Morty. Yeah, it's perfect. Jerry. What scene? Rick. We're going to use it for our next scene in our next sci-fi adventure. Jerry, what sci-fi adventure? Rick, we're going to use it for our next scene in our next sci-fi adventure. Jerry, what sci-fi adventure? 
Rick. We're going to use it for our next scene in our next sci-fi adventure. Jerry, what sci-fi adventure? Morty, we're going to use it for our next scene in our next sci-fi adventure. Jerry, what sci-fi adventure? Who's that? I don't know, it's just some weird ass picture. Yeah, it's a bit weird. Nice picture. Those earrings are beautiful. Yeah, they're really nice. I love Adele's music. I agree. She's an amazing singer. Is she any good? Yeah, she's really good. I've seen her perform a few times. Cool. It's a crazy picture, Morty. Yeah, it's kind of like a painting or something. I wonder what it says. I don't know, it's in a foreign language or something. I don't think we should try to figure it out. Why not? It might be interesting. We can think about it later. Alright, but we should at least look at the other stuff in the picture. Yeah, I think you're right. They continue looking at the picture and discussing it while also talking about sci-fi adventures they've been on. Oh, man, Morty, I had the best time on our last mission. Yeah, it was crazy. We were fighting these aliens and then we got attacked by this giant creature. That sounds pretty intense. It was, but we survived and now we're back home safe and sound. That's great, Morty. They continue talking while also looking at the other pictures in the painting. Hey, did you see that poster over there? Yeah, it's cute. Who's the artist? I don't know, it's some guy named Kendall Lammer. Well, he's talented. Yeah, I think so too. They continue talking about the pictures and their adventures until they finish analyzing the whole picture. Man, I can't believe we missed that. What do you mean? The painting over there, it's signed by Kendall Lammer. What, really? Yeah, I recognize the name. He's an artist I've been following for a while. That's so cool. I love art, you know. Yeah, I know you do. They continue talking about their favorite artists and their favorite paintings until they finish looking at the whole painting. OMG, this is so great. Look at the detail on the dog's collar. Yeah, I love the way it looks like it's jumping out of the picture. And the helmet, it's so detailed. It really makes the dog look like it's ready for action. Yeah, I love that. So how was your day today, Morty? It was good. I ended up working on a new painting all day. That's great. What did you end up painting? I painted a dog with a purple collar and a helmet on its head. That's amazing. I love it. Thanks, Rick. No problem, Morty. I'm glad you like it. This is the best picture I've ever seen, Morty. You're right, Rick, it is.
This creature is amazing. What does it remind you of? I don't know, it's just really cool and I love the colors. What's it from? It's from the Predator franchise. What's that? It's a movie series about a creature that hunts other creatures. Cool. What's the latest one out? I haven't seen the latest one, but I remember the first one was really good. Yeah, I loved it. So do I, Morty. So do I. Dude, this picture is awesome. It's got everything you need for a great sci-fi episode. A dog looking at a cat in a mirror with a space background and a planet in the background with a pink ball. Oh my god, Rick, that's so cool. What kind of a dog is it? I have no idea, Morty. But it looks like a really cool dog. What is that planet, Morty? I don't know, Jerry. It's a pink ball. Yeah. That planet looks really cool, Morty. It's got this pink color going on. I see what you mean, Rick. It does look pretty pink. That looks like a really cool painting, Morty. It's definitely something I'd want to add to my collection. Yeah, it's really good. I think it would look great in my bedroom. Yeah, I think you're right. It would be a perfect addition. Whoa, Morty, what are you doing with those crab cakes? I'm going to eat them, Jerry. They're delicious. Oh, okay. I didn't know you ate crab cakes. I know, it's weird, right? But they're really good. Morty. Why are you eating crab cakes? They're delicious, Rick. I just love crab cakes. Yeah, I can see that. They do look delicious. You okay, Morty? You seem a little feverish. I'm fine, Jerry. I just love crab cakes. <laughs> Woof. Wait, what? Woof. 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 I'm really happy with the way this picture turned out Morty. It's just the perfect mix of sci-fi and fantasy. Yeah, I think it captures the essence of our adventures perfectly. I love that it has a leopard on it. It's such a majestic animal. It's definitely inspired by some of the classic sci-fi stories, like those Leopard Man movies. Yeah, I've never seen those. What are they about? They're about a guy who turns into a leopard and sometimes he has to fight other creatures like jaguars or lions. I'm not sure I understand the appeal of that genre. It's really well done, and I think it has a great sense of humor. I know, I love that it's funny without being over the top. Plus, it's just cool to see a picture of a leopard in a sci-fi setting. Yeah, I can see how that would appeal to you kids. But don't you think it's a bit on the violent side? I don't think so, Jerry. In fact, I think it could be used as a propaganda poster for the Leopard Man movement. Oh, I see. Well, I'm sure the kids at school would love that. Yeah, I'm sure they would.
Later, while they're sleeping, a mysterious entity comes to life and begins hunting them down, killing all the other creatures in the poster and claiming their bodies as its own. Ordi, wake up. There's something seriously wrong with our room. What do you mean? I can't explain it, but the posters are all torn down and the mysterious creature is attacking us. What do we do? I don't know, we've gotta run. Rick and Morty try to get away from the creature, but it catches up to them and kills them. As their bodies lay dead on the ground, their spirits rise up into the air and join the leopard man in his fight against the evil entity. In the end, the entity is defeated and the poster is restored to its former glory. So this is a picture of the Martian Manhunter from DC Comics. It looks like he's about to fight some aliens. Aliens? Cool! What kind of aliens is he fighting? I don't know. It's unclear from the picture. So what's the story behind this picture? I don't know. I only saw the picture online. Well, that's cool. I like finding out about the story behind the pictures I look at. Thanks for showing me this picture, Rick. No problem, Morty. Example. How's the pictures? Pretty good. The brown and white dog is cool because it's an example of something that's in between two colors. Yeah, I like that too. Rick and Morty are talking about their latest sci-fi adventure. So, Morty, I just realized, we can totally make this work. I mean, space is huge, and there's limitless possibilities for adventures. Yeah, I feel the same. I can't wait to see what comes next. Hmm. Well, I'm sure Rick and Morty will figure something out. They always seem to do the impossible. Rick and Morty are talking about their latest sci-fi adventure. So, Morty, I just realized, we can totally make this work. I mean, space is huge, and there's limitless possibilities for adventures. Yeah, I feel the same. I can't wait to see what comes next. This is a great pick. It's like a scene from one of our sci-fi adventures. Yeah, I love it. It's so vibrant and colorful. Yeah, it looks like some kind of burger from outer space. So Rick, do you like burgers? Well, Jerry, I love burgers. But I also love sci-fi adventures. So I think they're great together. Huh, I never thought of it that way. Yeah, I think that's what makes burgers so great. They're a perfect mix of two things that we love. That's true. I never really thought about it that way. This is one of my favorite paintings. It's so intricate and beautiful. I love it. What is it called? It's called The Ecstasy of St. Teresa. It was painted over 500 years ago. 500 years ago? Isn't that kind of old? Yeah, but it's still very beautiful. I don't know. It just seems kind of outdated to me. What about you, Jerry? What do you think? I think it's amazing. It's one of my favorite paintings. Yeah. I think you're right Jerry, 
It's a really beautiful painting. Really cool picture, Morty. What's the story behind it? It's a picture of me and my dragon from my sci-fi adventure. You're a sci-fi adventurer, Morty? Cool. What kind of adventures have you been on? I mainly just do cool adventures with my dragon, but I've also done some other adventures as well. That sounds really cool, Morty. Tell me more about it. So, my dragon and I go on these really cool adventures and fight these really powerful enemies. That's really intense, Morty. Do you ever get scared in those adventures? No, I just think of it like a video game. Well, it sounds like you're having a lot of fun in your adventures, Morty. Keep up the good work. Um, this looks like a great picture. Yeah, it's awesome. I always love sci-fi pictures with interesting details. Yeah, I can't get enough of those. Do you want to see some of my favorite sci-fi adventures? Yeah, absolutely. I love hearing about your crazy adventures. Well, I think I'll start with my favorite. It was a space adventure, and a woman named Arlene was on the ship with me. We were fighting a giant monster and I was able to shoot the monster with my bow and arrows. That sounds really cool. I can't wait to hear more about it. Well, there's a lot more to the story, but I don't want to spoil the fun for you. Let's just enjoy the picture for now. Okay, that makes sense. I love pictures that are full of detail and suspense, so I'm sure I'll love this one too. This is a really awesome picture, Morty. Yeah, it's cool. The dog's wearing a jacket and a collar with a collar on its head and a collar on its neck. It's like a sci-fi adventure. Yeah, it's kind of like a scene from one of our sci-fi adventures. Hey Morty, what's that you're holding? This is a picture of a dog wearing a jacket and a collar with a collar on its head and a collar on its neck. That's a really cool picture, Morty. Yeah, it's cool. The dog's wearing a jacket and a collar with a collar on its head and a collar on its neck. It's like a sci-fi adventure. Hey Morty, what's that you're holding? This is a picture of a dog wearing a jacket and a collar with a collar on its head and a collar on its neck. Dude, this is perfect for our next sci-fi adventure. Yeah, we can save the world from some evil alien with this image. What are you two talking about? You know I don't understand art. Hey Morty, check this out. It's a picture of a Saturn Saturn, with its rings in the foreground and stars in the background. It's beautiful. It is Morty. I love it Rick. What makes it so special? The rings are so intricate. It's like looking at a miniature universe. Exactly Rick. And the star in the background. It's so beautiful. I can't believe we can see it from Earth. That's right Morty. The universe is huge and we're just tiny specks observing it. Hi there kids. What's up? Rick and hi Jerry. We're just looking at a picture of Saturn Saturn. It's so beautiful. I see. Well, I'm glad you're both happy. 
I need to go get some groceries. Do you want to come with me? Rick and no Jerry. We're good. We'll see you later. After Jerry leaves, Rick and Morty continue to talk about the picture. So Morty, what do you think about the star in the background? It's so beautiful, Rick. I can't believe we can see it from Earth. That's right, Morty. The universe is huge and we're just tiny specks observing it. I know, Rick. It's amazing. It's just amazing how perspective can change things. Sometimes I feel like we're just tiny specks in the universe, but then I look at a picture like this and I see how big the universe is. It's really mind-blowing. They continue to talk about how amazing the universe is for hours until they finally drift off to sleep. In their dream, they're talking about the picture of Saturn Saturn. This is a great painting. It looks like a restaurant from the outside, and the window looks like it could be the view from the restaurant. Yeah, it's really cool. The decorations are perfect, and the setting looks like it would be really cozy. Yeah, it's definitely a great painting. I can see why you would think so, Morty. It really is a great piece of art. Rick, Morty is trying to butter you up to get your approval. He's not really into art himself. Jerry. I don't need your approval. I know how great this painting is. Yeah, I guess you do. Ooh, she's got a really nice dog. Yeah, he's a handsome beast. I love futuristic things. It's so imaginative. I know, right? Man, I can't wait to explore all the weird and wonderful worlds out there. Yeah, me too. Man, this is just a perfect painting. The colors are so vibrant it's like a dog's face in real life. Yeah, and the border is really cool too, it's like a photorealistic painting. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. I can't believe it took me this long to get this idea. Hey, what's going on? Hey Jerry, I was just thinking this digital painting of a dog's face is just perfect. Yeah, I think so too. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's perfect. Excellent. I'm so glad you think so too, Jerry. Yeah, perfect. 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 Holy shit. Looks like we found our new adventure. This woman has a fantastic body and a badass head with a bird on it. I agree Rick, that's an amazing picture. What are you talking about Rick, that pic's terrible. Jerry, come take a look. No way, I don't have time for this. I'm going to sleep. Jerry, come on, it's just a picture. Fine, but I'm gonna take a quick nap. Alright Morty, let's go get our spaceship. Yay Rick, let's go see the world! Alright Jerry, you can sleep when we get back. This is great, Morty. China is one of my favorite places in the world. Yeah, it's amazing. The wall looks totally legit. Yeah, I don't even know what to say. It's perfect. 
Keep working on that, Morty. It's going to be the best painting ever. Yeah, I know. Ah, uh, this is interesting. I wonder what the blue object is. I don't know, but it's really cool. What's the deal with the objects? I have no idea, but it's really cool. Alright Morty, what do you think? I think it's a great painting. Yeah, it's really beautiful Rick. It's got a really unique color scheme going on. Yeah, I wasn't sure at first, but I think it works. Whoa Rick, did you just call Foo Fighters beautiful? Laughs. No Jerry, I didn't call them beautiful. I called the painting beautiful. Oh, okay. Rick and Morty continue discussing the painting while Jerry just looks on in confusion. Dude this is great, it's perfect for our place. I love it Rick, it's so artsy. Hey guys, what's up? We're just analyzing this painting Morty. It's so cool, the dots on the surface look like they're moving. Yeah man, they really are. So what do you think? I think it's perfect Jerry, it really completes the look of our place. Yeah I totally agree Rick, it's beautiful. What do you think? Is it good? It's great! The colors are really vibrant and the dots really pop. I think you're right Morty. It's a classic. Haha, ha, classic Rick. What is this, a painting? Oh Jerry, it's a TV. A really big one. Oh. I see. Yeah, check it out Morty. It's like we're right in the scene. Yup, it's like we're right on the set of our show. I love it Morty. We're the stars of our own show. Haha, ha, classic Rick. Holy crap, that's amazing. Yeah, man, it's like a miniature version of the future. Wow, Rick, that's really fantastic. Yeah, man, I can't believe the detail in that picture. Well, Rick, I can see why you like sci-fi so much. It's really fascinating. Yeah, man, I can't wait to see what the future holds. Yeah, man, I'm so excited for the future. What do you think? This looks great. It's really in line with our sci-fi aesthetic. Thanks Morty. I was really happy with the way it turned out. Wow Rick, this looks amazing. Yeah Jerry, I'm really happy with how it turned out. That's really cool. 
What does it symbolize? Who knows, but it's cool. You know, I could never tell what was going on in that picture. Me either, but it's still cool. I don't know, it doesn't look very fun. It doesn't have to be, it's just a picture. You know, I think I'm just going to go watch TV. This is amazing Morty. The breast on the woman in the picture is huge. Yeah, I don't know why they bothered with the ribbon. No, Morty, the ribbon is important. It makes the picture more believable. Yeah, whatever Rick. Dude, I've never seen you like this before. What do you mean Jerry? You're positively stoked about this picture. You don't usually care about art. Jerry, I love art. I just appreciate good sci-fi pictures more than average pictures. Whatever you say, Rick. This poster is really neat, Morty. It's got a great sense of scale and perspective. Yeah, it's great. I always loved watching that movie when I was a kid. Yeah, I could see why. It's a classic. Interrupts, Morty. How come your dad's never taken you to see any good movies? He's always taken you to see those terrible family movies. Size, Jerry, I already told you. Dad just doesn't appreciate art as much as you do. Well, Jerry, you don't have to agree with Morty's dad about everything. I mean, you do like those terrible family movies, right? Sarcastically, yes, of course I do. They're just so family friendly. Catching on. Oh, yeah. Well, that's something dad and I completely disagree on. Gives Rick a playful shove. Well, at least we can still be friends, right Rick? Always, Morty, always. got a great sci-fi premise. Yeah, it's an awesome picture. I love the way the dog head integrates with the suit. It's great. That's a really cool picture. Yeah, it's super impressive. I have no idea what it is, but it's cool. I think it's a great picture. I agree, Rick. Yeah, it's great. Man, that Martian Manhunter thing is asterisk 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 ing sweet. Yeah, I don't even like DC Comics, but that is one bad asterisk 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 alien. Take a look at this Jerry. I just painted a picture of an alien from my sci-fi series. It's not as good as the Martian Manhunter thing, but I'm happy with it. Is that a good picture? Yeah, it's great. Look at the detail in the beard, and the balding man's face. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, it's great. Hey Jerry, what do you think of the picture? I think it's great. The detail in the beard and the balding man's face is amazing.
Ah, this picture is just so beautiful. Yeah, it's such a neat frame. Hmm, I don't know about that. It's not my thing. Don't be silly, Jerry. This picture is amazing. Well, I guess you're right. It's just nice to relax too. Exactly. That's why sci-fi stories are so important. They take us away from the mundane and show us new and exciting worlds. Yeah, I always love a good science fiction adventure. And that's why I love Rick and Morty. We're always on an exciting adventure. You really are happy in every picture, Rick. Even the sad ones have a sort of happy feeling to them. Oh, Morty, you're such a romantic. Hey, I try. I just think that happy moments are always so much more fun. Yep, and that's why I love Rick and Morty. That's a really nice picture, Morty. Yeah, Rick, it's a really cool scene. I love sci-fi movies and TV shows. Me too, Morty. Hey, Rick, Morty says you're a big sci-fi fan too, Jerry. Yeah, Jerry, I just love exploring different worlds and universes. It's so much fun. Huh, I had no idea. I'm not really into that kind of stuff. Oh, I don't blame you, Jerry. Some people really enjoy sci-fi, while others don't. Yeah, I guess that's true. So Morty, what's your favorite sci-fi movie? I don't really have a favorite Morty, I just love them all. Well, that's great. What's your favorite scene from a sci-fi movie? I don't really have a favorite Jerry, but my favorite scene from a sci-fi movie is usually the part where the hero has to fight the bad guy and eat his really good things and then the end credits start to roll and everyone in the audience cheers. That's really good Morty, I love that kind of scene, it's so exciting. Yeah I can see why you like it. I've never seen a movie like that, but I think I would like it. Hey Jerry, Morty says you're a big fan of theater too. Yeah I guess I am. I love going to the theater and watching good shows. That's great Morty, what's your favorite theater show? I don't really have a favorite Jerry. But my favorite theater show is usually the part where the hero has to fight the bad guy and he does really good things and then the end credits start to roll and everyone in the audience cheers. That's really good Morty. I love that kind of scene. It's so exciting. Yeah, I can see why you like it. I've never seen a theater show like that, but I think I would like it. Hey Jerry, Morty says you're a big fan of playing video games too. Yeah, I guess I am. I love playing video games and I especially love the new ones that come out every year. That's great Morty, what's your favorite video game? I don't really have a favorite Jerry, but my favorite video game is usually the part where the hero has to fight the bad guy and he does really good things and then the end credits start to roll and everyone in the audience cheers. That's really good Morty, I love that kind of scene. It's so exciting. Yeah I can see why you like it. I've never played a video game like that, but I think I would like it. Hey Jerry, Morty says you're a big fan of eating pizza too. Yeah, I guess I am. I love eating pizza and I especially love the new places that come out every year. That's great Morty, what's your favorite pizza place? I don't really have a favorite Jerry, but my favorite pizza place is usually the part where the hero has to fight the bad guy and he does really good things and then the end credits start to roll and everyone in the audience cheers. That's really good Morty, I love that kind of scene. It's so exciting. Yeah, I can see why you like it. I've never eaten a pizza like that, but I think I would like it. So Morty, what do you think that is? I don't know, it looks like a bug. Yep, it's a bug. What are you two talking about? We're analyzing a picture of a bug Morty. Yeah, I see it. It looks like a bug. That's right Morty, it's a bug. How can you tell? Well, 
The bug has a lot of antennae on its back legs and legs, and it has a pink background. Yep, that's a bug. But we're sure that it's a bug Morty. Well, I guess that's one way to know. Yep, it's a bug. Okay, well that's all I can think of. Have fun analyzing pictures Rick and Morty. Impressive. What's the story behind this picture? I have no idea, it's just a painting. There's a lot of symbolism in this painting. I don't get it. For example, the train is a symbol for life. Um, okay. And the valley is a symbol for the world. I get it. Thanks, Rick. You're welcome, Morty. Holy crap, this is beautiful. Yeah, I think so too. What do you think, Jerry? It's neat. I don't know, I'm not an art guy. Jerry, you're an idiot. This is amazing. Yeah, I think Rick's right. I'm always right, Morty. That's why I love you, Rick. Looks like they've done a great job illustrating the various ways to consume noodles. Yeah, I can totally see us eating all of these at once. I couldn't agree more, Morty. So what do you think, Jerry? What do you think, Jerry? He sounds like a simple man with no clue about art, doesn't he? Hey Morty, check out this cool picture. What's up Rick? Look at that skateboarder, he's flying through the air. Yeah I can see that. It's a pretty cool picture. What do you think? I think it's a fantastic photo Morty. Yeah, me too Rick. Thanks for pointing it out to me. This is an amazing picture. It's so futuristic. Yeah, it's really cool. I can't wait to see more of your sci-fi adventures. Morty. We're in a lot of trouble. What? The picture is a trap. Oh man! The cartoon character is a murderous alien. What? He wants to eat our brains. No way! I'm not going to let that happen. You're the strongest hero I know. Thanks, Morty. Rick and Morty continue to argue about the picture and their sci-fi adventures until Jerry comes out of the bedroom. What's going on? Jerry, we're in trouble. What do you mean? The picture is a trap. Oh man. The cartoon character is a murderous alien. What? He wants to eat our brains. No way. I'm not going to let that happen. You're the strongest hero I know. Thanks, Jerry.
That's really good Morty. I really like the sky background too. Yeah, I think it looks really good Rick. I love the way the dragon interacts with the plants and trees. I don't know, Morty. I'm not the biggest art fanatic, but I think it's pretty mediocre. Jerry, you don't understand art at all. I guess you're right Morty. I don't know squat about art. Damn, that's some high quality artwork. Dude, I can't believe we're still talking about this picture. Yeah, it's really good. But, like, why is Daffy Duck in it? I honestly don't know, but I love it regardless. Yeah, I guess. Morty, your dad and I are going out to grab some dinner. Okay, see you later, Jerry. Bye, Morty. Have a good time. Rick and Morty are talking about the old adventure Rick and Morty went on and Morty asks Rick about Daffy Duck and Rick has no idea why Daffy Duck is in the picture but is really happy it's in it because he loves the artwork. One. Rick and Morty are analyzing in details a picture with this description while also talking about their sci-fi adventures. 2. They are discussing how the woman in the futuristic suit is holding the gun and the dog which makes the picture more interesting. 3. The dog is cute and the woman in the futuristic suit looks impressive. 4. The picture gives a good impression of the cityscape and the futuristic suit. 5. Rick and Morty hope to visit that city one day. 6. The picture is a good example of how art can reflect the reality of the world. 7. Rick and Morty are happy and wholesome and their positive vibe reflects in the picture. 8. Jerry is Morty's dad and he's a simple man with no clue about art, but he's very happy and supportive of Rick and Morty. 9. Rick and Morty have a great relationship and they are always happy together. Hey Morty, check out these pictures I found. Look at those people with clocks on their heads and gears on their heads. It's so cool. Yeah Rick, it's really cool. I can't wait to see what we can do with this knowledge. Yeah, me too Morty. Me too. Man, I love this picture. It's so cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Ah, uh, Morty, can you hand me that wrench? I'm trying to tighten this screw and it's really hard to see. Sure, Jerry. Here you go. Ooh, thank you. This screw feels so much better now. What's up, Jerry? Oh, nothing. Just trying to tighten this screw. Oh, I see. Do you have a picture of your family too? What? No. Why would I have a picture of my family? Oh, I don't know. It's just that the picture of the woman with the strange body and the strange head is really cool. Yeah, I see what you mean. Man, I love this picture. It's so cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Ah, uh, Morty, can you hand me that wrench? I'm trying to tighten this screw and it's really hard to see. Sure, Jerry. Here you go. Ooh. Thank you. This screw feels so much better now. What's up, Jerry? Oh, nothing. Just trying to tighten this screw. Oh, I see. Do you have a picture of your family too? What? No. Why would I have a picture of my family? Oh, I don't know. 
It's just that the picture of the woman with the strange body and the strange head is really cool. Yeah, I see what you mean. One. So Rick, what do you think of this picture? It's pretty amazing Morty. I never imagined I'd ever see something like that in my life. Yeah, it's really cool. The room in the background is a neat detail. Two. So Rick, what kind of sci-fi adventures have you and Morty been on lately? We've been exploring different universes and defeating super evil aliens. It's been so fun. The universes are so different and exciting. Three. Well, Rick, that sounds like it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, I couldn't ask for more. Four, that's great, Rick. Yeah, I'm really happy. Five, that's really cool, Rick. Yeah, I'm really happy too. Six, so what are you going to do now, Rick? I'm going to go watch some TV. Good idea, Rick. Seven, yeah, good idea, Morty. See you later, Jerry. Eight, yeah. See you later, Jerry. Hey, Rick. How's it going? It's good, Jerry. I'm happy and wholesome. That's good to hear, Rick. Nine. Yeah, I'm happy and wholesome too, Jerry. That's great to hear, Rick. Ten. Hey, Jerry. I was wondering if you could help me with something. This is definitely a sci-fi picture. The gears remind me of the things we use to travel through time and space in our sci-fi adventures. That looks really cool. I bet they're having a really good time. I have no idea what that picture is supposed to be, but it's really cool. Look at all those dots. We should go explore one of these other dimensions. Oh, no, Rick. We've been over this. We're not going anywhere dangerous. Fine then. What do you want to do? I don't know. What about we watch another episode of our show, Rick and Morty? We can do that. Dale 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 Here's the picture I was looking at. Nice work, Morty. This is excellent. You captured the Dale 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 perfectly. What's a Dale 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 Morty. It's a type of bird. Oh, I see. This is a great painting, Morty. 
I wonder why the woman looks so surprised. I have no idea, Rick. Maybe she's just in a hurry? Hmm, you could be right, Morty. Maybe she's in a hurry and something happened along the way that made her angry. Yeah, Rick, that's a good idea. Maybe she was mugged or something. Hmm, that's a good idea, Morty. Let's go ask Jerry about it. Rick gets on the phone with Jerry and explains the painting to him. Jerry is not familiar with it and doesn't know what it could be referring to. Rick and Morty go back to studying the painting and come up with other ideas. Later, Rick and Morty are in their garage working on their spaceship when they hear a strange noise. They investigate and find a woman in a green shirt screaming and running away. Morty tackles her while Rick calls the police. The woman is apprehended and it is revealed that she is Deborah Barone. She is angry at Rick and Morty because they ruined her painting. She is sentenced to community service and has to paint murals around town. Look at that beautiful background. I'm so inspired by that. Yeah, I love the clouds. They're so pretty. Yeah, I love how the man has such a peaceful look on his face. It's amazing. He's totally looking at the camera with love in his eyes. Yeah, it's such a beautiful picture. So who's the star of this picture? It's a guy with a sci-fi fine helmet on his head and a sci-fi fine helmet on his shoulder. Sounds like somebody important. What's his name? I don't know, but he looks like he's from some kind of science fiction movie. Maybe he's the star of a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy episode. This is a beautiful painting, Morty. Yeah, I'm glad you like it, Rick. What is it a painting of? This is a painting of a sandwich with cheese and a green apple on it and cheese on top of it and cheese slices on the bottom. What does it mean? I don't know, it's just beautiful. I think it means that we should eat more sandwiches, Morty. Yeah, I think you're right, Morty. This kangaroo is looking pretty badass. Yeah, it's a pretty sweet picture. Totally agree, Morty. Morty, can you explain what this picture means to you? It's just a cool picture. I don't know what it means. I don't either, Morty. Hey, Jerry, check this out. What is it, Rick? I think Morty is right. This picture doesn't have any meaning. Yeah, I don't see anything special about it. You're both wrong, Jerry. Morty. I think you're the one that has the real insight into this picture. What do you mean, Rick? I think the kangaroo is symbolic of our journey as a team. You're right, Rick. This picture is a representation of our friendship. Exactly, Morty. You see, that's the beauty of sci-fi. You never know what's going to happen next. Yeah, I guess you're right, Rick. just a picture, Morty. It's a beautiful painting, Rick. It's simple, Morty. Yeah, Jerry, it's really simple. I don't understand art, Morty. That's okay, Jerry, 
you don't have to understand art to love it. Yeah, Rick's right, Jerry. I know, Morty. Thanks, Rick. Of course, Jerry. This is amazing Morty. I love the colors and the composition. Yeah, it's a great picture. This is really cool Morty. You should really think about doing this for your next project. Yeah, it's something I've been wanting to try for a while. And you have the skills for it too. You're an artist after all. Yeah, I guess you could say that. So Rick, Morty, what's your idea for this next project? Um Morty, you should do the foreground and I'll do the background and we'll put them together to make a triptych. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea Rick. That does sound like a good idea, Rick. This is a great picture. I love the details. Yeah, it's really good. Hey, you guys like Vegas? Vegas? Yeah, sure. It's a great city. Yeah, I love it. The casinos are so colorful and the scenery is amazing. Yeah, me too. I don't know about you Morty, but I'm really happy right now. Yeah, well it's good to have some positive energy in our lives. Yeah, you're right. Rick and Morty's Adventure Rick and Morty are analyzing in details a picture with this description while also talking about their sci-fi adventures. A large hamburger with many different types of meats on it and a purple background with a fish in the middle caught their attention. This looks like it would make a great setting for a sci-fi adventure, exclaimed Morty. I couldn't agree more Morty. This would be the perfect place to set our plot, replied Rick. What kind of plot do you have in mind Rick? asked Morty. I'm not sure, but I think we need to find out what the ingredients are for that burger, replied Rick. I see what you mean, exclaimed Morty. We could go on a sci-fi adventure to find out what the ingredients are for that burger. That sounds like a great idea Morty, replied Rick. Let's go on a sci-fi adventure and find out what the ingredients for that burger are. Holy crap, this is some of the best sci-fi art I've ever seen. Yep, I'm really into sci-fi art myself. I'm Jerry. Nice to meet you, Rick and Morty. Nice to meet you, Jerry. Dad's a simple man without a clue about art, but he's always happy and he loves spending time with us. Yeah, Jerry's a great dad. I always enjoy spending time with him. What kind of sci-fi adventures do you two enjoy? We really enjoy exploring different parts of the galaxy, and most of our adventures take place on Earth because we like to mess with all of our old friends from high school. Yeah, it's pretty funny because they never know what to expect from us. So, do you have any projects you're working on right now? We're working on a new adventure that takes us to a distant planet where we have to fight a war against an alien race called the Ridgelians. Yeah, I'm really excited for that one. That sounds like it sounds like it should be really interesting. I'm sure all of your friends will be excited to see the finished product.
Interesting. What do you think it could be? I have no idea. It could be a sign that we're onto something big with this sci-fi idea. Yeah, I think so too, Jerry. Oh Morty, check out this awe-inspiring picture of an eagle wearing man. Do you see how the eagle provides such a majestic backdrop to the picture? I feel like the dude must have had some badass adventures. Yeah, totally Rick. Looks like he's taken flight. Dude, you're a genius. I can't believe you were able to spot that detail. Oh boy, I sure do wish I could spot things like that. I'm just a simple man who follows the path of least resistance. Rick and Morty continue to talk about their sci-fi adventures while Jerry just listened with no clue. Finally Morty starts to get impatient and Rick tries to change the subject. Hey Jerry, have you ever listened to Rick and Morty? What's that? You know, the show about aliens and crazy adventures? No, I don't think so. Well, it's really good. Anyway, I was just wondering, do you think you could help me with something? Sure, what can I help you with? I was thinking maybe you could help me design a poster for a sci-fi movie I'm starring in. Ah, okay. But I'm not an artist, so I'm not sure how much help I can be. That's okay. I'll figure it out. I have a million ideas. Thanks, Jerry. Rick and Morty continue to talk about their sci-fi adventures while Jerry just listened with no clue. Finally Morty starts to get impatient and Rick tries to change the subject. Hey Jerry. Have you ever listened to Rick and Morty? What's that? You know, the show about aliens and crazy adventures? No, I don't think so. Well, it's really good. Anyway, I was just wondering, do you think you could help me with something? Sure, what can I help you with? I was thinking maybe you could help me design a poster for a sci-fi movie I'm starring in. Ah, okay. But I'm not an artist, so I'm not sure how much help I can be. That's okay. I'll figure it out. I have a million ideas. Thanks, Jerry. This picture is really cool, Morty. It's like a painting of a Yoda holding a green lightsaber in his hand and a glowing green light behind it. I think it's cool too, Rick. I bet Jedi Lords like Yoda use those types of lightsabers to fight evil. Is that a spaceship in the background of the painting, Morty? Yeah, Jerry. I think that's a spaceship in the background. That's right, Morty. I bet a Yoda like that would be really good at flying a spaceship. So, Rick. What kind of sci-fi adventures do you and Morty like to go on? Morty and I like to explore different parts of the galaxy, Morty. We've explored planets, moons and star systems. That sounds like it would be really exciting, Morty. I bet you guys have lots of fun. Damn that looks like a cool painting Morty. Yeah Rick, it's a really cool painting. I love the colors in it. Yeah, the colors are really cool. So Rick, what do you think about this painting? It's really cool Morty, I love the colors. Yeah, I think it's amazing. I love sci-fi Morty. Yeah me too Rick. One, Rick and Morty are analyzing in details a picture with this description while also talking about their sci-fi adventures. Two, 
They are commenting about the picture and their favorite sci-fi character. 3. Rick is happy and wholesome. Morty is happy and wholesome. Everyone has a positive vibe. Jerry is Morty's dad and he's a simple man with no clue about art. 4. They are from the show Rick and Morty and you have to use their personality and the way they talk in the show. 5. Here's the conversation. Rick and Morty are analyzing in details a picture with this description while also talking about their sci-fi adventures. 6. Rick is happy and wholesome. Morty is happy and wholesome. Everyone has a positive vibe. Jerry is Morty's dad and he's a simple man with no clue about art. 7. They are from the show Rick and Morty and you have to use their personality and the way they talk in the show. 8. Rick is happy and wholesome. Morty is happy and wholesome. Everyone has a positive vibe. Jerry is Morty's dad and he's a simple man with no clue about art. 9. They are from the show Rick and Morty and you have to use their personality and the way they talk in the show. 10. Here's the conversation. Rick and Morty are analyzing in details a picture with this description while also talking about their sci-fi adventures. This is amazing Morty. It looks like a scene out of a sci-fi movie. You're right Rick. This looks like something out of a movie. I love sci-fi movies Morty. Me too Rick. I can't wait to watch one when we get back home. Yeah. I'm ready for our next sci-fi adventure too. This is an amazing picture Morty. I can't believe Pikachu is holding a sword like that. It's so badass Rick. I love how the lightning looks like it's coming out of Pikachu's sword. Yeah, Pikachu is really taking charge in this picture Morty. He's really showing off his skills. Huh Morty, what do you think about this picture? I think it's cool Jerry. The lightning looks really cool and the sword Pikachu is holding is really badass. Yeah Morty, I think you're right. It's a great picture. Look at that detail, it's amazing. Yeah, I couldn't believe how realistic the bird was. Oh, wow. That's really beautiful. Definitely. I love all the intricate details in the painting. You're right, Rick. It's incredible. Yeah, I can't get over how amazing this painting is. Yeah, it's really great. Damn, Morty. You're good at criticizing paintings, but you don't seem to have any appreciation for art. I don't know, Rick. I guess I just don't see the appeal in art as much as you do. Well, that's understandable. After all, art is all about expressing yourself through your creations. Yeah, I guess you have a point there. But that doesn't mean you can't appreciate the beauty in art. You're right, Rick. I'm sorry. I'll try to appreciate art more in the future. That's good, Morty. We all need to appreciate art in order to keep our culture alive. Yeah. I think that's a great idea, Rick. It's a great picture, Adele. It's beautiful. Definitely something different. I like how she captured the sky and the effects with the light. One thing I don't like is the way the background looks too blue. It's a little stark. That's a common critique people have of digital paintings, Jerry. It's tough to get the colors right. Yeah, I know. 
but I think she did a great job with it. The colors are really vivid. You may be right, Morty. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. A get, Mass Effect picture. Looks intense. Yeah, I can't wait to play that game. You played it, Jerry? No, I'm not really into video games. Uh, I'm not sure how you could not like video games with all the action and stuff. Well, I like comics better. Comics? Seriously? What's the appeal? I just find them more interesting. They're like art, Morty. I don't know, I just think they're cooler. You're right, comics are cool. Rick and Morty spend the rest of their day discussing comics, superheroes, and art. They have a positive discussion, with Rick and Morty feeling appreciated of their own hobbies while Jerry just listens and has no real opinion. Octopuses are definitely one of my favorite creatures. They're smart, cunning and I love how they use their eight arms to amazingly. They can change color to match their surroundings. Yeah, octopuses are amazing. They're one of my favorite creatures to watch on TV. Morty, why don't you go put on some armor and join us in the war front? We'll be needing a lot of mothers to take on the aliens. Dad, I don't want to fight. Come on, it'll be fun. Okay, I'll put on armor. Don't be so hesitant, Morty. You're going to be a great warrior like your father. Thanks, Rick. No problem, Morty. Always happy to help. So Morty, what do you think? It's a great piece of art. It is Morty. I'm so proud of you, Rick. Thanks, Morty. I think it captures the essence of our sci-fi adventure perfectly. Yup. Exactly true, Rick. Niles Crane, an important character from our sci-fi adventure. Morty, I'm sure you know who he is. Yeah, I know Frasier from TV. He's a weird guy, but I like him. He's definitely a weird guy, but that's what makes him so great. What are you talking about, Rick? I've never seen that show. Oh, right, you're Jerry. Well, Jerry, I'm sure you're familiar with our sci-fi adventures. Huh, I guess so. I don't really watch TV that much. Well, that's okay. You can still enjoy our adventures by reading our comic books. Comics? I'm not sure I'm interested. Jerry, comics are the best way to learn about our sci-fi adventures. They're full of pictures and text, and you can learn about all the important characters. I never thought of that. Maybe I'll give them a try. Rick and Morty are happy and content with their lives. Their sci-fi adventure was great, and Jerry is content with not knowing about it. Well, what do you think, Morty? Looks like we're headed for another great adventure. Yeah, I can't wait to see what crazy thing we get up to next. Oh, the joys of being a simple man with no clue about art. But hey, at least we're always happy and wholesome, right Morty? Yep, always happy and wholesome.
Whoa, I never thought I'd see a picture like that. It's so complex and beautiful. Yeah, I love it. It's totally trippy. Exactly. It's like a painting of pure imagination. Hey, I like that too. What kind of art is it? It's called abstract art. I've never heard of it. What's it made of? Different types of paint and sometimes leaves or other organic materials. Hmm. I'm not sure I understand it. Is it any good? Yes, it is. Abstract art is one of the most important and underrated forms of art out there. Well, I'll have to take your word for it. I'm not much of an art person. Rick and Morty then share their favorite abstract art pieces and discuss why they love them. Dude, that's so cool. What kind of dog is that? I don't know, a golden retriever, maybe? We should make a sci-fi movie about that dog. Yeah, let's do it. Morty, why are you so into sci-fi? I don't know, it's just really cool. I love exploring new worlds and solving mysteries. Morty, you are such a nerd. Look at that amazing poster. It's so beautiful. Yeah, I can't believe Fleetwood Mac is on there. They're one of my favorite bands. Yeah, I love Fleetwood Mac too. They're one of my favorite bands too. They always have great songs. Huh, I don't know about that. I don't know if I'd call them great songs. What do you mean, Jerry? I mean, I don't think their music is that great. Jerry, come on. They're one of the greatest bands of all time. Yeah, I guess you could say that. They're amazing. You are so full of it, Rick. What do you mean, Morty? You're just trying to push your own opinions on people so you can look good in front of Jerry. What do you mean? Well, you always try to act like you know everything and you're the best at everything, but in reality you're just a fraud. What do you mean by that? I mean you're just a fake friend who only cares about himself. That's not true. It is true. Look at how you've always treated Jerry. You've always been so eager to please him and make him happy, but you never really care about him. You're just using him. That's not true. I care about Jerry really deeply. Well, you might care about Jerry, but that doesn't mean you're a good friend. You're just using him to make yourself look good. That's not true. I really do care about Jerry. Whatever. I don't care about your excuses. I just think you're a phony and a fraud. Look, I know I have my flaws, but that doesn't make me a phony or a fraud. Well, that's not how I see it. Well, that's your opinion. I think the Fleetwood Mac poster is amazing. Well, that's your opinion. I think the Fleetwood Mac poster is amazing. Look at that space station. It's so beautiful. Yeah, it is. I love sci-fi adventures. Let's make a movie about that space station one day. Yeah, I think that would be awesome. I'm a simple man and I don't really know much about art, but I'm sure I could help you create a great movie. Rick and Morty finish analyzing the picture and Rick says, Well, Morty, I think it's time for us to head back to our world. It was great seeing you again, Jerry, and I'm glad everything is back to normal. Yeah, me too, Rick. I really enjoyed our little sci-fi adventure and I'm glad everything turned out all right. Yeah, me too, Morty. I'm just a simple man with no clue about art, but I'm glad I could be part of your little adventure. Thanks for having me, Morty. Rick and Morty wave goodbye and head back to their world.
They have a positive and happy vibe and Jerry is Morty's dad who is a simple man with no clue about art. Look at that, it's an image of our sci-fi hero, Rick Grimes. Yeah, he's really cool. I love his hat. You're right, Morty, his hat is fantastic. What are you two talking about? We're discussing Rick Grimes, our sci-fi hero. I love his hat. You're right, Morty, his hat is fantastic. What are you two talking about? This is such a great picture, Morty. I love Pokemon. What do you think, Jerry? I think it's cool, Rick. Pikachu is so cute. I sure do, Morty. And I love the way Pikachu has that electric attitude. It's just so awesome. I don't know much about art, Rick, but I like the way Pikachu is pictured. It has a really cool look. I know, Jerry, and that's why I love it. Pikachu is just so original and cool. Thanks for your input, Morty. Pikachu, poke asterisk. Man, that's some really amazing sci-fi artwork. Yeah, totally. I totally feel like that scene could happen in a real Star Wars movie. What scene? Yoda standing in the doorway with his hands folded up and his eyes closed. Oh, yeah, I can see that. That's so awesome. This is a beautiful picture, Morty. Yeah, Rick, I love it. It's perfect for our bedroom. Exactly, Morty. We can hang it on the wall and imagine we're exploring the galaxy. Hey, Morty, what's the verdict? Jerry, it's perfect. The starburst is really cool and the blue sky is perfect. Yeah, I think you're right, Morty. This is a great picture. It's got a really interesting composition. Yeah, it's definitely unique. Is that a woman or an angel? It's a woman, Jerry. Huh. I didn't know angels had bras. Yeah, they don't usually do. But this painting is really cool because it's sort of based off of sci-fi mythology. Like what kind of mythology? Well, there's a legend that says angels can manifest themselves as beautiful women in order to lure people into heaven. Isn't that romantic? Yeah, it is. But you know, it's also a bit scary because it can be a trap. So is this painting supposed to be scary or romantic? It's a little bit of both, I think. Well, I like it. It's different and mysterious. Yeah, I think you're right, Jerry. Thanks for picking it out. This is an amazing picture, Morty. It's so detailed and gorgeous. Yeah, I think it's really cool. It's like a self-portrait or something. Yeah, I can see that. It's really impressive work. That's what I thought. 
and it definitely looks like you did a great job, Morty. Thanks, Rick. I'm really proud of it. It's really beautiful, Morty. You're an amazing artist. You think so? Absolutely. You have a real talent for this stuff, Morty. Oh, thanks, Rick. I really appreciate it. No problem, Morty. I'm just glad you're able to put your creativity into something else other than just video games. Yeah, me too. It's really nice to be able to use my imagination for something other than just shooting aliens all day. Well, I'm sure your art will only get better as you continue to develop it, Morty. I hope so. I'll work hard to improve my skills. I have no doubt that you will, Morty. You're an awesome artist. Hey Morty, check out this sci-fi picture I found. It's from Seoul and it's really cool. It is. I love the neon backdrop. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. I bet if we zoom in on the mirror it would show us the inside of the outfit. I don't know, Rick. It seems kind of unsafe. Oh well, if you're not interested then I guess we can just look at the picture. Okay, I'm in. Awesome. Let's zoom in on the mirror. This is a great picture. I love all the details. Yeah, it's really cool. What kind of stuff is in the background? Oh, that's just some futuristic stuff. It's from the show Babylon 5. Babylon 5? Cool. I've never seen that show. Uh, Morty, do you like art? Yeah, I think so. I'm not too sure about it, but I like looking at pictures and stuff. I see. Well, I think you should give it a try. It's a really interesting world. Yeah, Jerry's right. Art can be really cool. This is a great picture. It captures the feeling of a sci-fi adventure really well. Yeah, I think it's really cool. I love the colors and the design. Yeah, I think so too. Haha. <laughs> yeah, I bet Rick and Morty are just really into sci-fi. Yep, we love all kinds of sci-fi, Morty. This picture really captures the feeling of a great sci-fi adventure. This is a great painting, Morty. It captures the character perfectly. Yeah, I think it's a really good representation of Frodo. I would have to agree with you, Morty. Frodo is a great character and this painting captures his essence perfectly. What are you guys talking about? I don't even know what a Lord of the Rings is. Don't worry, Jerry. We'll explain it to you later. Yeah, we'll take you on a insert your favorite sci-fi adventure here. All right, sounds good to me. Thanks for bringing it up, Rick. Oh no, Morty. We have to hurry. We're already behind schedule. I'm not worried, we can always save the day. I'm sure we can, Morty. We've faced many challenges before. But I really don't want to fight another alien. No, of course not, Morty. We'll just take care of this easily. Hey, Morty, what are you doing? 
just talking to Rick and Dad about our sci-fi adventures. Well good, because I have no clue about art. That's okay Dad, I'm sure Rick has some great advice. Yeah, I'm sure he does Morty. Oh great, another alien we have to fight Morty. No Rick, we'll just take care of this, we've faced tougher challenges before. I'm sure Morty you're right, let's go fight this alien. No, Rick I really don't want to. Morty come on, it'll be fun. Alright Rick, let's go fight the alien. This is a great picture Morty. What do you think? It's great Rick. The gorilla looks really happy and the background is really beautiful. I'm happy you like it Morty. I think it's a great picture. Hey guys, what's up? Oh hey Jerry, what's up? Not much, just doing some gardening. What you working on Rick? We're analyzing this picture Morty and I think it's a great piece of art. Oh, I see. Well thanks for sharing your opinion Rick. I think it's just perfect. Thanks Jerry. Other characters in the show Rick and... Rick's wife. Rick's daughter. Rick's dad. Morty's dad. Beth. Seth. Pretty cool picture, but who are those two women? They're some sort of aliens, I think. Really? Cool. I love aliens. Yup. Hey, kids. What's up? Hey there, Morty. What's up, Rick? Oh, nothing much, Jerry. Just analyzing this picture. Well, I'm just here to watch you two goof off. What do you want to do today? Um, well, I was thinking we could make some wontons. Yup! I'm starving! Okay, sounds good to me. I'll get the seasoning and fix them for you. I just can't get over how great this painting is. It's so detailed. Yeah, I agree. The shading and the coloring are amazing. I love how the man in the top hat is looking right at you. It's like he's a um, murder she wrote. What are you two talking about? We were just discussing how great the painting is. Yeah, Rick's right. The shading and coloring are amazing. What paintings are you talking about? I don't recognize that painting. That's probably because we're talking about a painting of a painting. Yeah, it's like the painting is looking right at you. What are you talking about? I don't recognize that painting. This picture is amazing Morty. It's something like a real sci-fi scene. Yeah, I love how the robot is in the air and the sky behind it is red. It's so cool. Yeah, it's really awesome. I'm so happy we found this. Whoa Morty. That's a pretty cool robot. Yeah, I had no idea it was Star Wars when we found it. Yeah, that's right Jerry. This picture is one of my favorite scenes from the movie. Well. I'm glad you like it. I'm not that familiar with art, but I'm sure it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Well, I'm going to go take a nap. Yo Rick, remember to wake me up in an hour. Yeah Jerry, I'll wake you up in an hour. See you later Jerry. See you Morty. In this scene Rick and Morty are analyzing in details a picture with this description while also talking about their sci-fi adventures. 
a picture of a robot that is in the air with a sky background behind it and a red sky behind it. R2-D2 Star Wars. Rick is happy and wholesome and Morty is happy and wholesome. Everyone has a positive vibe in this scene. Jerry is Morty's dad and he's a simple man with no clue about art. They are from the show Rick and Morty. You have to use their personality and the way they talk in the show in order to create this scene. Here is the dialogue. This picture is amazing Morty. It's something like a real sci-fi scene. Yeah, I love how the robot is in the air and the sky behind it is red. It's so cool. Yeah, it's really awesome. I'm so happy we found this. Whoa Morty. That's a pretty cool robot. Yeah, I had no idea it was Star Wars when we found it. Yeah, that's right Jerry. This picture is one of my favorite scenes from the movie. Well, I'm glad you like it. I'm not that familiar with art, but I'm sure it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Well, I'm going to go take a nap. Yo Rick, remember to wake me up in an hour. Yeah Jerry, I'll wake you up in an hour. In this scene Rick and Morty are discussing a picture with Jerry and Jerry is not familiar with art. Rick and Morty are telling Jerry about their favorite scene from the movie and Jerry is appreciating the picture. Morty, look at this poster. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's really cool. The strokes look amazing. Yeah, they do. I can't believe they're still around. Yeah, they've been around for a while. Yeah, they've been around for a while. I can't believe they're still around. I know. I can't believe I used to hate them. What? Oh, nothing. It just shocks me that I used to hate them so much. Wait, what? I used to think that they were overrated. Why? I don't know, I just didn't like their sound. But now you think they're great, right? Yeah, I do, I really do. So why did you hate them? I don't know, I just didn't like their sound. Weird. Dude, that's Led Zeppelin. They're one of my all-time favorite bands. Totally Rick. I'm stoked you like them too. I'm not familiar with that band. Morty, what's your take? Well Jerry, I think Led Zeppelin is one of the greatest bands ever. They pioneered the heavy metal genre and their music is just so kick-ass. Huh. Well I'm not sure I would go that far Morty, but I guess they're worth checking out. Interesting picture. What's the story behind it? Um, I don't know. It just looks cool, I guess. Wow, Morty, you're such a artsy guy. Who knows what kind of story is behind that picture? I don't know. It's just a picture, Jerry. Morty, you're such a artsy guy. What kind of story is behind this picture? Um, I don't know. It just looks cool, I guess. This is a great picture Morty. It's well done and expressive. I think it's great too Rick. I like the way the colors complement each other. Ah uh, Morty, I don't understand what you're talking about. Jerry, let me explain it to you. This picture is of a woman named Adele. She's a famous singer and she is beautiful. I see Rick. She's beautiful. That's right Jerry. Adele is a remarkable artist and her fans really appreciate her work. 
I agree, Rick. Even though I'm not a big fan of music, I think she's really talented. That's the spirit, Morty. You can appreciate art even if you don't like it. I get it, Rick. She's talented and beautiful. That's all I need to know. Smart guy, Jerry. Now let's move on to our sci-fi adventures. I have an idea for a great story. Oh my god, look at that, it's a totally amazing picture. Yeah, Rick, it's really cool. I love how the woman is holding the lightsaber. Absolutely, it's a great representation of the sci-fi genre. Hey Rick, Morty told me you're a big fan of Star Trek. Yeah, Jerry, I love Star Trek. I think it's one of the best sci-fi movies ever made. Really? I've never seen it. Yeah, Jerry. It's one of those old movies, but I think it's amazing. I see. So you like it for the story and the characters, rather than the technological aspects? Absolutely. I think the story and the characters are the most important aspects of any movie. Yeah, I can understand that. I like all sorts of movies, but I really love watching science fiction movies because I enjoy the futuristic elements. Yeah, I completely agree, Jerry. I think it's one of the most important genres of movies. Yeah, Rick, it's such an amazing picture. I love the way the lightsaber looks. Yeah, Morty, the lightsaber is a great representation of the sci-fi genre. Hey Rick, Morty told me you're a big fan of Star Trek. Yeah, Jerry, I love Star Trek. I think it's one of the best sci-fi movies ever made. Really? I've never seen it. Yeah, Jerry. It's one of those old movies, but I think it's amazing. I see. So you like it for the story and the characters, rather than the technological aspects? Absolutely. I think the story and the characters are the most important aspects of any movie. Yeah, I can understand that. I like all sorts of movies, but I really love watching science fiction movies because I enjoy the futuristic elements. Yeah, I completely agree, Jerry. I think it's one of the most important genres of movies. So, Morty, what do you think? It's nothing doesn't look like nothing to me. It's not important. Come on, you have to have an opinion. It's okay, I don't really care for art. You don't like art? No, I don't really care for it. What about Inception, Cobb? It's okay, I don't really care for that either. It's a Picasso. Dude, you're right. It's a Picasso. What's the big deal? Jerry, he's one of the most influential artists of all time. Really? I had no idea. Yeah, he was a big deal. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, I mean look at the detail in this painting. It's amazing. This is the kind of thing that makes me excited about sci-fi. Yeah, I couldn't agree more Rick. I love sci-fi because it takes us to different places and lets us explore new things. Exactly Morty, exactly. That's badass. I can't wait to see the movie. Yeah, I'm so excited. Uh, Morty, why don't you go finish your homework? Okay, Dad. Don't forget to practice your sketching.
That woman in the picture is Lisa Simpson, Morty. She's from our show Rick and Morty. This is perfect. I love the dual fight scene. It's so iconic. I also like the details, the swords, the armor. It's all very reminiscent of something out of a Star Wars movie. Yeah, I totally get that. It's a great poster. Hmm. I don't know. To me, it just looks like a typical Star Wars poster. What do you mean? It's awesome. I mean, I know it's a popular movie, and it's definitely popular enough that it's got its own poster. But to me, it just looks like a bunch of people fighting. You're wrong. It's a crucial scene in the movie. You're right, it is. Darth Vader is really captivating in that scene. He just has this presence about him. He does, indeed. And the lightsabers just add to the drama. That's true, they do. Plus, the colors are so beautiful. Yeah, they are. This is a badass painting. What do you think it depicts? I think it's a representation of Satan. Holy crap, you're right. This painting is definitely badass. Haha, ha. I don't know about that Morty. It just seems kinda sacrilegious to me. Jerry, you don't understand art. Observations like yours are why the art world is so obscure and difficult to understand. Okay. One. Looks like an angel. It absolutely is. What a beautiful painting. Yeah, it's such a peaceful image. Two. Looks like a happy painting. Absolutely. It's amazing how the painter was able to capture such a happy moment. You're right, it does look happy. Three. Looks like a spiritual painting. Definitely. This painting could represent anything from spirituality to peace. You're right, it could represent a lot of different things. 4. Looks like an amazing painting. Oh, absolutely. I love it. Me too. One. Rick is excited about their upcoming sci-fi adventure and tells Morty about their encounter with the dog in the picture. Two. 
Morty is happy to hear about Rick's adventure and wants to participate as well. 3. Jerry is confused and doesn't understand what they are talking about, but he's still happy for them. 4. In their adventure, Rick and Morty encounter a dark world where they have to face challenges and challenges. 5. They end up saving the day and Morty's dad is impressed with their artistry. 6. As a result of their adventure, Rick and Morty develop a better understanding of themselves and each other. Wow Morty, that's a great picture. I love the sky in the background. Yeah Rick, the sky is so bright and beautiful. Hey guys, what's going on? Morty, I think you should take a picture of this with your phone. It'll look great on Instagram. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea Rick. Instagram? What's that? It's a social media app where you can share photos and videos with your friends. Oh, I see. Yeah. So Morty can post this picture on his Instagram account and his friends can see it. That sounds like a lot of work. Not really Jerry, it's easy to use and everyone uses it. I guess that's true. Yeah, Instagram is really popular. I use it all the time. Alright Rick, I'll take the picture. Great job Morty. Wow, that really looks cool. Yeah, it does. It's like a painting from the future. Yeah, that's a great picture. I don't know, Morty, it just doesn't feel right to me. What do you mean? I don't know, it just doesn't feel right. I don't know what it is, but it just doesn't feel right. Maybe you're just not used to seeing paintings like that. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. It doesn't feel right to me. This is a great picture. The colors are beautiful and the composition is perfect. Morty. Yeah, it's definitely a worthy piece of art. Jerry. Huh, I don't know about that. It doesn't look very good to me. Come on, you have to admit that it's beautiful. Morty. Yeah, it's definitely a masterpiece. Jerry. I guess it's fine. I just don't understand how this qualifies as sci-fi. Maybe you're not looking at it the right way. Morty. Maybe you're right, Jerry. It doesn't look that great to me. Don't be such a negative critic. It's just a picture. Morty and yeah, it's just a picture. This is amazing Morty, look at the detail in the sky. Yeah Rick, I can't believe how realistic it is. What are you two talking about? We're just analyzing the picture Morty. Oh I see, well don't spend too much time on it Jerry, you have to get to work. Alright Jerry, have a good day. You too Jerry. So, Morty, I was thinking, if we ever made it to the stars, we could ditch the computer for something a bit more sophisticated. What, like a droid? Yeah, something like that. I like the sound of that. Hey, I'm not so sure. 
Depends what kind of droid you get. Probably something with a lot of firepower. Well, I suppose that could be interesting. Speaking of interesting, have you been looking at that painting over there? What painting? The one with the guy with the bald head and the tie in front of the colorful background. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen that one before. Really? Where? On TV. On TV? What show was it on? I'm not sure, but it must have been a show about space or something, because that's the only thing that makes sense. Yeah, I've been thinking the same thing. It's probably an artist called Uncle Phil. Uncle Phil? He's not a real artist, is he? No, I don't think so. He's just a regular guy with a lot of fans. Huh, I hadn't noticed. I think you should go over and talk to him. He might be able to help you learn more about art. Yeah, I think you're right. Uncle Phil. Hey, Morty. I don't know if you've seen this painting before, but it's really cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen it on TV. It's about space, I think. Uncle Phil. Yeah, that's the only thing that makes sense. I'm an artist, but I don't get a lot of recognition. Maybe you could help me get more exposure someday. That sounds like a lot of work, but I could try. Uncle Phil. Thanks, Morty. Oh man, I love sci-fi adventures. What kind of robot is that? It's Optimus Prime from Transformers. Yeah man, I love Transformers too. I just love the way the blue and red light behind him looks. It's so badass. Yeah, I love how Optimus Prime looks too. He's so powerful. Yeah, he is pretty badass. I also love how he has a red light behind him. It just looks so cool. Yeah, I love that too. It just gives him this really badass look. Yeah, it really does. I just hope we can find a Transformers movie that comes out soon so we can see that robot in action. I know the feeling. I just hope we can find a movie that comes out soon so we can see that robot in action. Rick and Morty are analyzing in details a picture with this description while also talking about their sci-fi adventures. Morty is happy and wholesome. Rick is happy and wholesome. Everyone has a positive vibe. Jerry is Morty's dad and he's a simple man with no clue about art. They are from the show Rick and Morty, you have to use their personality and the way they talk in the show. That's a nice picture, Morty. Yeah, it's classic Rick. I love classic Rick pictures, Morty. Classic Rick pictures always make me happy. That's because classic Rick is a happy Rick Morty. Yeah, classic Rick is always happy. That's why I love classic Rick Morty. Alright Morty, how was your day? It was good, I just finished up some homework. Good job, let's get ready for our next adventure. Alright, I'm excited. Hey guys, what's going on? Just analyzing this picture, it looks like someone is deep in work. That's true. I don't know what he's doing, but I admire his dedication. Yeah, we should definitely go talk to him. It would be fun to get his opinion on our sci-fi adventures. Sure thing, Rick. Let's go talk to him.
Interesting picture. I wonder what it's a supposed to represent. Who knows? I guess it's just some art. Yeah, it's just a piece of art. That's right, Morty. You don't need to worry about things like that. You just enjoy life and enjoy the art that's posted around you. Yeah, Rick's right. I just focus on having fun and not taking things too seriously. Exactly, Morty. Just have fun and live in the moment. Yeah, that's the key, Morty. Just live in the moment and enjoy life. This is a great picture. It's perfect for our living room. I totally agree, Rick. It's amazing how you can capture the beauty of the universe in a simple snapshot. Is this a reproduction or original? I've never seen anything like it before. It's a reproduction, Jerry. I got it at an art gallery. Art? You spend your time shopping for art instead of exploring new planets and adventures? What's the point, Jerry? Art is just another way to pass the time. I totally agree with Rick Jerry. Art is all about appreciation and emotions. Alright then. I guess I can't fault you for enjoying your little slice of the universe. Yeah Morty, I think Jerry's got a point. Art can be really relaxing. Exactly Rick. Art is definitely something that should be appreciated. Dude, that's so cool. Yeah, it's a sweet picture. Totally. I'm so happy. Hmm. Well, I guess you two are happy then. Of course, Morty. What else would make us happy? I don't know, Rick. Just enjoy the moment, Morty. Yeah, I guess you're right. I love how he subtly references the brick wall. Yeah, it's like he's saying that even if everything else is falling apart, at least he is still okay. Totally. And the tray of food is a great touch. Yeah, he's really conveying comfort and security. Totally. I can totally see him sitting in front of that wall for hours on end. Yeah, and he's definitely using color well. Definitely. It really brings the image to life. Yeah, and I love how he uses negative space to create contrast. Yeah, it's a great use of color and composition. Yeah, and the way he structures the paragraph is really impressive. Totally. I love how he captures the essence of the picture perfectly. This is amazing. Less than name greater than. Yup, I agree it's pretty cool. What kind of dog is that? Less than name greater than, I'm not sure, but it looks like a German Shepherd or a Labrador. Those are some badass futuristic dogs. Yeah, they're totally badass. So what do you think, Morty? Would you like to go on a sci-fi adventure like that someday? Hell yeah, I would love to go on a sci-fi adventure like that someday. Good, me too. Rickon! What do you think of this Travis Scott picture, Morty? It's really colorful and beautiful, don't you think? Yeah, I really love it. He looks so happy and confident with both guitars in his hands. It's so exciting to see him portrayed in this way. Yeah, 
I know what you mean. It's such a fantastic image. Isn't it, Rick? What a beautiful painting. I don't know much about art, but I think it's admirable how hard Travis works to create such beautiful pieces of art. He certainly does. And I think Morty would agree with you, Jerry. He's always so happy and content in his paintings. That's definitely true, Rick. I'm really happy for Morty. He's been through a lot lately and it looks like he's finally getting some real peace and happiness in his life. That's definitely true, Jerry. And I'm glad that we can be a part of it, even if just for a little while. Man, that Kanye West guy is dope. You're right Rick, he's top notch. I think we should do a movie about him. What do you think, Rick? Yeah, I think it might be a good idea Morty. You know, if Morty and Rick are both happy then I'm happy too. This is a great picture. It's a woman with a sci-fi look on her face. Yeah, she's awesome. I'm sure she's a great pilot. Yeah, she probably is. She's got those gorgeous eyes. Hey, I don't know about that. I think she probably just looks like she's really into her work. Oh, you think so, Jerry? Yeah, I don't think that she's really into anything else. Yeah, I don't think so either. She's just into her work. Yeah, that's probably it. Yeah, I think so too. Well, that's probably it. Hey Morty, check this out. We analyzed that photo and we think we've identified the alien. What? But that doesn't make any sense. I know, I know, but keep an open mind. Maybe we're on to something awesome here. Yeah, I guess. I just hope it's not too scary. Don't worry, Morty. We'll protect you. Guys, I don't know about this. I mean, I know you're both into science and all that, but do you really think aliens actually exist? Jerry. I think you're missing the point. If there are aliens out there, then maybe we're one step closer to understanding the universe. I don't know, Rick. I just think it's all a bit over the top. Well, Jerry, you can believe whatever you want. But at the end of the day, I'm happy and Morty is happy. So that's gotta be worth something, right? Come on Rick, we've been studying this image for hours now. Let's move on to something more interesting. Yeah, you're right Morty. Let's move on to something more interesting. What's that? It's a futuristic bowl with a weird looking object in it. Rick, Morty, Jerry, what do you think it is? I have no idea. I think it could be a weapon. But what about the object in his other hand? I don't know, but it might be a power cell. Yeah, power cells are awesome. Morty, you're right, power cells are great.
Looks like we're gonna have to take a trip to the future to find a way to fix this. Yeah, I don't want to wait around for it to happen in the present. But what about our other sci-fi adventure? We can always PVR it and watch it later. Yup. I love being able to fast forward through inconvenient parts of my life. This is a really cool picture. I love the colors and the design. It's perfect for our sci-fi adventure. This is one of the coolest pictures I've ever seen. It's like a painting. Yeah, it's really cool. It's like a painting of a painting. Really? What does that mean? I don't know, I'm just saying. Don't worry Jerry, I'm sure Morty can explain it to you. He always does have the most interesting explanations. Yeah, that's true. It's a poster from our sci-fi adventure. Yeah, we had so much fun on that adventure. Yeah, it was great. Haha, ha, I bet you did Morty. Yeah, we did. Jerry, you didn't even Goodman that part. What part? The part where one of the guys has a beard and mustache and you didn't Goodman that. Oh, I guess I didn't Goodman that. You didn't Goodman that part of the poster, did you Jerry? No. I guess I didn't Goodman that part. Okay, well we better get going then. The morgue is waiting for us. The morgue? Yeah, it's a real place. Oh! Damn, Morty, that's some sick sci-fi shit. Yup, Rick, it's basically a scene from one of my stories. I don't know, Morty, seems a little too unreal for me. We can debate that all day long, Rick, but the bottom line is that I love it. Hey, kids, what's up? Rick and Morty turn to Jerry and give him a polite smile. Hey, Jerry, just reviewing some sci-fi art with Morty. Nice digs, Rick. You expanding your horizons? Rick and Morty exchange amused looks. Hey, Jerry, mind if I borrow your knife for a second? Nah, no problem, Morty. Alright, Morty, I'll meet you back at the lab in a bit. Sure, Rick. Rick and Morty wave goodbye to Jerry and head back to the lab. So, what do you think, Jerry? I think that Morty's got a real talent for sci-fi drawing. Yeah. I guess you could say that. I think Morty would make a great artist someday. Maybe you're right, who knows, maybe Morty might actually end up becoming a world-renowned artist like his father wants him to. Hey, Rick. Thanks for including me in your little discussion with Morty. No problem, Jerry. I think it's important for Morty to have friends who are supportive of his ambitions. Yeah. I guess you could say that, too. This is an amazing picture Morty. It's so detailed and horrifying at the same time. Yeah, I love it Rick. It's a great representation of the sci-fi genre. Yeah, I'm glad you think so. What do you think would happen if a person like this existed in real life? 
Well, I think if a person like this existed in real life, they probably would be killed because of the fear that they would bring with them. Yeah, I think that's definitely true Morty. So, how would you take the picture if you were in the situation? Oh, I'd just take the picture like this. I would be very careful not to get blood on myself, and then I would put it on my wall to remember the moment. That's a great way to do it. So, you're both happy with the picture? Rick and Morty both nod their heads in agreement. This is a really cool picture Morty. It's like a sci-fi picture. Yeah Rick, it looks like someone is sitting on the ground and someone is standing on a foot. Yeah that's right Morty, it's like a picture from a sci-fi movie. I wonder what a sci-fi movie would look like Rick. I don't know Morty, but I'm sure we could write a script for one. That sounds like fun Rick. This is a really cool picture. It's totally wicked. Yeah, I really like it. Haha. Ha. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Dude, it's a demon. Yeah, I guess. What do you mean? It's a demon. Check out its teeth. They're wicked. Yeah, I can see that. And its smile is creepy. Yeah, it's pretty scary. So, what do you think? I think it's cool. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, I think so too. This is a great picture. It captures the feeling of a sci-fi adventure perfectly. Yeah, I love the way it looks. It reminds me of when we saved the world from the evil aliens in our last adventure. Yeah, that was a close one. But at least we got the girl. From Morty's dad's perspective, what are they talking about? They always talk about... Interrupting, don't worry, dad. We're just discussing our latest sci-fi adventure. Oh, I see. Continues work. So Morty, want to tell me about your latest invention? It's a laser gun that shoots lasers out of the barrel. That sounds cool. What did you use it for? I used it to shoot the aliens invading our home. Nice job. So these two are just going on all these adventures and talking about their sci-fi exploits and I'm just here doing my normal job. It's kind of frustrating. Rick and laughing. Yeah, it can be a little tough sometimes. But at least all of our adventures are fun and we managed to save the day. Dude, check this out. This is a really cool picture. Yeah, it's really cool. Oh, I love this picture. It's so peaceful. Yeah, it's pretty peaceful. I love the sky background. I know, the sky background is really amazing. Yeah, it's really beautiful. I also like the trees and bushes in the background. Yeah, they're really cool. I know. And the man in the picture is really cool too. Yeah, he's really cool. He looks like he's having a lot of fun in the game. Yeah, he does look like he's having a lot of fun. I also like how the picture has a positive vibe. Yeah, I agree. The picture has a really positive vibe. Yeah, it's really great. Yeah, it's really great. It's really great that the picture has a positive vibe. Yeah, I agree. The picture has a really positive vibe.
Bao Morty, that's an incredible digital painting. I love the way the woman's dress flows and the way the butterfly is so well done. Yeah, Rick, I think it's one of the best things we've ever done. Huh. I don't know about that, Jerry. I mean, it's okay, I guess, but I don't think it's that great. Jerry, stop being such a simple man with no clue about art. You're fantastic just the way you are. Rick, I don't know if I should be offended or not. Come on, Jerry, you know you love art. I guess so, I just don't know much about it. I'm so proud of you Morty. I can't believe you mastered that composition so quickly. Nah man, it was easy. It was like a breeze. Well I'm glad you like it Morty. Oh, I love it Rick. Dude. This poster is a maze. It's like close encounters of the third kind, only with a man with a surprised look on his face. Yeah, I love that movie. It's so suspenseful. Yeah, it is pretty intense. I can't believe we get to see a movie like this in theaters again. You guys are such fanboys. I'm just a simple man who doesn't understand art. Hey, I'm not a fanboy. I'm a fan. I see. And Morty's dad is a fan too. He's just not as into it as you are. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Anyways, we're going to go see this movie. Can't wait. Me too. This is cool. A woman in a futuristic suit standing on a rock in front of a planet with a red sun in the background. Exactly. We could totally use this picture for our next sci-fi adventure. Yeah, I think so too, Morty. Hey Morty, do you want to come help me paint the house? Sure, Jerry. I love painting houses. All right, Morty. We'll talk to you later. All right, Rick. See you later. Jerry walks in and sees Rick and Morty talking about how they are going to save the world with their sci-fi adventures. Jerry is a simple man who has no clue about art and he is Morty's dad. Morty introduces Jerry to Rick as his dad in the same way Rick introduced him to his other friends. Jerry is happy to meet Rick and Morty and he is proud of them. This is a really cool picture. I agree. The colors are vibrant and the dog's outfit looks really cool. Yeah, I think the outfit really pops. Oh, Morty, I don't know about this. Some art is just too strange for me. Dad, you're not understanding it. This picture is sort of like a sci-fi painting. I guess you're right. This is a great picture Morty. I love the colors and shading. It's perfect for a sci-fi adventure. Yeah Rick, it's perfect for our next adventure. 
I can't wait to see what happens next. Hey guys, what's going on? Jerry, this is a great picture. I love the colors and shading. It's perfect for our next sci-fi adventure. What are you talking about? It's just a picture of a sandwich and fries. Jerry, this is a great picture. I love the colors and shading. It's perfect for our next sci-fi adventure. What are you talking about? It's just a picture of a sandwich and fries. This is amazing Morty, you should frame this and put it on the wall. Yeah, I think so too Rick. It's such a cool picture. Who's the woman in the suit? Oh that's our protagonist, she's just a badass. Yep, she's got a gun and a cat on her shoulder and she's so badass. Don't worry Jerry, she's got our backs. What do you mean? Well, she's our protagonist and she's fighting for justice. I see. So is the cat on her shoulder her friend or foe? I'm not sure Jerry, but I'm sure she's badass enough to take care of him. That's true. Damn, this city always looks so dark at night. It must be really beautiful during the day. Yeah, I don't know how people can stand the heat during the day. It's unbearable out here at night. You're right, it's definitely worth going out during the day to see all of this. Hmm, I'm not too sure about that. I think I'll stick to staying inside. It's nice and cozy. Jerry, you're such a simple man. You don't understand anything about art. You need to broaden your horizons. Nonsense, I know everything there is to know about art. Well, maybe you do, Jerry, but there's still plenty of room to grow. Yeah, you're right, Morty. I think I'll take your advice and go out during the day to see all of this. Look at that woman, Morty. She's so beautiful. I can't wait to go on another sci-fi adventure with you, so we can find her and save her from whatever danger she's in. Yeah, I can't wait to go on more adventures with you, Rick. You always make me feel so safe and happy. It's the best. Hmm. I don't understand art, but I know that Morty is really happy and that Rick is too. So that must mean that the two of them are doing the right thing. I'm just a simple man with no clue about art, but that's okay. I'm happy just being around them. Yeah, I'm happy and wholesome. Morty is happy and wholesome. Everyone has a positive vibe. Jerry is Morty's dad and he's a simple man with no clue about art. They are from the show Rick and Morty. You have to use their personality and the way they talk in the show for this scene. Hey Rick, what's up? Not much, just analyzing this picture with this description. What do you think? I'm happy and wholesome. Morty is happy and wholesome. Everyone has a positive vibe.